when you clean the nap when you clean the nap just just clean the nap just just clean the nap i'm late i'm late but ain't nothing like the presence why us just cleaning up just cleaning up i'm here now cleaning up i'm here y'all cleaning up oh yes i got my patty on do you have your patty on Just cleaning up, just cleaning up. I said, just cleaning up. I'm here now, cleaning up. Just, just cleaning up. What's up, Joyce? Child, folks running around. Y'all had a lot to say about me, huh? Oh, wash it, wash it, scrub it, scrub it, wash it, wash it, scrub it, scrub it, clean the nap. I said, wash it, wash it, scrub it, scrub it, wash it, wash it, scrub it, scrub it, clean the nap. Just, just 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 clean the nap. Just clean the nap. Just clean the nap. Oh, yes, it's me. It's me, live in petty color. Live in petty color. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes, I'm feeling petty. I got stuff to say. I'm going to drag. I'm going to reach. I'm going to throw stuff in your face. A lot of what I say you ain't going to like. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. So it is what it is. Y'all got something to say to me? Huh? Y'all got something to say to me? I'll drop the link so you can say what it is you think you want to say to me. Because see, we just did a little talk. We all talked. We talked as a sector. We talked as a sector. And I gave my little bit of what I had to say about the sector itself. And I moved on. I, I was just like all the rest of you all. When we did that whole meeting, we had a good time. Everybody, everybody, everybody had a chance to say what it was that they wanted to say about the state of the beefing sector what was going to go on in the beefing sector. And I did like everybody else. I said my piece and then I moved to the side and I let you all say your piece. Well, welcome to Treasure Lane. Cause today, this ain't that. This ain't that. This ain't that. This be popping my shit. I'm gonna tell you just what I think. Just what I think. Cause y'all was feeling real cute talking smack and it ain't everybody so Let's get that out of the way. All of the sensitive ones, come on, move down front. Move down front. But I didn't even do anything. But it's not me. You know that you didn't do anything. You know it's not you. Those who are guilty know they are guilty. Those who are guilty know that they are guilty. All of you who are supporters, who are my soft ones, listen. Mm -mm. You know I love you for real. You know I do. Now get down here so you can be down close to me. So when I start throwing shit, you don't get hit with nothing that ain't for you. Okay? So let's go right here. The title. Y'all mad at mother for pointing out predatory behavior accompanied with receipts. Right? You the beefing sector, right? Y'all like receipts. Usually I don't even do receipts because I'm an old arrogant bitch. You know that. Mother arrogant. 
Mother was arrogant for, before I ever met y'all. I was that's that's me. Arrogant and a bit narcissistic. That's me. A whole nasty piece of January 9th Capricorn. That's me. That's me. Now, here's the thing. One of the things that I ain't never been able to stand about this sector where I spend my time is the predatory jacket shit. Okay? See, y'all quick. Quick. Yeah, because I seen after the, the first live, who the mother think he talking about y'all? Obviously, you bitch. If you had to ask, you probably part of the y'all. Okay? Ain't no, ain't, what? See, nice went out the door. Y'all don't like nice. You like somebody to talk shit to you. If you sat around after that meeting that we had, that kumbaya, what well, wasn't so much of a kumbaya, but that gathering, that fellowship, because that's what we did. We fellowship. Those who were there for all the right reasons in our sector, out of our sector, visiting our sector, those who were there for the right reasons with an open mind to see what was going to be done, had a good time. We were fellowshipping is what we were doing. We were fellowshipping. Okay? But if you was a bitch that after the fact sat around typing, typing. See, because I sat up here for almost six hours and let folks come up and talk. So really, when you ran back and started doing this, it ain't mean shit. It don't mean nothing because don't nobody give a damn. Everybody was chit-chatting and you over there typing. That says to me what? Punk bitch with something to say that ain't nobody concerned with. So yeah, the y'all, you is who I was talking to. You the y'all, bitch. And that bitch is male, female, middle, otherwise born that way, not born that way, whoever. Whoever was sitting around filling the count away and typing, talking about who was y'all, you, motherfucker. It's you. Okay? Now, in the sector, always fast to put a jacket on somebody. Y'all love, for some reason, y'all love predatory shit. Or do y'all? As long as I've been around, I've always been disgusted with this kid thing. It's always something about some kids and some kids being violated and then you throwing that shit at people and trying to put that jacket on people. Okay, so let's just call it what it is. Oh, there are predators in the area. What'd he say? Yeah, I said it. Yeah, there are predators in the area, all different kind of predators. All types of predatory behavior is in these sectors. And it's very blatant if you slow down two seconds and look. But see, a lot of y'all so fucking high up, so fucking drunk, so off your fucking meds. Oh, yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Everybody might end up mad. That's fine. Meds ain't calibrated. They just let you out of the funny farm the day before, bitch. And you down here, you ain't paying attention because you can't see the forest through the goddamn trees. But oh, yes, there is some predatory shit that goes down here. But the ones that y'all run around throwing it at, don't be the ones. Okay? Don't be the ones. Y'all been trying to put a jacket of predatory behaviors or uh, shit like that on me from the door. It started from the fact that I was who I was. Oh, people like him. Okay, well, we got to do something about that. We got to do something about that. So y'all ran and y'all thing with me, you tried every little thing. He mean, he this, he gay. Gay didn't, gay didn't take care of it. People was okay with my gay. Oh, he's a drag queen. The drag queen thing didn't take care of it. People were okay with my drag when I wasn't one of them kind of drag queens. I wasn't a drag queen that hated women or mistreated women. I'm surrounded by fucking women. 
I am surrounded by women all the time. And when they say, James, I need this, I need that. It ain't never really that. Y'all try to play the game of, oh yeah, he's competing with women. When do I compete? When you take me to task? Yeah, bitch. I'll, I'll go with any of y'all, niggas or women. I've offered niggas into the street too, same way. Anybody taking me to task, bitch, you want to take me to task with gowns and wigs and makeup? We could go to task with gowns and wigs and makeup. I've also hit these streets and told these niggas that we could go to task with suits and motherfucking uh, dress shoes and goddamn trench coats. Have I not? Have I not? Are we going to get another Brian to jump out here and tell me I ain't never said that? How many times have you heard me say challenge to a man, a man, a man, just as well as a woman? Anybody that takes me to task on anything, I always show up for it. So what you do? Here we go. We're going to go on and make this story up. We're going to twist this around and then y'all come out with it. He molested his kids and y'all some good doxing motherfuckers, right? Because y'all the best in the business at doxing. How many years it been that I've been being? He's creepy. You got motherfuckers that walk around down here who literally feel comfortable because y'all have said it so much comfortable got a whole chat that run around calling me creepy and y'all don't see nothing wrong with it y'all think it's cool because it's me right because it's me see the jacket first went on sean oh yes the jacket went on sean honey of being a creep of being inappropriate with underage people that jacket went on him. Why? Because some of those behaviors, somebody pointed out some behaviors and somebody said, oh, well, you know what? And it's stuck. And it's stuck. They start bringing shit and throwing shit out. Shit that they were seeing online. Shit they were seeing online. Now, I was friends with him. I was friends with that nigga at the time. So, no, I don't know nothing about him being that kind of way. But could I argue with some of the things that was being asked and the things that was being said? No, I couldn't. And that's why the jacket was fitting on him. And they zipped the jacket up on him so severely that that nigga couldn't breathe. They, they zipped it up on him so severely that he couldn't breathe. And what ended up happening? He turned around and start leading the charge of trying to put the jacket on me. Slow down, Kwani. Wrong is wrong. You right, wrong is wrong. But when Sean Bradley could not get the jacket off of him, Sean Bradley tried to transfer the jacket onto me. And that began another bunch of bullshit because again, what, we was close friends. So I'll say this and I'll keep pretending like I know something that I don't know. Again, we went right on into the whole thing of now you got to prove it. D. Ramsey runs out, does a whole event. Thanks to Just Net. Just Net. Come through, Just Net. Come through, Just Net. Just Net was at the function and come on back with this with the with the tea. Oh yeah. They were saying all this shit about you and saying that it was all in your book. So there we go. Here goes the proof now. Now, yeah, they're going to be able to zip this jacket up on you and they absolutely are going to be able to pin it to you because here's the shit now. Just that ran out with it and then we run out with the proof that I seen you, baby. Hey, Matt. That that was a lie. That was a lie. The shit that they used talking about that was the shit in a book. In the book, None of what you said was in the book. You ain't even read the book. So it never worked. It never fit. The jacket never fit on me. And yes, and I'll say that it was wrong for the jacket to be trying to be put on Sean. But the point I'm making is as long as we've been here, it's always this 
predatory bullshit. It's always this goofy ass shit about, and as soon as somebody can't win an argument, all of a sudden you a predator. All of a sudden you a predator. You this, you that, you molest kids and all that old bullshit. Y'all are obsessed with the shit. It has always gotten on my nerves. It's always gotten on my nerves. And again, yes, there are certain people who always do it and always say it. But at some point, you got to give the issue where it goes. It ain't all the content creators who are fighting. See, when people are fighting, they'll say anything. They'll say anything. But you know where the problem really, really lies at? All of y'all to be running around carrying the story. Just like I sat and told y'all the other day. Who run the beef sector? Y'all. Y'all. You don't see content creators in 5011 rooms jumping down in chats, calling people predators, saying people got HIV and telling lies about people and all of that shit. You see subbies sitting down there trolls sitting down there see because the lines got blurred everybody is a part of the show now there are no watchers of the show all of y'all are a part of the show that's why you're getting doxxed that's why you're being trolled that's why y'all are being treated the way y'all being treated because everybody want to talk See, we used to sit back and take it. When you knew you were a content creator, you sit down, you take it on the chin because that is what goes along with being a content creator. You may be stalked. You may have somebody get into your background and all of that. Do you know how aggravated I used to be in those few years? It was about three years that went by when I got so tired of hearing a bitch say, but I'm just a subscriber. But meanwhile, you got commentary. They got so bold that they were sitting around saying, I get up, I'm getting up, I'm giving my commentary. Since when does a subscriber have commentary? Since when does a subscriber have commentary? The comment section was for just that comments, not commentary. Is for a comment. I love it. I don't like it. Um, I wasn't so clear on this. Um, hey, how do I reach out to you? That's what the comment section is for. The comment section is not for fucking paragraphs. And now you're giving your commentary. You ain't got no goddamn commentary, subby. A subby is just that. You subscribe, you sit your ass down, and you watch. You watch the show. When you got commentary, you're part of the show. You're now the co-host. See, there are words for those things. You are now the co-host. And whenever I open my mouth, everybody act like I was saying something wrong. Well, why is he saying something to me? I'm in the chat. And content creators, y'all, UFO. Every time I hear one of y'all say, don't read the chat, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? See, that's the difference between a good content creator and someone who is just running the mill. A good content creator actually can read the chat, give the show, take care of things with their mods. Their mods help them out, but they can actually interact. That is a good content creator that can actually interact. The people in the chat are just as important as what you're talking about. They're just as important. But again, the lines have been blurred. You, you get mad. He's not reading my stuff. Bitch, you done wrote a book. You done wrote a book. You over there doing commentary. That chat, do you see how fast that chat be rolling? Ain't nobody got time to be stopping it and read no goddamn book. When you got that much to say, your ass want to be a co-host. You want to be a co-host. And listen, 
Ain't nothing wrong with being a co-host. A co-host, just like that, became one of y'all faves. Lady Nika. Me and Sean told Lady Nika, God damn it, Nika, stop writing these books. You have something to offer. Lady Nika used to write a whole dissertation. <laughs> she had a whole dissertation about whatever it was in a video. Now we liked Nika, so we actually would read it, but it was it was a lot. And we both agreed and didn't even realize we were both saying it to her, like, girl, you didn't start a channel. Because she had so much to offer. She has now become one of y'all faves. So is it a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. But you got to know the difference. There is a pecking order in this shit. Or there used to be. There used to be a pecking order. But now everybody want to be part of the show. That's why y'all love these panels that y'all could go on and all y'all do is sit up on the panel all night long running y'all motherfucking mouth because you are not subbies y'all are not subbies y'all are parts of the show now what the issue is you're a part of the show you're not getting paid whose fault is that that ain't my fault but if you don't value you why should anybody else you sit three four hours on a platform. Now it's up to you if you want to get monetized and stuff. But if I'm gonna make somebody else's shit, you might as well make a check too, right? If you consider yourself having commentary, stop considering yourself a subby because you're not. At that point, you are some form of a content creator. You are some form of a person that is carrying the show. I stand by my order, J uh, JC. Okay. And I listen, Kwame, I don't expect you to do nothing different. Sometime I expect you, I say sometime, Kwame, you might get an aha moment and something that might have slid by you or hit you a certain way. And you come back and you'll do your commentary. And you'll say, you know what? I ain't think about that like that. But I don't pretty much expect you to change up your thought process, your thought process is again, why you ended up being a lot of people's faves. Because Kwani was another one. When they did call-ins, they had requests for Kwani. Ooh, have Kwani come on. Ooh, contact Kwani. Kwani wasn't no damn subby. She was considering herself a subby, but she wasn't a subby. You were part of the damn show. And she was a big part of the damn show. And she eventually, it clicked, and she went on over to her own place. She did that in a couple of places. Not a subby, though. Not a subby. By the time I even knew who she was, she wasn't in the subby realm. She was already talking too much. She was talking too much, and she was too active and in too much of shit to ever be considered a subby. She was given commentary. So I used to get really irritated with that. But I over at Sir King, is where that used to happen a lot. They get up in there in the middle of the night and they were so bold and so brazen. I'm doing my commentary. They say all this fuck shit about people and then get so upset when somebody dragged their ass. You just sat up and talked about me on this man's platform for 15, 20 minutes. Tell me all about my looks and, and what I said that you didn't agree with and all this old other shit. And here's the thing, you ain't my subby, you're his subby, but you're not really a subby, you're really his co-host. So yeah, I used to get very irritated when I would be over there hanging out with Lemon and Sir King and one of them punks jump up on there talking that shit. You supposed to love yourself, Kwani, you supposed to. One of them punks get up in there and drag content creators and then soon as a content creator because i would get you right on together well why is he talking to me oh he's so petty you got this many subs i don't give a goddamn how many subs i got you think i'm supposed to sit in a chat and be okay with you talking shit to me you talking shit to me tell me what is the benefit of me sitting somewhere listening to you talk shit to me 
And you say, I'm not supposed to go. I'm over here visiting Sir King. So he making money. You too stupid to make some money. You sitting here making money for him. And you think I ain't supposed to go over to where I make money and drag you? How stupid are you? Very stupid is what I would say. So again, the lines got blurred a long time ago. But that's a whole nother thing. You know, I jump around. Let's go back into this whole thing about this predatory behavior. The predatory behavior, I need to get this part out of the way. It is going on. It's been going on. All of this mess, people throwing their children up. And the first thing when they upset, are you a, are you a predator? Are you a, a, a molester? Are you the, it's always thrown out. I think it's quite sick behavior, personally, that you got a group of, of grown folks that actually sit around and talk about children being violated as much as y'all fucking do. JC, I don't make money from these lovely people. Kwani, keep your head in the game. Now that's your saying. Keep your head in the game, Kwani. Walk with me here, Kwani. Keep your head in the game. Stop it. Don't internalize what I'm saying. Keep your head in the game. Walk with me here, Kwani. So I think it's sick behavior that it gets discussed as much as it does. There are no children in this sector. So why the fuck do they come up so much? Why does the subject of children come up so much? Hello? The subject of children comes up all the time. And it ain't no gay men talking about no children. My head is in the process. All right, babe. D d ain't no gay men down here talking about their children. What, this is something new. We see ODS brings his God baby on. God knows he the cutest little thing. And, and you know, it, it's a joy to see him. But I'd be like, oh, my God, ODS. Why? Because you know, at some point, somebody going to say something about the baby. And of course they did. And they did. They did and they do. And what did they do? Try to twist it. He is that baby's godfather. And all you ever see is him loving on the baby. Next thing I know, I see somebody talk about he got predatory behavior and he's going to turn the baby in it. All that shit that y'all are so obsessed. Y'all are obsessed with it. And it always sickens me in this sector. It gets on my nerves. Why is it always on y'all's mind? That's the real question. Why is a child being violated always on y'all fucking mind? See, y'all don't deal with the real things that need to be being talked about. You get mad and you want to throw a jacket on somebody just to, to try to win the argument. Okay, I get that. But why is that always on y'all's mind? That's the real question. Why y'all always thinking about some motherfucking babies? Talking about somebody creepy. I'm creepy, creepy this, creepy that. QB's whole group, they think that shit is cute. And it's cute coming from him when you are the one who got a whole case file down at CPS. Because the same person that decided to try to put a jacket on a whole bunch of us actually put the jacket on you, you dumb faggot. And you got a whole case file down to the CPS, don't you bitch? But you sitting down with your group, and they sitting around with you. They sitting around with you, throwing it at me when they know for damn sure years have gone where y'all try to pin it to me and y'all can't pin it to me and ain't got no paper to go with it. You got paperwork, nigga. You got paperwork, nigga. And these hoes is sitting there with you trying to throw it at me. All you motherfuckers over there are sick in y'all's head. And the bitch that put it on you is sick in her head. She is one of the biggest predatory individuals down here. Now let's call a thing a thing. You talking about a creepy motherfucker? Find the creepiest bitch down this motherfucker. And uh, here we go. Because they're, they're going to say, he dragged her daughter. Well, get ready. Get ready. The way she presents her daughter, predatory behavior, predatory on her part, 
no one else's predatory on her part. You sit around here and you feel as though you in a sector, you done pointed out certain people saying that they're predators, but yet here you go. Come on, pretty baby. Come on, baby. Get down here and dance for the people. Bitch, you the predator, ho. You the predator. Because what mother is offering their daughter? A... See, y'all want to keep asking me, why do I say pretty baby? That's why I say pretty baby. Because that's what the fuck it is. That's what it's always been. I told y'all, I stand on it. I will never stop saying it because it is what it is. It is what I see when I see them. But remember, I went from being the man that she was fawning over and falling videos of, oh, James, James is here. Oh my God, I love James. Blah, 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 blah. Until you fuck with me and we bumped heads. And then all of a sudden I became a predator. But I wasn't a predator when I was buying princess baby dolls. I wasn't a predator when I was giving your broke ass 20 or $30 in a super chat or a cash app. I wasn't a predator then. I became a predator when you couldn't sweep me under the rug because I'm that bitch. See, you ran around telling folks you was that bitch, but I'm really that bitch. And you couldn't do me away. You couldn't do to me what you did to Sean. You couldn't run me in a quarter. In a quarter. See, Sean already had his jacket. See, his jacket was tight up around his motherfucking neck. See, he couldn't take another, he couldn't get out of that. So he couldn't take another woman in and say, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He couldn't take another woman in the sector, finish it up the stitching on that jacket. See, the jacket had been secured on him. When he ran up in the five, shit got too tight. Shit got too tight. He couldn't withstand another attack from yet another woman in this sector throwing that shit at him, saying, you got this predatory shit going on. And I ain't going to go through all his predatory shit because he do have some predatory uh, situations that arose. That arose. He did. You know, shit that didn't. It was the optics. That, that's what killed Sean Bradley in the, in the water was optics. As smart as he is, or thinks he is, he couldn't outrun the optics. He talked too much. Some things you don't share. You already know being a gay man, some things you don't share. But he's so open and so real. So real, got that jacket zipped up on your ass. And when he ran in the fire, it, he couldn't withstand another one. Fire ran him up in the corner. Well, see, I'm not Sean Bradley. She tried to run that shit up on me, and I came out and kicked her in the throat. Bitch, I don't know who you think you're dealing with. Let's go on and point it out. I'm not going to drag your daughter. I ain't got no reason to drag your daughter because you ain't never worked me enough for me to have to drag, princess. Not at all. I've only ever been nice to princess. And like I said, if you've never seen the movie Pretty Baby, go see it. Go see it. You'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. No mother worth a damn is going to take their beautiful little girl and come to a place where they know there are thousands of people watching at any given time. And the videos are going to be here. The videos are going to be here even when you're not here. When you and Princess lay down to go to bed at night, there's still hundreds or thousands of people who could be watching this video. Who is bringing their baby up here for tribute? Come on, baby. Here, come on. Get in front of here and dance for the people. You got your baby on here dancing for cash apps. That is predatory. Okay. Do y'all really know what predatory is? Do you know what a predator really is? Do you know what predatory behavior actually looks like? If you did, I promise you, you would shut up. I promise you, you would shut up. The first time we seen that child down here with her brother, shit. I ain't never seen no brother and sister. Talking about, ain't she sexy? 
Oh, she's sexy to the motherfucker. Your sister? Your sister, sir? That ain't got nothing to do with gay or straight. That got to do with you sick motherfucker. She's sexy to the mother. I wish I would hear one of my children talk about the other one in that type of way. Oh, they sexy. Sexy? No stitches, motherfucker. Sexy, because something wrong with you. We definitely need to get you into some counseling. Now, I'm going to love you to the end of it. But God damn it, we got some work to do, nigga. He leaned right over there and y'all all seen it. But y'all, why not? You know, because she got that neck. You know, cult. The cult. How dare you? How dare? I dare. I dare. The interaction between her and her brother. Predatory. Predatory. You're sitting there. He up at a party on her live talk about yeah, I really, I, I, I want to I fuck something. Ain't you at a party that's all family members and QB? <laughs> who who want to fuck player? Do tell. Now, if it's QB, we here for it. If he, he want to fuck QB, by all means. But I never heard him say that QB was sexy. But I heard him say his sister was sexy. I, I saw him turn his sister around. Look at her. Look at her. No, we don't want to look at the bitch. We already looked at her. We see enough of her pushing her titties all up in the screen. We seen enough of the bitch, okay? We seen enough. But in that party, the only person that he could have been talking about in good faith, talking about he feel like fucking... Could have been Queen Buzz. I said, well, go ahead, Nisi Poo. Do your shit, bitch. But that was very predatory. Just somebody that's that hopped up and hyped up. That's weird. That's different. That's different. The person that actually put that bullshit out about me, husband on the motherfucking list. What you say? Uh huh. What'd you say? Not the person that put that old lie out about me and swore that they seen the shit in my book. Husband on the list. My name ain't on no list nowhere. The DJ's list. That's about it. Oh, y'all getting quiet. See, yeah, there's some predatory shit around us. Oh, yes. We go all the way back. I told y'all back in the day before there was a beefing sector. Shelly and Nika, they doxed the bitch. The first doxing that I ever knew of. It was a friend of theirs. They doxed that lady. Why did they dox that lady? Because her husband's name was on the list. And it was an issue because they were down here doing, uh, they say doing, she was making some, inappropriate moves that moved them to dox her and she got doxxed and she got exposed that her husband was actually on the list so nothing new we've been we've been surrounded and i know y'all have seen some other predatory shit but i ain't it i ain't it oh yeah i sat and i listened nasty poo i heard you last night I heard you, bitch. That shit you did to Rob Rack last night was wrong. And I don't give a goddamn what you say. And you stinking ass whores over there at LSA, you know I'm getting ready to come for you hoes. You know I am. You know I am. You mad about what? You mad about what? Because I'm pointing out the obvious. See, you could always, LSA ain't what LSA used to be. You could, just tell by their commentary where they belong and where they hang out. You stupid hoes. Y'all so stupid. Y'all are other ones that didn't stick to what it was you did best. Y'all want to be seen. You want to be popular. See, the people at LSA never wanted to be YouTube famous. 
These bitches want to be YouTube famous. So they run their fucking mouth and they expose themselves running their mouth. A lot of times you just listen to them. You, you can tell who go with what camp and where they belong. But I digress. But yeah, over there, mad with me. A lot of people over there mad. And don't start y'all crying. Not everybody in LSA. Of course it's not everybody in LSA. Not everybody over in LSA is a fuck bitch. But dude, there's about 85% of them hoes that are. That are. And y'all speak about everything else and y'all point out everything else. And then I point it out. Well, I'm pointing it out. Yes, I'm pointing it out. There's a bunch of predatory behavior around here. So here we go, because I've been accused of something. I've been accused of something. See, y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better. So Ness, Ness decided, because see, she gave y'all straight up predator. See, predators ain't always men, and they ain't always no gay men. You better get the fuck into it. You better get into it. That's what makes a predator. It's the person that you least expect. That shit that went on last night over at Ness's was predatory behavior. Rob Rack was the victim. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Why did I speak up? I spoke up because somebody goddamn should have. I spoke up about the shit when she did it to Jay Wilson. I spoke up about it when Wiley did it to Jay Wilson. So that's a lie, Ness, as usual. See, you know I'm going to bring the fire. I'm going to bring the history. I'm going to say what I got to say. I don't give a goddamn who don't like it. I don't have to prove myself. I don't have to prove myself. I'm motherfucking mother, period. Spillaboy TV, bitch, get into it. What I said is what I fucking said. It was predatory and it was wrong. And the underline of it and the undercurrent of it was you were making a joke. You were making a joke of the damn gay boys with your gay ass. And who told you, Gag Nation, see, Everybody want to be seen. You want to be part of the show? Let's make you part of the show. How is Rob the victim? Ness don't like men, and he kept making passes. Who told you, Gag Nation, that dick pig Ness don't like men? Let's start there. So you're ill-informed over here with fuck shit, because doesn't Ness say that she ain't a lesbian, right? See, you out here with your ass out in the middle of the street, looking foolish. Who told you Ness don't like men? She did? So you don't know that Ness is a liar? You ain't never heard her talk about getting dick? Huh? What part did you miss? See, this is what I'm talking about. And I know right about now you're feeling like, well, how dare he say something to me? I fucking dare. You want to be part of the show? Now you part of the show. You look a fool. Everybody knows Ness is bisexual to be, I'm being, uh, being uh, generous. We all know Ness like men and women. Ness likes anything. 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 But here we go. Let's talk about the jacket that Nessie Poo tried to put on me. See, you were in the mess. What are you saying? You've been a predator saying that about mess. When did I when was I predator and honey? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Here you go. Here you go. We doing accusations. Let's do them. Here you go. There you go, baby. Come on up here and tell the people when I was a predator. And you better make it good, bitch. Don't waste our time because the people ain't coming here to waste time. People ain't coming here to waste time. Click that link. Bite on that link and come on up here and tell the people, when was James Caldwell a predator? Let's go. Come on. Fuck all that. Let's go. 
accusations without no receipts. Come on. When was I a predator, boo boo? When did I do anything predatory? Come on. When I do it. We will give him, him, her. I don't even know what that is. I don't know if that's a man or a woman, but I, I will wait. There's the link. The link is there for you when you get ready to come and let the people know and let me know when I was a predator. So let me give you the accusation that good old Nancy Poo gave. Good old Nancy Poo busted out and said that I'm predatory, that I'm predatory toward Let's see who she named. Brian. King Roman News. And Rodney. Is there anybody who agrees with that? Is there anybody who agrees with that? She said that I make advances to them and make them uncomfortable. King Roman News is in the, in the audience. Brian, I'm sure, is somewhere hanging in a cloud. And Rodney is, I'm sure, is watching. But he says he ain't going to drop down in my chat. But there's the link. If any of you brothers ever feel as though I put you in a position and I was predatory towards you, I would love for you to come up here and let me know that I did that to you and let me know why you never said anything about it. And then let's do this. How could I be predatory toward those old ass, grown ass gay men. Because every last one of them is past their third. Rodney is damn near my same goddamn age, ain't he? So uh, come again. See, a predator sneaks and slides, presents themselves as something that they're not, and preys upon. How do I pray upon any of them? Didn't I just say, where's King Roman News at right now? Sitting his ass in my chat. He come to see me. So, really? Am I praying on him? How can I pray on him and he's sitting on my couch? He brought his ass over here. He groaned. But when did I pray on King Roman? What did I say to King Roman that made King Roman uncomfortable? King Roman, I would love for you to hit the, hit the link. Have I said something to you, King Roman, that made you uncomfortable? And you know, he ain't got no problem with his mouth. He say whatever he want to say out of his goddamn mouth. So King Roman, when did James Caldwell say something that made you uncomfortable? And let's get it together. Let's let's fix it. Let's fix it. If I've said something that made you uncomfortable, because I'm not aware of it. Why do you claim these children's? What children's? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Give me two minutes. I sure will. Rodney. Drop your ass on down out the clouds if I've said something to you, Rodney, that you felt made you uncomfortable. And as mouthy as you are, Rodney, I would love to know why you ain't said nothing. But if I've said something that makes you uncomfortable, because you know, you talk with Ness. Your Ness is good friend. So I would love to hear from you, Rodney. What is it that I've done or said to you, Rodney? See, let's get it all out. What Kwani call it? The year of exposure? Let's get it on out. Rodney, when did I make you feel uncomfortable? You don't like the truth? You don't like the truth? I'm sad. No, what's sad is your hairline, bitch. That's what's sad. What's sad about me? I don't know you. So obviously you're a fan because how'd you find me? You can hit the link too and tell me how you feel. I'm so sad. How am I sad? I don't even know how to say that name. You know, I don't know you, bitch. But yeah, so that was her big comeback. 
ain't no comeback because ain't no truth to it that I know of. But we'll be hearing from King Roman in a second. We'll be hearing from King Roman in a second. And any of the other gentlemen that's asked, Brian, where are you at, Brian? You're okay. You want your camera on, King? Okay. With that? <clears throat> no, no, no. You ain't, don't make me feel uncomfortable. No, no, that was never an issue. I think what maybe Ness might be talking about is, or maybe not, I don't know. But remember when, um, when the pick when when you told me that you would see when you I got told that, you to you know, grease your when I told you to grease your legs grease my knee grease my knees no hell no you always tell me grease yeah. my damn knees I'm talking about remember when I found out you got the email that email mm -hmm. and I was just stuck on cam like oh my god they sent you the email too the when the oh whole the email you freak yeah 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 so how did that make me a predator you posted the shit no <laughs> how yeah, did that, that make that, me a predator I'm sorry. I hear you. You out in the, the, the area, child. Sorry, Go ahead. Sorry, yeah, but that, but no, no. Do I make you uncomfortable? Let me know. How can you make me uncomfortable? I'm, I'm, I'm Am I? Do I? Do I give you predatory vibes? <laughs> Tell me now. You say, wait, if I gave if you gave me predatory vibes, what would I do to you, King of Roman? You wouldn't tell me. You you think? You I think? think you just stop talking to me. You wouldn't, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't ignore me. No, no. <laughs> we've spent, we've done too much. Right, exactly. We, That's what we, I'm saying. Like, why would you even sit here and I say, would yank your ass up. I'm uncomfortable. You already know. No. And, 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 and let me say up. this now, because I already saw Fazaro in the chat. You you know, I fuck with Ness. I like me some Nessie Pooh. So this ain't got nothing to do with me. This is just me saying that I don't think James makes me feel uncomfortable. And I still like that. So I don't want y'all, I don't want to hear that shit. Like he said, subs, be trying to come content. BL, this for you. That's for you, okay? Mind your damn business. Stay in the chat. You're not a content creator. All right, I'm out. How old are you again? I'm 35. <sighs> Bye. Bye, old man. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Rodney, feel free to drop down. I know you say you're not going to drop down. But you you break your word on time, Rodney. Come on down and tell me where does that come from? Where did your friend Ness get that from? Where'd your friend Ness get that from? And would you say <laughs> the way, oh, he too damn old for my 50-year-old ass to be talking, I'm praying on his 35-year-old ass. 35, chow. You don't get on out of here, Annie. But that was, yeah, that was the jacket she decided to try to put back on me. Uh, that's not going to work. No one's going for that bullshit. Because, again, you prove your predatory behavior right there with receipts. You already did. Oh, everybody know about Craig. Yes, everybody does know about Craig. That's where the problem is. That's where the problem was. That's where I had an issue sitting in your chat. D cop, right. Now I do flirt with D cop. I did. I do flirt with D I do flirt with D cop. <laughs> but D cop is grown. Again, I ain't never heard D cop come and tell me you're making me uncomfortable. I'm trying to prove mine too. Shady Blue, you a hot mess. But that's where my issue came from. I was sitting in that chat. And the behaviors were predatory. All of that. It's always been an issue. And my issue came from the people in the chat. Because see, Ness is one person. The people in the chat was just bigging it up like it was cool. Like it was okay. Like it was something they were used to. You know why? Because y'all are used to that bullshit. Y'all sit down here in that shit constantly. Constantly, y'all sit down here in that bubble of this person's a predator, that person's this, that person, you molest, that all of that. Y'all sit under that bubble and it's to the point y'all act like it's normal. And that's what was going on after I dropped that video last night. Uprise of why I was wrong for saying something. I was wrong for pointing out 
what was done to the man. Last, I don't know that man. I don't know that man. Do you think Ness was trying to out Rob? No, I actually don't, Kwani. What I actually believe that Ness was doing was literally trying to make a joke trying to trying to stir up shit which is what she does that's her brand she stirs up shit and the person that was going to catch the brunt of her shit was the lgbtqia co community down here in the sector she wanted to trigger him she was trying to trigger rob and trigger rob into saying all of the homophobic things that people in this sector also love to hear yeah i fucking said it all the homophobic rhetoric that a lot of you all like to hear. She was trying to trigger him into saying it. And she actually said that after he didn't do it, they literally questioned the man as to why he didn't. They questioned him about why he did not go off and cuss out the so-called gay man. She literally called herself Pretending to cuss her own self out. Don't come up on this plat. Don't come on my platform no more. Talking to herself. You talking about sick behavior? That is sick behavior. And they, oh, it was funny. It was funny. All you bitches that wrote down there was funny. I said it. All you bitches that said that that shit was funny. Something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. If you don't see the problem in that, something is wrong with you. How would you feel? To be catfish is not nothing fun or cute. Even if it's not a gay thing, if it's a straight thing, if it's an age thing, to be catfish is predatory. It's predatory. It's not funny. And it will get you locked up. It will get you locked up. It can get people hurt. We've seen it happen. We have seen this shit happen on television and in social media 9,000 times over. And when I said what I said, I meant what I said. If it was one, y'all don't like Queen Tulsa. So when I said Queen Tulsa, it was an issue. Okay, fine. Y'all know I love Natalia. It, y'all, nobody got a problem with Natalia if Natalia take and don't tell somebody she's trans. You bitches would have a fit. Y'all would flip on her like that. Y'all would flip on her like that because that trans, she did this, that, the Why is it different for Rob Rack? Why is it different for Rob Rack? He did not deserve that. And I don't give a goddamn what anybody says. I don't know him. He don't know me. He, probably, he might not even want me to speak. I've seen that too. Oh, well, it's okay, Ness. Rob Rack will cuss him out before he cuss you out. Do you think I'm worried about Rob Rack cussing me out? This ain't even about Rob Rack. I'm not worried about no Rob Rack cussing me out because I don't even know him. So it doesn't mean anything. The point is, is what it is. He was victimized last night. He was victimized last night. He handled himself very well, which I thought, listen, I spoke up about it. Ain't I supposed to speak up about things that go on wrong? Or when the gay community does something that's wrong, I'm supposed to what, cover it up? Well, I don't do that. I don't work like that. I'll support them till the end if they're doing right. If they ain't doing right, I'm going to point it out. You bitches better sit down. I don't play them games. That was wrong. Now, Ness sat right over there on her high horse. She cussed all y'all out. She started cussing out folks in the chat. She knew she was wrong. And then you tried to make it about everything else. About everything. Girl, who's thinking about you? This is actually where I started at, Sister T. This is where this all started, Sister T. This literally started from last night, sweetheart. Last night, Rob Rack was violated, in my opinion, on Ness's platform. And I spoke up about it. I didn't like what I saw. And then all of a sudden there's outrage about what I said. I'm wrong for, for speaking out about the straight man. Why? Because I'm gay? 
Why? Because I'm gay? Who gives a fuck? I'm a man like he's a man. I don't want nobody to captain. I don't want none of you straight guys to hit me up on no line and be hitting at me, hitting at me. And then I find out, you know, later that you ain't even gay. I wouldn't want that to happen to me. And then on live. How embarrassing is that on live? Like when he actually sat down and figured out what really was going on, hundreds of people watching that go down with him. How did he feel? Now, I mean, you know, he laughed and, and moved on and he didn't, you know, he didn't lose his composure at all. He really didn't. But how did he feel for real? That's embarrassing as hell. That is embarrassing. It's embarrassing and it's not right. But we had a whole lot. LSA, you bitches over there bringing up something about Tracy. What about Tracy? This ain't got a goddamn thing to do with Tracy. You hoes were spinning over there because y'all were angry because I said what was right. I said what was right. And you, I don't, I'm not asking you to glorify agree with or nothing but stay on topic stay on topic you don't like me then bitch you just don't like me it's cool you think i'm i don't like you bitches either i come over and read the shit y'all right when y'all get a good read in on me i laugh i laugh and whenever um y'all say something that's fucked up i come over and i cuss y'all's ass out because y'all don't scare me hoes James, um, what did Rob say after finding out Ness was really crazy? He didn't, he was a good sport about it. He just continued on, you know, I didn't laugh, but as long as I was there, he just continued on with it. It was like, whatever. He literally brushed it off, Kwani. He literally he brushed it off. And then I, I left and I wasn't even going to go live about it. I didn't like it. I said, I'll speak about it at some point. But then Jay Wilson, had actually gone live and Jay Wilson was dragging Rob. And that's when I it, I saw it as damage control. I told Jay Wilson to stop because I don't, you know, Jay Wilson pops in and out of chats. So I don't know exactly how much Jay Wilson saw, but Rob didn't do anything wrong. He didn't deserve to be dragged because he didn't do anything wrong. People were actually saying stuff to Rob because he referred to us as them pe those people. What did you want them to refer to y'all as? Fags? Pussy boys? The shit that they use, that's what they wanted him to say. That's what he want. they wanted him to use all those words that, pe that they love to hear them use. They wanted him to disrespect us and he didn't do it. But then there was a few people who were saying, I don't like that those people. Well, what the hell do you, I mean, what do you want? What do you want? I just didn't feel like he did anything wrong in the situation. I really didn't. I got nothing to gain. Nothing to gain. Jay, mother, ever, you ever seen Sister T? Yes, I know who Sister T is. I know who Sister T is. Mm -hmm. I know who she is. You know, I mean, what am I, I'm, I, I don't get it. I really don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. But I've been being taken to task. I knew I would be taking the task. He's straight. You don't play around with the straight boys. No, I don't. I don't. Why play around with them for what? What we got in common? I don't talk about football and basketball. I don't talk about cars. I don't talk about getting pussy. I don't do that. So what really do we have in common to be fellowshipping about other than YouTube stuff. And the, and the boys come in here. They come in here when I'm talking about, like they don't come in here when I'm talking about drag or when I'm, you know, doing whatever I'm doing. They don't do come in here for that. When I'm talking about YouTube shit or something, that, it, something that's interesting to them, they come in and they're well within their rights to come in. They have an open invitation to come in. Now, what I don't allow, I don't allow them to come up and do commentary and go at people from my sector. I don't do that. But anything else that I'm actually doing, if it's just something open, then by all means, why would I keep them out? I don't, as long as you ain't disrespecting me, you fine. Disrespecting me will get you that work, period. Mother, can I come up and have a question? Absolutely, Yaya.
Absolutely. But I felt like we people were splitting hairs and really missing what was really going on. Ness was out of order. She was out of order. But I was doing damage control somewhat with the Jay Wilson thing because I'm like, that's going to spin out of, out of control into something that ain't necessary when you may not have seen. And I text Jay Wilson. I text him. I said, things, Gary, go left because people want to do what they're going to do. They're going to spin some shit. I text him very quickly. Something happened with Tracy and Ben's. Tracy and Ben's got cussed out and blocked from Ness because Ness got mad that they were in my chat. Ness, do you know who I am? Huh? Now, that's a serious question. Ness, do you know who I am? I know who it is you think you're becoming, but bitch, do you really know who I am? There ain't a goddamn soul you can stop from coming over to Treasure Lane. Do you understand? You brought your ass to Treasure Lane because the shit be popping. You were right here with everybody else the night before trying to hold your mule because you can't stand me, but you couldn't stay away because you're such a clout chaser. And I am the bitch with the clout. Hey, Never, Mama, forget. How you? Never forget. Yeah, yeah. Yes, love. I got a question for you. Hello, my sweet. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Okay. This comes back to the Queen Tulsa situation that went on not too long ago. The first part of it was when she was on Dolby's dating show. Oh, and excuse my beacon. I'm smoke detector. She was on Dolby's dating show. And mm -hmm. Dolby, she was telling the man that she was a biological woman and Sheffy was the the um, transgender woman and it was a big thing about that and i said that wasn't right but i was wrong because it was a joke then when it came to her on rose page and the guy simon was up there and simon um brian outed her because she was saying she was a, a biological woman again then they had outrage for that too so how how, how are we supposed to play this to be politically correct you're supposed to speak on it whenever it's wrong. I don't well, think I spoke on it the, the first time with um Sheffy, but I ain't saying nothing the second time because I was like, I, I just don't really know which way we supposed to go. I don't know if we're are we supposed to say something because that's like out in a person, or are we supposed to hold our tongue because we're not a part of all of us aren't well, I know I'm not a part of the LGT LBGTQIA family, but I am an ally, so I want to know how do I handle that. You handle it. You handle it. You you go for what's right. Yes, I I love my people. I love my people, but I can't stand in them being wrong. I can't. If it's wrong, you got to point it out. Now, if like there there was a, a thing where with uh the one guy in Tulsa and Brian was trying to make a a thing out of nothing. They were just having a conversation. They wasn't going at each other. They wasn't any of that stuff they were just having a conversation and brian was being nasty so he started throwing the the rhetoric he just wanted to fight you know how brian did he wanted to fight right. she had to be a bunch of trannies and a boatload of bitches and man whores and all of that but when something is serious and somebody is truly not knowing what's going on and the other person is mean and harm i say tell it and call it Call it because somebody can get hurt and it is very quick and it's very easy and it's very unnecessary. It's very unnecessary. It really is. And that stuff yesterday was Ness. It was really about Ness. She was really, you. she was using us, using us as the springboard, like we wasn't shit. You want him to drag us for your entertainment. That's what that was about. That's what that was about. Her and her crowd. You whores over there. Y'all were sitting around waiting. Y'all wanted him to drag the community. Y'all wanted to hear the nastiness. Y'all wanted to hear the rhetoric. You wanted to hear those things being said. Hey, that's cool. But, uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, I understand your I point. I seen you, you and I called it out. I seen you and I called it out. So be mad. Suffer. 
I see your point now. I see because it could have become something way bigger. I Absolutely. I mean, he would have been fighting with people. Hold on one second, Jay Dunn. He would have been fighting with people. You know, I mean, that that ain't right. Because I mean, I could have if he would have started going left with it, I could have very well dropped down and been like, nigga, hold up. You know what I mean? That it could have just went somewhere where it don't even have no business going. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but see, and I don't know that relationship, and, I, and honestly and truly, I I give two shits less about Rob Rap. But my whole point is, I I could see her point too when she was it was supposed to have been a joke. But it could have been. Like, why is it funny? Why is it why funny? Is it fun? Because she was pretending to be something that she wasn't. It was an impersonation. I right, can see it on that point too. Yeah, but you knew you was going to harm somebody else. So why is it funny? Um. Mm. Cause you claim to love Rodney, so Rodney See, I didn't King say, Roman I, is in the audience. King Roman was in the audience, so you you think King Roman want to sit in your audience when he coming to see you? When I sees you, you know he come to see Ness, and then you play a joke, and now you got somebody on your platform calling out a whole bunch of gay slurs. You think that, that that's what King Roman came to your channel to see? You understand where I'm coming from? I understand, but I don't see. I wasn't there for it. I'm just hearing about it by listening to y'all. Yeah. So basically, I really didn't see. Maybe I need to go back and watch. But um, I don't it understand how to run. And then, huh? What'd you say? I don't want to see. By me not seeing it, I don't understand with a Rodney and King Roman. All oh, that, that was her rebuttal after I went live. That was her rebuttal. After I went live and pointed out that she did wrong, then she came back and then her her rebuttal was that I'm predatory. And I and I be making King Roman, Rodney, and um Brian all uncomfortable. And again, pay attention to the names that she used because she has relationship with all three of those people so it would be kind of like believable that maybe those people have said something to her about that I, it was a play but that's okay so here we are and you know i click the button no no girl no no because just like you could get them to come up i can get them to come up you should have had them come up and say if you was going to put that jacket on my back you were supposed to have the boys lined up to say he did this to me he did that that's how you do it with receipts see her own video is my receipt. Everybody was actually there. And those who didn't see it could go over there and click because that money hungry bitch ain't going to take that video down. So y'all can go over and I, I listen, there's 1300 of y'all in here. I say, please give the bitch a click and a view. Please go and see what I'm talking about. And if you don't agree, by all means, you know, I'm here for it. I'm here to have the conversation. Say, no, James, I don't agree with you. But you can actually go and see for yourself. You could go back in the past and see. Everybody knows. Yes, everybody knows the story. Everybody know how you catfished Jay Wilson. You went on and on and on with that shit, making Jay Wilson believe that you were a man while you were pursuing him. Why is that funny? That ain't funny. There ain't shit about that funny. It's only funny if you don't like Jay Wilson. It's only funny if you don't like Jay Wilson, but if you were the other person and somebody catfished your ass, it wouldn't be funny. Somebody telling you they got a big old black piece of pain for you, and then they show up with an old, a old good old piece of tight puss. Would it be funny to you then? Would it be funny then? When you thought you was going to get pounded and you get there and then you expected to do some eating would it be funny then that's my point and then to stand up in it and say it there was nothing wrong with it there's always been something wrong with it and where her whole point was that ain't nobody never said nothing about it yeah somebody did say something about it martin luther king jr told me that i was somebody bitch, and i always spoke about it i spoke about it when you did it to jay wilson i spoke about it when wiley did it to jay wilson and i'm speaking about it that you did it to rob rack now and if i see you doing it to somebody else or i'm gonna speak about it again i don't like it i don't like it mm. 
Jay Dunn. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Jay Dunn? How are you? I'm doing well to you both. I came up here with a different perspective, but I still agree um, hey, with what is being go ahead, babe. With what is being said. I think one of the main things that people are not realizing is that Rob is still on papers for the next two years. So if he had snapped out, yeah, he's still on probation. Okay, when he Jay got Dunn, out. Jay Dunn. If if he had snapped Go out, ahead. Ness got an entire camp of people that do the most. So to me, I was wondering if it was somewhat of a setup. Again, she's she's evil and twisted. So it could have been. But again, I don't know him. So I don't really know his information like that. I, don't I know didn't dox him. him. He's talked about it. No, I, again, that's what I, but I'm saying. I don't know, Jay Dunn. I'm not questioning you. I'm just saying I don't know about that. But it could have been that, you know, so I couldn't draw that conclusion. But it could have been that because she is evil. She is well, evil. Well, uh, that was my only um thought whenever I saw it because it's like if this man react and he say the wrong things ain't no telling who over there is going to call but you know she fell out with all of her callers this morning so I guess we ain't got to worry about them but had he reacted the wrong way it would have been another issue and I think people looking at the surface of like oh it made him feel uncomfortable no it, it could have triggered that man and then he would have said some things that he shouldn't have said and then that would have been even worse for him. That was my thought when I heard about. Right. Views of you? Yes, baby. Hi. Hey, James. I, yeah, I was going to say, you ain't say that. I just want to make sure it was you, baby. Well, no, I didn't know what, yeah. you know, because I like to but use that's a, uh, dedicate, mm -hmm. I mean, um, decorum. Go ahead. Okay. All right, y'all, 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 y'all's going to drop down, y'all. Um, Yeah, that's a good point, though. Uh, me too, uh, James. James. Okay. Well, that, that was the only point that I wanted to make. I wasn't here to like start no argument, but he did a whole interview with VS and told okay. all this information. I didn't get it from out the crack of my ass. Okay. Wait, well, wait hold that. up. Now I'm yo, I've got a frail body. Oh my God. Okay, let me get out the comments. I'm sorry. And hey, you. <laughs> uh, and she miss y'all, y'all. <laughs> okay. I think hey, she already gone. Her stuff is stuck up there. <laughs> yeah. Miss Yaya, girl, why are they doing Baltimore, Maryland like this? Why are they messing with the DMV? First, they got a ship that hit the damn bridge, and now they got a damn dump truck that uh, had an accident and went across another bridge. Did you hear about that today, Yaya? Is she there? I don't think so. I think her she, her thing is stuck up there, but she had right there. Uh, okay. She, she right, told well, me she was dropping. Okay, well, I want to come on here real quick to talk about what I saw, I because I did have some time to see the whole, catch the whole scene. Um, what I thought, I thought, I literally thought it was a skit and I thought that they all, cause you know, I'm looking at everybody real sideways now cause everybody doing plays, scams, money grabs and shit. So I don't believe nothing that goes on on here. So when she initially came on here with the, uh, with him on there, uh, and then she did a drop down and then Rob was sitting up there. He had this little mustard bottle and shit like, you know. Uh, he he had a whole agenda. It was like it was planned. It was very awkward. He seemed awkward. He seemed a little bit, little different. I don't really know him like that, but I just know what I had seen him with the goddamn, the damn tree seed, pussy mustard, stuff like that. So I figured it was going to be a little skit like that, but it just seemed like they all planned it together. And then he punked out and he kept pulling the mustard bottle up there and pulling it down. And then if you notice when she came on there with the voice change, he immediately changed over. He didn't say nothing. It was like, you know what? I'm aborting mission. I'm not going to leave because there's going to be motherfuckers up here watching, but I'm going to still stay in character. So I guess he just figured, you know what, let me just be quiet and shit. And then, you know, when he, it was two times when he did interact or whatever, and then she uh, exited and then saw myself, oh, Craig, da, 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 whatever. Now I ain't team neither anybody. Okay. So anyway, so then she, he came back, she came back up saying, I don't even know why Craig did that. And then um, who's my boo? I don't know who the other lady was. I, I know her, but I can't remember her name. Then he didn't know what to say, really. It was very awkward. It was, I thought it was a skit because I've seen people do it. I thought it was a failed skit, if that's what it is. Now, if y'all know when she did that to uh, 
Wilson with the Craig. Well, y'all don't all know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the Craig thing, it was fucking hilarious. But I think it was kind of different because Wilson was out here catfishing motherfuckers and stuff. But I don't even know if y'all know Craig tried to hit on my ass. I'm just saying, look at this frail little skinny little lady here in the bathing suit. Craig had to hit, tried to hit on me too. But and nobody really pays too much attention to me, which I really like that shit. But yeah, she tried to hit on me. And then when Craig, when I turned down Craig, Ness got mad at me. Ness and I used to chat and stuff, but then Ness got mad. Like I fucked up her goddamn skit. So I think it's a skit that she does. I thought, I think that uh, Rob didn't, he just said no. Um, but he could have really switched it up because we know how volatile he is, but he seemed in a calm state. He could have really set it off, called a whole a bunch of people, whole goddamn whole types of names and stuff like that, and would have set it off. I think it was a money grab. I think it was a fail skit. Um, and that's my opinion, James. And I'll take that, but I, it ain't funny to me. It wasn't funny. It ain't <laughs> never been funny. It's mm -hmm. never been funny to me. It's never, ever been funny to me. Uh, yo, it's why not do I funny have to when it happens. It's just not I'm funny sorry. to me. People pretending to be some other sex other than what it's not. As long as there's people laying up in the cemetery behind that bullshit, it ain't funny to me. It'll never be funny to me. And it ain't just because I don't care for Ness. Because actually, me and Ness was cool when the shit happened with Jay with Jay Wilson and that. Me and Ness hadn't fallen out. It wasn't funny. I ain't never thought it was funny. So now people are saying that you're making a bigger deal of the situation. And it's your channel and it's your opinion. So I guess they're saying that and making that out. I don't look at it any type of way. It's just I look at everybody, however they want to present their con content and whatever they're doing on here. Um, but I'm just telling you what I saw. This is my opinion. I thought it was a skit. I thought it was a skit that didn't do uh, go well. Uh, I thought it was a skit that Rob probably uh, bailed out on. And that's why it was very, very awkward for him. And then because he had that whole mustard bottle thing and he really didn't even do anything with it. So I felt like it was something that they just it was a failure. And so that's what it is. That's my opinion. But y'all ain't got the bitch. I'm telling you right now. I got my whole life with it. But then I thought I said, suppose that was me. And then I'm thinking. Well, she did that to me, but then I forgot about Wilson. So it is what it is. It's a YouTube. You click people's channels. You get what the fuck you get. Thank you so much, uh, Trejor, James. All you right, are bye. welcome. Okay, let me go read uh, everybody dragging me in the goddamn chat. I'm going to need y'all to check your goddamn BMI and drink some goddamn water and exercise. You know what? That bitch is on here. All right, let me get off here. Fuck these Good hoes. Back. Okay, bye. My girl, <laughs> that's another perspective. I don't find it funny. I don't find it funny. And again, uh, mm -mm, sorry, not at all. Still setting the boys up to be dragged. Not funny to me. Not funny to me. I don't care about it being Rob. I don't care about the Tracy stuff. Y'all want me to care about the Tracy stuff. What, look at the, what Rob attract Tracy, but you were on mute. Rob was fucking Tracy, and I was on mute too. When Rob and Tracy was kissing and hugging and having a great time, I was on mute then too. That ain't none of my business. You sound crazy. What business do I have to talk about Rob and Tracy? That because the first thing you just said, that's heterosexual people. You're gay. Why are you speaking about it? You can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. Because when they was fucking and loving on each other, I wasn't saying nothing then either. Uh, next. And what does it have to do with me? Tracy took care of whatever she needed to say. I don't even know the full story. I know bits and pieces of it. I didn't even watch it. I didn't even watch it. It wasn't interesting to me. They're a heterosexual couple. Okay. All right. Next. So, yeah, I mean, that's another perspective. Maybe it was a play, but that's not, again, if it was a play, that ain't funny to me. That's I, I got nothing out of it. It's not funny. And I still say anybody who sat and thought it was funny, I'm looking at you like, oh, really? That's funny. Okay. What's the difference from Martin Lawrence doing it to VS? Ness, like, really, y'all? Huh? I don't even know what that is. 
I'm lost with that. Who hid? Who hide from it? HB, just type in. You have your opinion, and she had hers. Put us in what kind of? What is this? You had her opinion. Wait, you have your opinion, as she had hers. Put us in what kind of panel you do what you do and let her do what she do. And that's absolutely it. That's absolutely it, Stella. I did. I came and clicked my button. I I, I don't see, where, where was the outrage? I clicked my button. I clicked my button, so I wasn't that right to click my button? First of all, how, how many nights do y'all listen to Ness talk about me and tell lies on me over there? Huh? Was I supposed to stay quiet when Nessa and, and uh, Georgina sat over there and doxed me? Should I have been quiet that day too? I ain't supposed to say nothing to her, huh? We splitting hairs? What we doing? There's too much tension for LGBT folks in the street. These stunts can get someone hurt. Child, it's, again, it's just Par for the course, honey. It's what I tell y'all. Everybody ain't your fan, honey. I mean, are y'all y'all are catching this right? So I'm wrong for pushing the button and saying what I feel, but she's right for pushing the button and doing fuck shit. And then in the flip, if it when it happens again and there be something over there on social media and floating around about a trans person getting over on somebody, y'all be in my inbox. So why ain't you saying nothing? You can't have it both ways. Mother, can you answer my question? Is Martin Lawrence beef? Martin Lawrence who? Who is that? Are you talking about, I don't know no Martin Lawrence, baby. Who is Martin Lawrence? I don't know who that is. The only Martin Lawrence I know is the one on television. There's no outrage, really. We are just state and perspective. No, no, baby, there was outrage. There was outrage. There was. I don't know how much you pay attention in the streets. There was outrage, dear. There was outrage. There was screaming and yelling and then lies told. Why should she take it down? She shouldn't take it down. Who said that, Stella? I don't want her to take it down. I want her to leave it up. I, by all means, I just sent... I told 1,300 people to go watch it. I ain't never said that. She needs to leave it up forever. Madam Scorpio. And that's what I saw, Madam Scorpio. I was offended for him. I'm not even a straight male. I was offended for him. The comedian. I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all off, y'all, y'all, y'all off topic. Y'all on something else. What do Martin Lawrence have to do with the beefing sector? And what do Martin Lawrence have to do with this? My God, today actually call it out, Demi, and tell her she was lying. She can't drop my recordings. Okay. What? Okay, so y'all arguing. Okay. Mother Sister TV was begging on it for. Okay. All right. So y'all, y'all, y'all move in some different way. Don't deflect from James speaking on the truth. Right. I'm I'm not. I'm I'm going where I'm going. And here we go. Let's see. And that's played in the faces of the LGBTQ community. And if no one saw it. That's if no one saw, it's that saw. Um, kudos to you, Treasurer. You caught it. I did, Janet. It was it was ridiculous, and they seen it too. These people are not crazy. They're not crazy. I sat there, and like I said, everybody who laughed, I looked at them. Strange, strange. I did. Ain't no need me lying. Oh, Craig's picture looks like Martin. And what did that mean? So, so is that the point they're making? 
that the Craig picture looks like Martin? What 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 is the what's the point of that? You say the real BS is wait, the real BS is Bree. Oh, on me. I got docs to be sector. That's BS. Oh, uh, daughter, I don't know nothing about none of that. Um, you got to go take that up with Bree. Yeah, you got to take that up with Bree. Bree open up her panel all the time, Donald. She um she opens up her panel and y'all can have a whole dialogue about that. What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Exactly, D2 nice. Again, it's a deflection, you all. This is the beefing sector. I love it, honey. I love it because when it get too real, this is what we do. We start splitting hairs and talking about bullshit. So again, you know, I open it up to see it. JC, you are upset. Wait, what'd you say? J JC, you're in upset with Ness and Jay Wilson and upset with Robert. Do you, JC, deem it as a play or stupidity? No, I actually, I, what I said was what I said, Kwani. I'm not actually upset at all. I just pointed it out. I pointed out what was being done. Ness was using the boys. She was using the boys as the punchline. She didn't care nothing about how that looked and who she hurt with the gay boys. The gay boys was put being put there. They were being victimized. She was victimizing Rob Rack. And I'm not upset with Jay Wilson at all. I was pointing out to Jay Wilson that I thought where he was going was wrong and maybe he didn't have all the information. That I was trying to do damage control as pertains to Jay Wilson. I was trying to, 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 to help Jay Wilson, but Jay Wilson pointed out he knew what he was doing, he knew what he was saying, he didn't need my help. So I, that's what I was doing with Jay Wilson. I'm not upset with Jay Wilson at all. I don't know Robert. I was upset about what happened to Robert now, that did upset me because I felt like he was being victimized. No, I don't like seeing nobody victimized, straight, gay, or, or otherwise. Yeah, so I don't, um, yeah. Mm -mm. James was trying to say that Ness is a comedian, just like Martin and Shanae character he played. Okay, but we're not on TV. So that, that again, that's they splitting hairs and they playing games and not trying to deal with what's actually being said here. What I'm saying is it was predatory behavior, period. So that's where I'm not seeing anybody actually sitting there trying to argue with me that it's not predatory behavior because that's the beginning, the middle, and the end is that the behavior was predatory. The behavior was predatory, was it not? Are we saying that that wasn't predatory? And if y'all are saying that when Tulsa did it, that's predatory. That ain't right. It's not right. Pretending to be something that you're not to lead somebody down a road and they don't know what's going on is out of order. I don't care who the players are. It's out of order. So are we saying that it's not now? It's, it's acceptable over here? That's not the real T, my God, today. It ain't even about where he's from. It could have been one of us. It ain't even about that. That's yesterday's conversation. That predatory behavior is something that exists in the beefing sector. That's what I'm talking about. It exists, and it seems as though we are more and more accepting of it as the days go on. That's my point. And when they start fighting with me about it, like I said something wrong, that's where my issue is. But y'all always screaming about somebody being a predator. But now being predatory is okay. You want your camera on, Sister T? I can't hear you, babe. Wait a minute. There she go. Hey, Sister T. How you, how you doing, babe? You know I don't. 
I suppose to not be hitting links now, but I had to come up here to clear something up. First, are you doing okay? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Do you mind me saying something, honey? Depend on what you're saying. Now, if y'all doing uh, like a, a sector fight, I don't know. No, do there's no I, sector I, thing. I don't do no shit like that. I handled it on my own platform. All right. Is it about this situation? Yes. Okay. Well, by all means, please do. Go ahead. Go ahead, babe. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I have no problem with Trezor. Uh, I don't even know him other than what I have, uh, you know, basically, um, uh, uh, how should I say, uh, what people have said and what I've seen. And I have no problem with him and nobody else that's um, in the LGBT community. What you all got to understand is that I don't care who y'all are sleeping with or what y'all are doing. All I care about how y'all are treating people or how y'all treating each other. So I would re really would appreciate that even in Trezor's uh, chat, everybody else's chat, please stop spreading lies and, 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 and get your information correct. As far as this stuff that's happening on Ness, I really don't care as far as that. I don't fuck with this guy because he's a piece of shit in my opinion. But if, it, if even him is getting a jacket put on him, that's not true. It doesn't matter. It's not right. So uh, that there alone, I, I do understand why you're speaking on it. But there was somebody in your chat that mentioned and you read it. And that's why I hit the link It's talking about that. I uh, I like a support or something about this MHB. Let me tell y'all something. Don't worry about who Sister T support. I support every fucking body in every sector until you fuck with me. I don't care who you fucking with, you land with or not. It's none of my business. All I ask is that you respect me because you would like the same treatment. So stop and keep me out y'all bullshit. I drop my link every day. I don't hesitate to do so, so hit it. Stop putting lies out on me. Yes, I do speak on the LGBT community. I have the right to do so. I have that right, like they have the right to speak on me as a heterosexual woman. I don't have to agree on everything. No, I don't. But if Trezor, which he does, have respected me, I'm not going to disrespect him until he disrespect me. I don't give a fuck who he's fucking. So could all of y'all please get y'all shit right when it comes to Sister T and stop spreading motherfucking lies on me. Bottom line, whoever you fucking, whether it's the men, the same sex or not, heterosexual or not, if you are a low down, dirty motherfucker, that's what you are. And I'm going to treat you that way. If you treat me with respect, I'm going to treat you that way. So can we please just keep it moving? Okay. Now, could you spread that motherfucking truth just as much as y'all been spreading the lies? Okay. That's all I ask from anybody. And thank you for giving me this voice because Trezor, I am told not to hear any more fucking links. But I am glad I hit this one because these motherfuckers need to know. Keep me out y'all bullshit when you talk about me being prejudiced against two men and two women fucking and sucking on each other. Let me tell you something. That's their fucking business. But if they disrespect me, I will treat them just like you heterosexual, low down, dirty motherfuckers. Now, do you understand me? Thank you, Trezor, for giving me this time. Do you have any questions for Sister T before I vacate the premises? No, you good, baby. Thank you, sweetie. You have All a right. blessed day. All right. Donald, come back. Donald uh, Donald Goins was actually sitting back here waiting. Um, come back, Donald. All right. Can lady. I leave um, now? Yes, you can, baby. Thanks for coming up. You need me to bring you down? Okay. Hold on. Let me get me some light. Donald, come back. Hold on, y'all. Okay. All right. So I had to get me some light. I was losing my light. Donald, um, I don't. If you're coming up to say something about the situation, that's cool. Please don't be coming up here to talk about Bree, because I'm not gonna let you do it. So, just so you know, before you come up, no sector fighting up here. But if you have something to say about the actual situation, I don't have a problem with that. I really don't.
Donald. Salute. How you doing, Treasure Lane? Can you hear me? I'm good. Yeah, what's up? Not to bring no grievances to you or nothing like that, mother, but I'm hearing that you the creator of one of the top of the top dogs in the beef sector. So that's what happened in the chat. You know what I mean? Brianna uh, did the same thing with Sister T said to me, spread narratives based off what somebody else did to about eight, 900 people. Video hit by 5,000. So I just dropped in the chat because I thought y'all was over here still on that type of time. I respect the LGBT community. I'm not homophobic. I even got a co-host that's from the LGBT community, and I'm a heterosexual man, trouble. You know what I'm saying? But for her to put that out there is, is a bad stigma for me already to be a villain. You understand me? So I'm at odds with her for that, but she sitting in the chats and lied on my name. That's that's what I was basically saying in your chat. I don't know if you paid attention to that. But I ain't on nothing hostile or nothing like that. I've been in the B sector for two two years now. I know what's going on over here, sir. Yeah, you know, you're good. I, I don't have the problem with you being in the chat. You come in here a lot because I see you. I see you in here. So, but I mean, I can't make Bree do nothing. But oh no, I'm not asking okay that. I'm not asking that. I wanted to bring a I, I want to bring awareness to this type of thing because people lie on people and wonder why it's war. They wonder why it's continued chaos because of people like Brianna, because I'm not aligned with nobody. You get what I'm saying? I went over the docks in the beef sector, but for her to put that out there, it cost me some money and, and, and support her. You understand me? So that's why I'm over here on that type of time. But it's nothing to uh, disrupt the show. Like I said, respect to you and your channel. But it's going to continue to be more fire on her ass because she lied on me, sir. Okay. Well, fight. Y'all fight because she, she know how to fight, Donald. Y'all just, y'all do. Oh, no. Nah, she, she, she ain't even <laughs> seen nothing yet. I'm, I'm, yeah. I have, yeah, she ain't seen nothing yet, man. But. Enjoy your show. Shout out to the B sector, man. You know what I mean? I just want to come up here and shout out to everybody in the chat, man. All right. Appreciate you coming by. Yeah, it's up, though. All right. All righty. <clears throat> Let's see. Jay Dunn. Jay Dunn was back here. These people. Let's see. All right. Anybody else on the topic about the predatory behavior, whether you agree, don't agree, I'm open to hear what you have to say. Um, uh, you know, me and the views of you go way back and she don't agree. Benz, I do want to say about Benz, Benz and Tracy both. Um, I felt pretty bad about what happened with Benz and Tracy because they just got, they got caught up just by being in the chat. But again, can't nobody stop the ladies from coming in my chat, they're going to come in my chat because that's what they do. So that was just stupid. Um, and you all know, Ness, y'all know y'all got blocked. She'll have the block off tonight, child. She's always chasing numbers, so don't even worry about it. Okay. Let's see. Uppity was up there too. I forgot about yeah, Uppity was up there. She had a lot to say, but we already know what Uppity's stance is. Uppity is completely homophobic. So I didn't even pay Uppity really too much attention at all because she was here for it. She wanted, she wanted it to go down. She wanted it to go down. Thank you for coming up too, Sister T. Yeah, she wanted it to go down. That again, what I was actually saying about the girls, everybody ain't in love. Everybody is not in love. They're not. We coexist and we co-mingle, but everybody is not in love over here. Shelly. Yes. What's going on? Hey, Treasure. Hi, um, darling. Hey, Quan. Can I tell you any of my grievances? No. Uh, hey, go ahead. I you only can... had nothing, thought I would ask if I could. Go ahead, man. No, I'm just messing with you. I don't have any grievances. I just right. figured everybody else was hitting the link to tell you whatever. I saw I'm going to say, because you know, you come and tell me when, when you be mad with me, you come and tell me. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't got to go stop out from nobody else because she come right on up here, but I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to hit your link the other day, but the show was over because I wanted to come back because I really did want us to finish that conversation. And I hope that you would be willing to have a part two. Cause I just feel like we just didn't get where I would like for us to get to. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to uh, let you and Quan Quan talk. I'm going to drop down. 
<laughs> See you later, Shelly. Bye, Kwani. All right, baby. Welcome, Kwani. Hi, my and, question and is, is go, I was gonna say this is interesting because you do you're one of the people that is actually from the beef sector who do have strong views that are opposite of you know the views that I have. So I'm glad that you actually hit the link so we could actually have a dialogue because it just is what it is. I don't even know what your full stance is on this, but I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna let you talk right now, Kwani. So welcome to the uh, to the lane, girl. <laughs> Go okay, ahead, I did make a video before you went live. I did. Okay. And my question is, well, let me start here. I understand your point of view, also Jay Wilson's point of view, because you're speaking from predatory stands. But Jay Wilson is speaking somewhere else. You were, to me, in upset with a setup of what Ness was doing. And Jay Wilson was in upset of the words that came out of Robert's mouth. The them. Okay. I don't like being around them or I don't talk to them. Wait a minute. I'm confused on certain things. Then on top of that, let's throw in this part of it. Has Ness ever stated she's part of you all's community? When Ness sat up and ate uh, this Heat's vagina and came down mm -hmm. here and told us all about it and told us all the details, how could she not be part of the community? If she wasn't part of the community before that day, she was after she was she got up and wiped her mouth, she's part of the community. Part of the community she's, for you. But no, part period. Of community for her. Okay, she's well, literally okay, well, sitting it. here in a relationship. Mm -hmm. She is in a homosexual relationship. Okay. So you don't get to choose. See, I know Duchess Kelly Love says no. I know Duchess Kelly Love says, oh, I'm not a part of that community. I'm not a part of any of that. You, you don't get to choose like that. You are part of the community. If you are gay, you're part mm -hmm. of the community. We will protect you. You know, okay. it's not, we're not asking okay. you, you for anything. Okay. Is it gay? Okay. What about the, the girls or the guys who had one sexual encounter with same gender loving? That's different. Are they in your that is different. That is just what's what it is. You just said no, it is. They are somebody who is actually because they're not claiming to be in a gay relationship. They're not. That's because if that was the case, you have to say people who were who might have been violated, then they're part we're of the community. No, no, we're not talking about violation. Uh, a willing participant, not a violation. Right. Mm -hmm. You're saying somebody that tried it, didn't care for it, and moved on. In my opinion, no, they are not a part of the community. See, we're not, when I say part of the community, we will protect. We're not asking you for anything. We're not saying you got to get up and fight with us. So understand that. But if you are gay, like uh, that's, I'm gonna use Duchess Kelly Love because you know Duchess and I know Duchess. So no okay. shade of Duchess at all. Duchess at one point he and I wish he would come down and hit the link because he could explain it. But Duchess honestly does not feel that he is a part of the community. He says, you know, I used to be part of the community. I used to go to the parades and all of those things. Being at the parade don't make you a part of the community. It just is what it is. Duchess is a gay man who is in a gay relationship. He lives a gay life. He's gay. He could never sit and say, I'm heterosexual. He is homosexual. So we we will always protect Duchess, even if Duchess doesn't want to be protected. We will still come to his aid and say he is one of our brothers. That's what I'm talking about. And the fact that he was in, you can't go, now nah, I ain't in it no more. You know what I mean? Not that, but a person who had an experience and then realized, you know what? Hey, this is not for me. No, they're not part of a community. They are a person that had an experience, but someone, Ness didn't have an experience. Ness is having a full on, full out gay relationship online in front of our faces. That's gay. Really? That's gay. What about Her the children? Her and okay, well, what about the children that are going around today? Okay, what do, you, what do you call these children of today? 
who states, I'm not in the LGBTQIA community. I love who love me. What are they? Gay. Why you say that? Because they're one of them letters. I love who love me. If if who love you happen to be the same sex, you gay. They don't claim it though. They don't have to claim it. We gonna claim them. Because when shit oh. go down, when shit go down. And we be fighting for our rights. We fighting for rights for them too. We're not going to let really? nobody hurt them either. We're not going to have nobody hurt them. We're not going to do it. All for one and one for all. You don't have to sit with us. You don't have to sit with us, but we're not going to let nobody knock you down. That's what we do. That's what we do. Just like when we, there's black people who pass for white. We still, we ain't going to let nobody hurt them. If some shit break out and there are people you who are mulatto, I'm, not, I'm we, not fighting for nobody not claiming I'm, me. If you black, James, I'm, no. gonna, I'm gonna fight for you. I'm sorry. I just I I'm am. not claiming black, nobody not claiming me back. I'm not fighting for nothing that don't fight for well, me. That's what we do, baby. That's what we do. All that's how skin gay folk ain't kidding folk. Right, but that's, how gay work. but that's how gay works. That's how gay really? works. Really? That is how gay works. If you are gay, we are not gonna let nobody hurt you. When we fight for our rights, we are fighting for rights for you as well. Rather, you want to admit, to, oh, I don't want those rights. Oh, no, I don't want to get married. But that's OK. You got the choice to get married. So We're are you fighting live. for Ness rights? Are you fighting for uh, Brian's rights? Now, Brian's conflicted with his sexuality. Are you fighting for Brian? I always, always. Always, I always stand up for Brian's gay. Brian don't stand up for Brian's gay. I always stand up for Brian's gay. Now I don't stand up for Brian. Do you Brian's understand mess. he needs help? Do you see that he needs help? He needs help, and that don't have nothing to do with his gay. That has to do with his. That's humanity. Brian has issues, and those are issues yeah. that has to do with Brian the man. That doesn't have anything to do with him being gay. That those are other issues altogether. You don't think it's conflicting? You don't, do you not think it's conflicting? Peace, Rob. Can it be a, a, a piece it's of both? Very, his life is conflicted, though, Kwani, because that that he went through some stuff. So when I say, yes, I champion his gay, Brian grew up where he was told that him being gay is wrong, 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 wrong. When mm -hmm. we fight, we fight. Yes. But when we're not fighting, I've always talk to Brian in a way that he could feel comfortable about his gay. And I allow him to be Brian. You know, mm -hmm. when we're fighting, you can't take any of that. Yes, Rob can hit the link, Brianna. Um, I don't, when, when me and Brian are fighting, all bets are off. You know, I, I, get I, that. I don't want to see nothing bad happen to Brian. Hell no, I don't hate Brian. I don't want to see nothing happen that's bad to Brian. But what I won't do is because he got a few issues, allow Brian to victimize me. So I won't do that. I get it. Do you not do you do you not see that he sees you? I see it all, Kwani. Remember, I knew Brian. As a champion for him. I knew Brian before y'all you know, did, before he ever was in this area. I used to follow Brian. I've known Brian forever. I, 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 mm -mm. I see Brian. I see Brian for exactly who he is. I just, I, but I just want, I want to know if you saw it. I just yeah, want to know if you him. saw what I saw. Absolutely. And, and I want him to do well. I want him to do well in life. You know, the, the fight that we do is fodder. If you ever do, the fighting that I do with Brian I don't go anywhere that Brian don't go. I match Brian's energy. I do. I literally match Brian's energy. I don't get deep, deep down. I could go real, real dark with Brian, but I don't. I, I don't. I, I mean, I go as dark as he is. I let him, him lead the road. But I don't hate Brian. I don't. I don't. I see the good in him, and I see the bad in him too. But I ain't playing doormat for no bitch. I'm not asking. That's not what I'm asking. That's not what I'm asking. Yeah, and I'm not going to excuse I it to ask, try to help I, I you. I never ask for nobody to lay down and let somebody walk on. I just want to know if you see what I see. Yeah, I see it. I see it and more. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is Rob coming up? Rob is right here. 
Hi, Rob. Hey, peace. Um, somebody, uh, some uh, peace to the panel. Uh, Kwani, peace to you, and peace to your chat. Hello, um, give me one. Uh, lovely love is down here too. Lovely. Hi, lovely. You got your mute on, love. I was just in, and I was like, I'm in the back for a long time, just sitting here. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I wanted uh, Kwani to get that out. Okay. Um, because I seen I was in your bushes, Kwani. I was in the car. I was in your bushes, so I heard some of what you were okay. saying. So I got your message. Okay. I did. I got your message. Okay. But okay. I, 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 I shut up. I, I'll be quiet. Go ahead, Rob. Yeah, I was going to say because this really a lot of this is actually about Rob. Rob, um, I'm Spillet Boy TV. Um, we've never met. I really don't know. I know of you. I don't really know you. But I'm Spillet Boy TV. Welcome to Treasure Lane. What did you want to add to the conversation? Because a lot of this conversation did uh, center around you. Um, oh, you cool. All right. So, um, mm -hmm. it's all good. So, um, well, I, I was, I feel like it was like ambush. I was ambushed. Um, I don't see, I, I, I do not disrespect the, the community because what people do or how they are. As long as they not mean to me or disrespectful, I don't, I don't, that has nothing to do with me. Um, I have a, not a track, like, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm heterosexual. Okay. And a lot, and to be, it would be the equivalent of me trying to uh, shoot my shot at a woman who's a lesbian, you know, and that's disrespectful. Respect her way of life. And to the to the men, please respect men's way of life, especially if that man could respect me. I respect, you know, uh, people's way of life. And so I was told that you were defending me, and I was like, I don't know who who the who the person was, and you know, like who you are. Like you say, this is our first time speaking, and so I appreciate that to for you to recognize because uh, I receive a lot of hate, you know, because I hurt feelings. And I get it, but I felt like the reason why I, I, I just kept my mouth shut is because my channel is monetized. Um, I don't want to get my channel taken away. I don't want to be seen as somebody who is uh, against certain communities, uh, things of that nature. Um, and it, it makes me feel good knowing that there's people out there without a dog in a fight saying, yo, that was wrong. And you yeah, know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate I, that. I am part of the community. I I just love every, everything gay because that's what I am. But I didn't like what I saw. I thought you handled yourself very well. I really did. I I didn't take offense to anything you said. And I saw. I didn't even, say, I didn't even say anything. Yeah, I did. I, I people did. got mad when you referred to us as those people. That didn't bother me. I'm like. There's so many different ways that you could have went and the things that you were being, they, there was something that they wanted. They wanted you to go left and you yeah. didn't do it. And I was very impressed with that. I really was. If you had went off, I wouldn't have had, felt no way about you going off because I saw the setup. I saw the setup. I felt like you were victimized. Sure. I thought the, the behaviors were very predatory. I didn't care for it at all. And that's why I clicked my button. I clicked my button and I said what I had to say. Um, it just was what it was. It was what it was. But I thought you handled yourself very well in the situation. I did. I appreciate that. And I also, like I say, it, I, I, like I, like, and you said, even if I would have went left, that's about as far left it, you know, when you said those people, that's about as far left as I'm willing to to take it when dealing with um uh like people I don't even you know like and those people could refer to um weirdos, haters, goofs, um you, you understand what I'm saying? Because right. even even if um 
even if that person wasn't of, of that lifestyle and he just was a goofball, I said, look, there are those people, they, you know, goofballs. But to be, uh, to, to, to say that and to continue to say that, Right. Um, it was, it's he a, kept going, kept going, kept going. See, and let me, I'm going to be very transparent with you right now, all of y'all. See, in my real life, off of here, I got a brother that is heterosexual. And I promise you, my brother, my baby brother, would not have handled any of that. He would have bought the bait, and my baby brother would have said some shit up on here last night that y'all ain't never heard of. Do you understand? Me and my brother are complete opposites. Complete opposites. Now, I love my brother and my brother loved me. And I'll take it all the way. I will kill a goddamn rock about my baby brother. But our views on certain things are totally different. That's why I said I was so impressed with how Thank you handled yourself because I have to say out of my own house my baby brother wouldn't have handled himself that well he would he would have been pissed and he would have went the fuck off so like that's why I would say if you would have went left that wouldn't have shocked me I'd have been all right with that because it was what it was it wasn't right and the way you were approached you should never be approached like that especially when you you present as a straight man there was nothing about you when you got up there that said to me that, okay, he's with the shits, you can go for him. Nothing about you <laughs> ran that at all. So as soon as it started happening, I'm like, you got to fucking be kidding me. So, no, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I really didn't. Okay. Oh, I didn't say peace to this sister right here. I seen her before, but I didn't say peace to you. Peace. That's lovely love. Fifth. Lovely love. You know, so oh, and also I want to say this on your on your channel too. I might be if I don't like to get in women's beefs, I don't like to get in brothers' beefs. If I'm cool with brother A and I'm cool with brother B, but brother A and B don't like each other, that ain't got none of my business. I'm cool with both of y'all. Same thing with the ladies. If I'm cool with lady A, I'm cool with lady B, that's y'all B. I if I, I want to feel comfortable on Lady A's channel and Lady B's channel. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I ain't started. I'm not going to uh, micromanage the situation, macro manage the situation, referee the situation, or, or, or disagree with the situation because it has nothing to do with me. And so I just wanted to say that because I do realize in these certain sectors that um, when you're cool with one person, the other person just don't like you just because you're cool with that person. And, and, and that's like we're not in no gang. This isn't. We're not in. We're, this, these are not gangs. These are real people, content creators that are just trying to win in life and just to bump their guns on the internet and get their inner thoughts out. Right. And maybe have people up on a panel and have a good show, and then and then have the people in the chat do uh, either engage with the people on the panel or engage in the conversation or just be there like in, in, in a party mode. And um, like I said. I don't have no problem. And it, it was on my mind all day. And I was like, I, I was, uh, my first thought was, you know what? I'm finna go to the Bible. Then I'm finna go rob rack. And then I'm finna just let everybody. And then, but then my, my channel will be at risk. And, and people would have instantly forgot why I said that. And just right. focused on the negativity that, that spewed forth from my mouth. When somebody that would, would be in the know would have to say, no, 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 no. Rob just getting off where he mad at because he was violated. And I do feel like that's a violation. It was Big a violation. It was, there ain't no other way to put it. It was a violation. You, It was a violation. Anything, any anybody that's anything other than heterosexual coming up and coming on to you when you're up there is a violation because you ain't open the door and say that that's okay. It's a violation. It's not right. Even if I was in a relationship with a woman and another woman knows that and she She's tries violating. to shoot her shot, that's a violation. It's still a violation. It's still a violation. She's violating. Yeah, yeah, it's violating. About, no, that's went no, but that's went left and and start screaming and hollering about 
why it ain't no big deal and the people was laughing so it's okay because they laughing don't mean it's okay they just as fucked up as you it ain't okay okay but i, have a, but I also have a question also robert when it was said and done once you found out it was ness pretending wait, to be wait. crazy oh did, did you say to her yeah, I, I didn't let her know you felt violated. No, I did you didn't. Let her know you felt violated. I didn't. I don't know who crazy. It was two dudes. It was one dude, the first dude, and then there was another dude. So, but then what did I say to Ness? When Ness came back up, she was like, "Somebody try to um, rob it straight. Whoever that is, I'm gonna find out who it is. I'm gonna ban them. Somebody ban them." And then I got a text that somebody said. Oh, Ness is Craig. And I was like, what? what? I don't get it. Yeah. Oh, the book yeah, Ness, Ness was pretending to be, okay, Ness was pretending to be Craig. That photo, that avatar with Martin on it was really Ness. Pretending to be Craig. When she came back on, when you, did you ever realize Ness was being a man, Robert? No, no. Okay, see, I done you left never knew? No. Well, that's what happened. Ness is Ness. Well, then is I'll, I'll, when she, she when, she, when I got own. time and she lied, I'll, I'll you know, because I treated Ness, or well, I treat Ness with with respect. I, I, when I'm on other people's panels, I put on my good self. I don't cuss. Uh, I, I don't use foul language because I know that people are monetized. So. I try to be on my best behavior, and if I let a curse word slip out, I apologize for it. Try to cover it up, but I didn't know that, so I'm gonna have to. We gonna have. I'm gonna have to talk to her about that and ask her. Well, let me say this. Let me say this, Rob. I'm listening, brother. I don't want you to like go at Ness. Now, no, I, I didn't. Would love y'all to have like have a conversation about it, and you can tell her how you felt about it, but. I don't want you to like fight with her or fall out with her because at some point, at some point, she fighting now. A lot of it has to do with the fact that me and Ness don't get along. So she's in uh, battle mode. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't so, know that either. Okay. Yeah, she she's in battle mode. She's pissed off with me. So that's oh. why she's pumping her chest. So whenever you do have the, and, and by all means have the conversation with her because it wasn't, you know, she shouldn't take you down that road. If y'all cool and all of that, even if y'all ain't cool, she shouldn't take you down that road. But just be open to to maybe she she gets it that what she did wasn't right. She might not really feel that it, you know, that she did wrong, but she did do wrong. But I'm just asking, be open to the dialogue. Like, don't go and just like jump on her. You know what I mean? No, I no. But, yeah. No, yeah. um, because okay, so Ness, she's she in the she is she considered the L of the LGB she or the B sleeps with women. She sleeps with women, but I, I don't think she's full lesbian. So she, Ness okay, so, men and women. So I'll say she's the got to be at least bisexual. Because okay. that's when you came over. I felt like you was like shoot your little shot at her, like you was a little attracted to her. That's why I said he come over there, you know, hitting at her, and she go and pull this stunt. So yeah, she likes boys and girls, as far as I know. She likes okay. boys and girls. So, so I'll, you know what? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot my shot at Ness every time I get up there, and I want, I want I, until she says, "Hey, Rob, I feel violated," and I'm gonna be like, I, "Now I want to talk to Craig." Well, I can't even argue I, with that. You know, now I want to talk to Craig. I want to talk to Craig and Ness at the same time. I just want to see me, Craig, and Ness at the same time. But I, if y'all say that that's her, then that's her. <laughs> so in in her in her mind, um, she wanted. I don't know what it was. She thinks that it was funny. She was making she was making commentary is what she was doing. She was using you yeah. for commentary and fodder. She wanted you to go off and say fucked up shit about gay people that's what she wanted they were all going to kiki and laugh because they wanted to hear it and then they were just going to go on she's done this before she's actually pretended to be a boy and come at gay men and different things she's done this catfishing thing before she thinks it's funny but now 
hopefully this situation will make her open her eyes and see that it really isn't funny and it really isn't right to actually do to people. So I think she does care for you some type of way, like like she's cool with you. And I don't. Yeah, know. That's what. Yeah. That's what. So maybe but, with you, it she'll just take it and and think differently. But she thinks that the shit is cute, and I'm telling that's you, what, it ain't cute. See, look. Come on, it was fun. And I told you, Gag Nation, that you a fuck bitch because it's not fun. And you still in there trying to pump the message. If you think that's fun, then you think that predatory behavior is fun. And it's and, not and, to me. To me, and it's also, not. And, and also, um, see, on the internet, you know, you're, you could be way on the East Coast. I'm on mm -hmm. the West Coast. But let's just say that somebody tried that at a corner store. Exactly. That's you know, but exactly I, I, my point. I, I, I didn't want to say that. But that's but, but that's that's real life though, Rob. That's why I told you no, that's I why said, I said what I said, I said about my brother. Also on my video. You damn I said right. on my video as well. I said you can't when you try to remove somebody's choices from them, you can end up on a lot. Removing somebody's choices, you can end up in a bad predicament. That's why I asked uh, you, Robert, did yeah. she ever say to you? Oh, it was me. No, she I'm did really, not. I was really great playing with you, and I apologize. <laughs> That's why I asked you that. No, and I'm saying no. I know you know, I uh, to that's that's that pretty. That I mean, now knowing the 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 full gamut, the the whole situation. I, I titled the. I was I was live. People told me that you were live and you were defending me, but people said that earlier too. I I have. I have eyes and ears um, as, as well. And so I, I titled my live, I titled it, I don't even feel comfortable going on people's panels no more because I don't want to be, I don't want to be attacked. And then I really just forget that, you know, because I'm trying to change. That's why my channel monetized. I'm trying to stop using foul language. I'm trying to stop, you know, calling women booger wolves and calling dudes, you know, dust rocks. I just want positivity as much as I can on my channel. But if people want to mm -hmm. drag me back into my old life, I'm going to go back to knocking on people's doors. And this time, I'd rather I crash out. For real. I don't care if you got kids in the house. I don't care. None of that. Why go to jail for 45? You know what I'm saying? Don't you let somebody else being foolish make you yeah, foolish. That's the type of response that they were trying to get. Yeah, that's I know that's why I came into the picture so to try to do damage control before we even got there. Nobody needs to get fucked up in this situation, and that exactly. and it just it could it get ugly real fast. Why everybody's oh, I thought it was funny. I thought it's funny until somebody's fucking eye get put out. It's really not funny, and I don't know why y'all no, don't get it. No, it's, no, it's funny until it shows up at their door. No, right. it's funny when it shows up at their door. Let's see how funny it is at their door. People don't understand Back. until it's at the door, James, Absolutely. and you know it. You know, and I'm, I'm not just some. Beasley. Good, good, good evening. Good afternoon. What's going on? Go ahead, Rob. Yeah, I just, I've been listening to your commentary. This, I'm gonna ask you a question if I can, and then uh, give, 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 give not a answer because I do the same type of thing. Do you think that your animus for Ness? This is me. Is, is 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 pushing your commentary? Not at all. This is me all the time, Beasley. I've always said that. Like, I'm I'm gay, but I'm always behind the gay folks. And when they do wrong, I'll be the first one to say that they're wrong. Okay, so it doesn't really because, have anything to do with me. Because I happen to, have, just wrong. I happen to have caught that on replay. Mm -hmm. That was some of the, and I don't like Ness at all. At all, I'm going at Ness hard. I'm beefing with Ness. That was some of the funniest stuff that I've seen in a couple of weeks here on YouTube. I'm literally in tears. She changed into that character. Just about everybody knows that Craig is Ness, but the male voice is so convincing, and the whole chat was laughing. It was like a big old joke, except Rob was the only one that wasn't in on it. Don't mention my name, bro. Don't mention my name. Keep my name about your mouth. Just keep my name about your mouth. 
I, you're not going to do anything to me. Hush. Hush. Hush before you go back. Uncle James, but can I say something? Sure. Because y'all, I don't, I don't think y'all paying attention to the panel. Y'all, y'all not. Paying attention. Now, li li now listen. Now, I'm a, I'm a, I, I know you because I, I see your face expression. Now, this is what Rob did. Rob did this when y'all asked Rob, "Did you know it was Ness?" Rob said, "Somebody texted me and told me it was Ness." If you he look still, at that he video, still doesn't know. They're telling him that it's this Ness. Is, this is, him, no, this no, 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 no. Listen, wait. No, no. When you look He's at that video, Rob looked down and Rob after. was texting on that phone. And they was telling he Rob that that was there. Ness. That's why Rob didn't say anything. He still he still doesn't know. He just when said. He just, he go just go said, look at the, when you go look at the video, that's what, when he looked down. And he and mm -hmm. he went to moving them fingers. He was texting. That's when he said somebody told him they texted him and told him that it was Ness. He, and he, and he, and he, the, and he said and that. He I mean, he said know. that, but do he really understand he, the he brevity of it. that? He, he yeah, that's, oh. yeah, that's the okay. The okay, that's okay. What I said okay, Ken. But wait, let me See go here back on this panel. He still don't believe he, us. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't. Oh, know. he don't understand. He don't understand. Okay. Oh, oh, I, 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 I see why. Okay, out of the out of the six people up here, I'm only gonna talk to three. I got you. Hold on one second. B, you were you were the I butt of the joke in front of seven hundred people, and Beasley. you didn't know. Yeah. Beasley. Let me ask you a question. You thought it was funny. Hilarious. I got you. Okay. Now I've heard you do your commentary, busy, and I kind of know what your, your stance is on things. If you were sitting in Rob's seat when it happened and Ness did it to you, would you have thought it was funny then? I'd have logged off. I wouldn't have exactly. sat there and I would I would see I would I would I wouldn't listen, I wouldn't be so eager for clout and attention, but that I'm gonna that I'm mm -hmm. gonna let a gay man hit on me like that. But Rob feels different. So Rob just let wait, it happen. Wait, excuse me. He just let he just let it happen. It made me wonder what he was doing in jail for nine months. Okay, he just let so it happen. Great. I'm gonna he drop you down because okay. this really is not about that. It's All not right, about that. Well, but Rob just, just let it happen, All and right. then actually he let it happen. Okay, he's suspect. He let it happen. All right, thanks. And, and you know what? And 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 I've said things. Bye, Beasley, you but I'm not homophobic. Me. Bye. Wait, this is the that same person. This is the same person who said man. that he well, wanted to, to, uh, to but he wanted ODS to, to eat him up to get on Pizarro panel. That's the same guy. So what is he who talking about? about? Who are you talking about? Beasley. Beasley. Yeah. Okay. Th well, that's what he said. Make, but we're not going to make this so about that, Does that make you the LGBTQIA community? Because somebody from the LGBTQIA no. community is attracted to you? No, it, no, but it, it wasn't funny though. What happened last last night? I, I mean, I didn't know what was going. I look, I just went up there, said the little joke, and and dropped down. That was it. But I was in and when I saw what I saw, I saw Ness with her own avatar speaking as Ness. Then I came back and saw her with the Martin from the Martin Show, Martin the real Martin, Martin Lawrence the real, the comedian. Yeah, I saw her avatar and saw her speaking as Craig. I saw Rob on the channel. But <laughs> Rob, right? Rob down. was kind of fixing himself. He kept turning around, doing something within his room. I saw him trying to fix himself up. He was doing something, and I said, "Well, maybe he's on mute." I did not see Robert's circle moving. I said, "Well, maybe he's on mute." Oh well, no! Uh, when when it comes to uh, Kwani, Kwani, I, 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 there's a move. There's a move that I, I think I invented. The move I think it was on Coolidge Channel when she allowed somebody up there that I don't rock with. And he just wanted to ask me some questions, so I just went to sleep. So that's what I do when I don't do. Yeah, I, I saw that. I, yeah, I saw that's that. what I, I was doing. I was listening down. the whole time, I saw but I went to sleep. From the floor. I saw yeah, you. I thought it was uncomfortable. I thought it was very really uncomfortable. Yeah, that's, not what, that's, not what I, that's not what I, I got, got Justin. What Justin, you did? I, I have a, a treasure, treasure land. I, I said, well, the brother on mute, he maneuvered mm, himself. On mute. 
He not listening. He doing what he need to do to get acclimated in his seat to go out with Ness. Okay. And I heard Ness as Craig flirting, but he wasn't doing nothing but sitting there with the Okay, yeah, that's what he said. We, we already heard, heard it, girl. Okay. We already heard it. Repeat, wash, and repeat. Yeah, that's what had happened. Yeah. Okay. Hey, brother, brother Treasure. Awkward. It was brother very treasure. awkward. Brother yeah, Treasure Lane, I'm so home. sorry. Okay, wait, go, wait a minute. Go ahead, Rob. I'm so sorry for cutting you off, um, sis. Uh, my apologies. I just wanted to get this out because I heard something. And just, there was two, Brother Treasure Lane, I need you to ask this question because, you know, I put barriers in place. Just just ask this question maybe to, to the panel. Um, there were two dudes up there, right? Oh, or Ness asked Craig. So I'm going to say Craig. There was Craig up there. Then after Craig left, another dude hit the panel and said some other weird stuff. Could you ask the question and see if there was anybody on the panel who that that, that was me. Was... That was me. Yeah. yeah. That was Ken and Yeah, that was me. Okay, see I was gone by the time Ken came up. What would you say? Yeah, I I, I just asked one question. I said, what what did I say? I I, I don't even remember what, what do anybody as usual, you always talking about. Yeah, I said shit. something crazy yeah. and then just dropped yeah, off. I, I can't even remember yeah. what I said. It was weird. It, it, it was something conversation. You just always get on panels. Just yeah, no, nah, it wasn't. It, it, it wasn't nothing uh crazy to, to, to go at you yeah, crazy. You it probably was just something. Not even hopped on the goddamn yeah. panel. That's what how important it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't really that important. It won't nothing be, worth nothing. Okay. That must be misviewed. That's yes, it is me. <laughs> 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 All right. Is that is that it, brother? Did I did I um yeah, explain was, myself? All yeah, right. I, I want to say making me uh, crazy, Rob. Rob, I want to tell you, Rob. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, hey, uh, James. Uh, fuck Kwani. Fuck lovely hmm? love. Uh, a view. Uh, so I'm getting to talk to that the damn uh, the man that's over here. Fuck you, goddamn corn. Let me talk. Hold up, up. bitch. Okay, I ain't saying a motherfucking thing. I ain't saying a goddamn 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 thing. Oh, to nobody, oh, bitch. Oh, you got your ass up here. You don't want licking people, motherfucking asshole. You got me <laughs> fucked up, bitch. Um, Welcome to the booth, Rob. Can I be right? Now, want me to be right? I've sure sure up here and ain't doing shit, shit with brand. new angles sure and shit. This bracket bitch has to say nothing enough. You know what? You love lovely love, bitch. Don't I'm gonna drop down. See, that's how you got to shut down a little fucking. Oh, you got new teeth in your mouth. Ask your question. I'm a bald head little fucking bald head. I'm going to get the bottom. You can't even get it. I'm a bald head. Ask Rob your question. I really don't. But Rob Rack, I'm telling you right now. 
you have really brought a lot of uh, content to this area over here. I don't really like to claim a whole lot of sectors and shit like that, because if I want to be in a posse in a group in the club, I would have signed up for we don't have no goddamn applications over here, okay? You get over here and you might fall down and then you bump your head and every time, next thing you know, you dragged and you all up in the motherfucking sector. Now, I've been over here and I love it. I do. I love it, but it is what it is. I can't get myself jumped out. I can't help y'all get yourself jumped in. It is what it is. I've got history, but I'm going to tell you right now, you ain't really part of the goddamn beef sector unless you got a goddamn stream on the goddamn lipstick Shut alley. Up, okay? Up, you got to get a goddamn stream on... First of all, this retarded ass bitch. You got to get a goddamn stream on the lipstick alley to really be a part of the whole old school beef sector when we really did stuff. And I don't really want to hear people talking about the old school stuff. I was there. I was whatever. But anyway... Uh, Rob Rat, I'm gonna tell you right now, when you over and over there, you talked about that goddamn bitch with the goddamn pussy mustard bitch. That shit was uh -uh. Christ, bitch. we love you over here. Yeah. And I ain't gonna drag We're her. We're not doing that. Stay on okay, okay, let me get okay. We're not doing really that. In. Okay, okay, I'm really in. you know, but better Rob Rack, you, 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 okay, I'm gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna spank your tail. Okay. That's what I know, you. but I do love, but 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 James, we do love the fact that. Uh, Rob, Rob come over here and he added some content. He really did. He kicked it in and really added some content. So I don't really like the fact that y'all are trying to disrespect this man. Uh, uh, it's not acceptable. Uh, I thought it was a skit when he was over there with the, the nest and all that kind of stuff like that. Because he had the mustard bottle. So Rob, but I didn't did you really drag him too? Went to everybody. No, I did not. You a damn lie. First of all, first of all, why am I talking to your motherfucking ass bitch? You need to fucking get yourself together. Did you get on here with a goddamn a fucking mouth full of? You look like a love. Uh, what's the other? But bitch? you know what? Like I'm doing two together. Bitch, you're looking like. Hey, hey, Sergeant Lane, can you hear me? Oh, All this is because I'm the YouTube sex symbol. Oh Lord. Right, right. Hello, I'm really hey, right. hello lady. Just, How y'all doing? Just, let me get okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the fact that he came over here with the fuck shit and that he fucked goddamn tree dog. Bitch, I'm telling you, any motherfucker that will fuck that motherfucker yeah. bitch and come back and tell us that her yeah. wife Rob, like, don't do that. Okay. 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 But I really do like yeah. the fact that you came back on off. here and right. you shared your whole right. tenacity with her and the whole drama with the California thing. You added a whole lot of content for a whole lot of people over here, people that couldn't even have any content. So yeah, yeah. I need them to give you some respect over here, Rob Brad. Thank you. Now, I don't be watching a whole lot of what people. Do, wait, what do you mean? Over, wait, 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 wait. Listen, a view, a view. What do you mean over over here on this channel or well, no, are you talking okay, about a sector? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a sector. Just even oh, for oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it's Yeah, because this, this brother makes me. This brother, um, you know, um, I feel, I feel comfortable over here. I don't feel no weird type of way. No, you know, you so when you said over here, here, I would just, you know, you come uh, over I, here. You come over to mother's. I don't even call him mother. I'm then being funny because y'all, I call him James. I call him Churchill. I met him. So I call him whatever the fuck. And when I call him, he going to answer. Ain't you James? I just, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> we like the fact that you're over here and you're being um, open and stuff like that. James don't have no goddamn particular goddamn things y'all keep making goddamn scenarios about. So I just want to say, I'm glad you're over here or not even over here. I need to stop saying that. I'm glad that we are watching you, um, Rob, but make better choices the bitches you want to fuck on the goddamn YouTube. I'm just saying, because you can fuck two bitches on here that there's trash, but we still like you because you gave us content. You gave us shit to listen to when we were getting to work and shit in the morning. Yes. And we're getting through yes. the night. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, uh, okay. We <laughs> ain't doing the commercials because this on Trey. Well, okay, we ain't gonna. Hold on, hold on. Don't kick me off. Don't kick me off right now. Hey, right Rob, here. She, she was playing with her pussy. That's what uh, she Wait, what? I got to be respectful. I got to listen. She was playing with her pussy, Rob. 
And fuck the you people that have your no dick. Don't no, 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 she be playing with her pussy. Whoa, 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 she touches herself? Is what you're saying? No, Rob, I'm not entertaining. No, 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 so, but, what, but, what's wrong, but, but what's wrong with but what's wrong with that though? She's not hurting ain't nobody. Wrong with that. But she talk about people that is getting the juices in. She talking about people that's getting the juices in and living goddamn life. She color like okay. this. That's why her hands go so quick. Oh, so you watch your mouth. Them new teeth look nice. nice. Them new teeth you got in your motherfucking mouth look nice. But I'm down down it. It. You know what? It do. And I'm working on the bottoms. Yeah, you need to work on the bottoms, and then you need to also figure out how to figure out what's going on with your BMI and all that kind of stuff. You have what is that? What is the BMI? You're trying to take care of yourself. Look at you. Body mass is there. You fucked up, bitch. I am not fucked up, bitch. I can show up and show out. You got got your grandkids on this show. I can show up and show out on you, bitch. Bring that over here. What the fuck you got for me? Bitch, get on line. Bitch, you got all this shit to say. If you're going down like this, you're delayed all the time. Hey, I'm finna subscribe. Yeah, I might I might, I might pop up over here and chop it up. You know, I know, I know how to start a pot, too. Yeah, I know. I don't mind. I'll tell you in a second when they get Yeah, now let them go at it. I might look. I ain't doing nothing now. I might look like a boy. I might look like a boy, but guess what? You look like a boy. 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 You look like Bitch, you are skinny. I'm not skinny, I'm but go ahead. I'm sorry, too. You but six foot skinny. No dick. Ain't never had no dick. Can't get no goddamn nigga. Don't want no nigga. What? YouTube is your nigga. You been on YouTube for 99 goddamn years and still ain't got a motherfucking nigga. Y'all tell me if I'm lying. I don't look like a nigger, bitch. You look like a nigger, bitch. Well, I probably do. I fuck like one too. You I fuck like one. Let's see. That's what I do. Okay. Well, is, that, is that the best you can get? No, no, no. How did you do that? But how do you do that? You don't even know one about that. No, 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 no. A view is a view. Hold on. Lovely love. Lovely love. Listen, this why I'm talking. Lovely love. This why I'm talking. You said something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just you said something. I just. It just kind of, I understand the argument and the fight, you know, oh, girl, fight. Um, you said you um, F like an N. And I was like, <laughs> wait, what? Um, could you elaborate on that just a little bit? I'm confused. Okay. Because I, I, if I was talking to a woman and, she, and, and we were talking. Harder. I grind harder. Guess what it is? I grind harder. You feel it? I, I understand. I, I, I understand. Stutter. No, I understand. I oh god. Okay. I, I, I know I understand. But I, what I will Let's say is I don't I don't, I don't think that you should say it like that. I would say that. Oh, that's what yeah, she did. Doesn't sound that's, lovely. That's, she's lovely. Lovely. that's she's lovely. Piece that's lovely. That's right. Like that. That. All right. So okay. So listen. Let's get back on track. Uh viewers of you, you done with Rob. Uh Oh no, yeah. So yeah, Rob, I, I'm glad that you came over here. Not that yeah, you came over back in that again. To, to uh, okay, come uh, for us to be viewing you, and I'm glad that we are engaging with you because I think it's really good to add more uh, content and stuff over here because I'm I've got really sick of the whole 
things that we're always talking about, the whole old school stuff. So this is refreshing. And then we do have some uh, logistics where we you have met people that we do know over here, and I'm glad that you're sharing it. Now, what had happened with you uh, yesterday, uh, it has been a repeat performance. So I am glad that you handled it the way that you did. Thank you. Um, and then uh, however you go with it and however it's going to be spun, it's going to be what it is. But uh, it's been repeat perform. Uh, that person has done something. Now, I do enjoy that person because that person even hit on me. Now, I saw somebody type in my chat. Tell myself, oh, Craig even hit on you. Why wouldn't Craig hit on me, bitch? I look good. OK, but I ain't really trying to get down with no goddamn Craig. But anyway, I thought it was really funny that the Craig was hitting on the, the men over here and just coming on here like that. I think it's kind of disrespectful. And I think there may be some legalities here. Something some this doesn't seem like it is legal. You can't get on here making money off of uh dragging men and bringing men into making money on here as a parody and not think that anybody can uh put a case on you i don't think it's good i'm just throwing out some legal advice uh a, a lawyer that has some time they can make something on this motherfucking shit. so the people that are doing this i don't think you should do it so rob i thought you handled it very well i thought it was a skit i thought you were a part of it i guess you're saying that you're not I'm glad you just put that goddamn mustard goddamn container right there because, you know, because uh, I can see you in the country. One more time, I'm going to drop you. Now, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I forget you know about that. Okay. But I'm not because you know, you know how I go. And you know, I'm yeah, like but you know what he so did, though. Too. I, I, yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to drag it over here. I know. I'm not dragging Tracy. So finish with your conversation with Rob so we can move on. Y'all going to leave Tracy alone. Well, Tracy needs to leave herself alone. Okay, thank you. Drop yeah. me right now. Tracy needs to leave her motherfucking self alone. Thank you. Bye, James. I love, I you, love baby. you, baby. And I Rob, you do your thing. That way. motherfucking thank Tracy you. container with the mustard was good. Okay. Thank good you. Night, Drop me. Wait, Father, Father, wait me you ain't gonna, you not going to tell me you love me, though? Damn. She don't love me, though. Uh, I, wanted to, <laughs> I wanted you to say that. Not a mustard cuckoo. She lied on I know, us. I know, I know, no, hear, hear me out. Um, I would not have known about this brother or uh, be able to be exposed to his audience if it wasn't for that situation. If I would have, even, he said, even if I would have went left, he said, I would have felt that, but I didn't do that. So, I did what I did what the best. I used my wisdom. I used my perfect thinking, my highest self. Now this brother um, uh, defended me like, "Hey man, look, that's not cool." And so I don't know the difference between like the the black and the beef sector and and all that. I don't know like all the people. I just know people who uh, are cool with me. If if I be like, oh, I didn't even know you cool. I didn't, I didn't know, so I'll rock with you. And like I try to tell people, um, first of all, I believe in God. Then I believe in, in in the structure of the universe. Like I said, I would not have been in this chat. I don't know how many people in the chat. It was a lot. It was like one point three when I came in here, and you exposed the video chat. Uh, um, I wouldn't have met you if that situation didn't happen. Uh, you treated me with respect. The the both both these women and even I I love black women. All the women treated me with respect. Um, you treated me with respect. I don't read the chat. Uh, the two brothers that came up here, I don't rock with. Like like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm gonna keep that off your channel. Like, like you know what I'm saying. Like dude, just do you. And let me do me. If something happened to me, why are you over there championing it? I was just over there trying to, you know, I just wanted to get a kick in while you was down because you wouldn't be able to do it face to face. So um, I'm going to subscribe. Uh, I know how I get down with when, you know, like women argue. Uh, I ain't worried about all that. I'm just here just uh, 
trying to get my weight up, trying to let people know, like, you know, I, I, I'm a cool brother. I'm funny. I'm hilarious. I can chill. I, I don't have to do a whole bunch of cursing. I know how to shut up. And I know how to speak up for myself, you know, and if anything go past anything, you know, all the way to the left, like it, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a black man, just like everybody else. So and so I just wanted to say, man, um, I feel positive vibes by being over here. And uh, I will, you know, uh, if I see you live and I look on the panel, like, oh, OK, cool. It looked like it, I, I could just vibe out and just uh, chop it up. Hold on a second, Rob. Kwani. Wait a minute. I don't know yes. who this person is. Brian's here. OK, I'm, I was on mute. Okay. Listening. But hold on. Hold on, Brian. Hold on one second. Hold on. There's somebody back here. Um, I don't know okay, I'm going back on mute. Either. Yeah, I'm going on mute, OK? All right, baby. I don't know who this person is. Hold on. Gold tooth. Hi. What's up? I have one question for Rob. OK. Rob, please tell me, how did you lay up with Tracy? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Moving right along. <clears throat> wow. Moving right along. Don't even answer that, Rob. Just I know. I, I, I know. I, it just, it's like, wow. I, I didn't even, my yeah. bad. Uh, Kwani? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Brian. Okay. I want to do one thing before I actually talk to Brian because Lovely Hi, Love Brian. actually came up, I think, to say something oh. to Rob, and she never actually got the chance to do that. Oh. Um, did you ever uh, something to say, Lovely Love? Because you ended up getting into a little altercation with uh, View. Was there something that you wanted to say to Rob or about Rob's situation? I didn't want to move on before we actually gave you an uh, opportunity to say your piece. Okay. I didn't write it down. I forgot. Sorry, y'all. I, I forgot, but I'm it's just okay. enjoying. I'm just enjoying the stage. I'm enjoying the energy. Um, when it comes to Rob, he doing his big one, and um, I think I don't even hate to say the big one. I got to get that out of my vocabulary. But um, when I seen him, when I went back and read about it, he was standing his ground and. He he could have did because if y'all know Rob, he can get ratchet on your ass real quick, and he did not do that. So mm -hmm. I think he respected, yeah, I think he respected her platform, and he just didn't know. Damn, if I say something, everybody gonna come down on me. I think he don't really give a damn. First of all, second of all, he liked the atmosphere over here, but you got other people that affiliate with somebody that he affiliate with it. And then they don't like him. I don't know why people do that. I like well, it. Don't work. And you know, it doesn't work over here. There's some of everybody here. There's people from the Mo3 sector. There's people from the black sector. Yeah. Anybody can come. Anybody is welcome to come over. The only thing that I won't like, I won't allow the sectors to fight with i'm not going to let you use my platform to come at the black at the, the beef sector. I'm just not going to do that. And I don't get in their stuff. You know what I mean? I only spoke on Rob because it was something that happened on a black sector channel. And, you know, that's how that ended up. That's how I ended up speaking on it. But everybody has always been welcome. I make people feel welcome. I have friends from every walk of life. Wow. I, in my real life, I have straight guy friends that come over, straight women, gay people. Train. I know some of everybody. I've been on a planet for a long ass time. I get along with everybody. I'm cool with who's cool with me. Period. Right. That's just me. Brian, um, I don't know where you're going or what you really have to say, but yo, I feel like yo, I'm the same way though, Treasure, because um, even though I do construction now, I'm a barber, right? Okay, like yeah. through the heart. I've been cutting, I've been cut really. I first haircut, I was 10. I wanted a haircut. And I cut my hair and I was like, Mama, you gotta give me a haircut. She was like, You've been to go to school like that. <laughs> but I cut my, you know, I cut it all off. I went to school, got clown, and she got my haircut. But uh, I've been cutting for over 30 years, 32 years I've been cutting, making money. So I, I love money. 
and I'm not going to turn down no money because uh, if I can cut a killer, then I can cut somebody that's a homosexual. If I can cut somebody who's a deadbeat dad, then I can cut a little kid who steal candy from the store. I don't care. I cut white folks, Asians, Latinos, uh, um, depending on the t you know what the woman wants. I cut women's hair. You know what I'm saying? Like I, right. I do all that. So, okay, sorry. And, and, but what I'm trying to say is, when you said that you you've been on this earth for a, you know a long time, you know I'm I'm pretty much you know I know I'm I'm younger than you. Uh, I'm I'm 26 years old. <laughs> so. You what? Uh, hold you up. What? Hold up. Hold up. Uh, wait. Nope. There, are you saying that I can't call myself what I want to be called? I want to be I called mean, 26. 26. But wait a minute. Yeah, he, he was supposed to just play past that. ZX, is that you? Is what? Oh, it is. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you, boo. I got well, you. Let my let Brian speak first. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, Brian. I don't know. After Brian, Brian speaking, lovely yeah, speak. Yeah. Yeah, it's there's big, a whole big. lot happened before this. So I don't know what part of this Brian is speaking on. So, but I'm gonna let Brian go ahead and speak. What's up, Brian? Um, you can go ahead and let them speak uh first. You I could personally... me. You've been cussing me out for two days. You came to cuss me out. No, I wanted to speak about what because the devil tried me today, and I think you know you tried me too as well. But I could patiently wait my turn. And you know, if you let these people talk, you know, they're guests. So I'll go back on mute. What do you mean, these people? Brian, Brian, Brian do you think I, I want to ask Brian a question? Yeah, go do ahead. You think Brian I tried and you today? Uh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do you ma think I tried you today? No, I didn't say you. You just simply asked the question. I'm talking about James says. No, stuff she was talking about me. me. She's talking about me. I'm mean, yeah, yeah. talking about. Yeah, and I ain't no she. It's a he. You know, okay. I'm not confused, okay. but I'll go back on mute. I'll go on mute and wait my turn. All right, ZX, what do you have to say on this stuff going on here? Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm good. Great, great, great. I wanted to speak to your broader commentary that was done uh, yesterday. And um, not anything in particular about Rob or anybody else up on the panel, but to compliment you on your commentary on the weaponization of uh, being a gay male or gay female and using it um, to agitate. And this is why people do lash out. I think you, you tapped on something very, very important. Um, what was done to Rob was done to get him to react. And even the slightest reaction would have been uh, labeled a bad reaction. Pretty, pretty much whatever he said in response would have been labeled bad. Right. But it was generated in order to get that reaction. And when you have people out here now, uh, there was another individual that hit the panel while that was happening. That was here previously. They joined in on it. It wasn't covered, but the comment was made to Rob after the, after this had happened to him. It was like, well, you got your hair braided in jail, blah, blah, blah. And you start going down that line and had, again, had me, he done better than me because I would have lashed out. He, he held his, his, you know, he just blew it off, which was good. And that's why he's getting the praise that he's getting because he brushed it off. But I think when you have, um, people who don't want to recognize that there cannot be any communication between people who think or live differently, if you're going to weaponize one part of it, and associate people with something that they clearly are not associated with, but you want to weaponize it, then you have a conflict. And that, I think, was the bigger story in your commentary yesterday. I understand today's commentary and what you're doing, but yesterday, that was, I think, was the big point. And there seems to have been a, um, a couple of people who were angry about your commentary uh, because 
they would not address these issues in the capacity that you did. You know, I wouldn't allow these people on my panel. I don't allow, you know, this, that, and the other on my panel. Well, you're not going to get the proper answers. You're not going to be able to bridge the gap if you can't have the conversation. So I just wanted to add that and give you a salute for your commentary yesterday. I get it. And I think, I think you did the right thing in your commentary. A lot of people didn't, or some people didn't like it but i think it was more beneficial to have that acknowledged about how people weaponize your community against other people and then when people lash back out then they label oh you're a homophobe well no you just insulted me i would have been insulted and i'm quite sure to some extent rob was insulted but he just did not lash out and feed the fire so that was a plus for him that's no, I how i see insulted. it I was insulted about what happened to Rob. I so I mean, I, I didn't like it. I, I really didn't like it. I really didn't. Yeah. So salute oh, to you God. for that. I'm gonna. Why would we consider the plus? How about that? Just who he is as a human. Say it again, baby. Why we? Why would we consider that a plus? How about that? Just who Robert is. James, you stipulated if. Your brother was in the same circumstance as Robert. He would have lashed out the he same way as was interesting. He would have lashed out. Why give it a negative or a positive? How about they just me and them? Well, I don't. That, again, I don't know. I'm just meeting them. I just met them today. So again, I my whole thing. It wasn't rather. It was he. I said that it was. It was positive to me. I was shocked at the restraint. That he actually have a had because for you the, because of what? So no, if because I know because how he had people like react to brother. those things, if he had reacted like my brother, I wouldn't have said nothing. And I said that earlier. Well, then still, I would have understood. Still a positive? It. Say it again. Well, would that still been a positive? Would that have still been a positive? If it wouldn't have been a positive, it would have been ignored. It would have been ignored because you can't smack I'm me and get I'm, listen. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, you can't smack me, Kwani, and get mad if I punch you in your mouth. You cannot get mad Wait at people minute. for how they react no, no. when you do stuff to them. Wait a minute. You saw that Ness was a predator. Right. And Robert reacted in a positive light, according to you. Right. But if your brother was sitting in the same chair as he Robert would he would and, not have. and decided to drag and I mean drag he would have how was that a negative I didn't say it was a negative I didn't say it was a negative I just said I would have went right on past it I wouldn't have held it against him if Rob would have went off I wouldn't have held that against him at all if Rob would have called everybody gay a bucket full of faggots yesterday i wouldn't have said nothing no different my commentary would have been exactly the same i would have still said what was what happened to him was wrong and Kwani, you know that about me I'm it's not saying, about a positive or a negative if I somebody is being a predator against a prey if you sitting as a predator hovering over a prey the prey is supposed to unalive you by you get, right, you get whatever you get, and that was my whole point. That was my whole commentary. You get whatever you get. If that brother would have went off and went left, you would not have seen me attack Rob. I would not have come down there and said you wrong. You shouldn't have said this. I would not have said a word about that. I would have did the same commentary and said, "Yeah, he snapped the fuck out, but he snapped out because you was the fuck out of order." I would have said that, and y'all know that. You, you know what? Hey, um, okay, Treasure, uh, um, Kwani, you absolutely right. I love you for that. You absolutely right. ZX is absolutely right. Um, uh, Treasure, you're absolutely right. Okay, all y'all are absolutely right. I just had some commentary. I just want to say this, and I'll say it fast. Watch this. Hey, um, ZX. I want to say this in front of the whole world. I apologize for the things that I said about 
you know, the harsh things. I know that we brothers and we can talk and say things like that's, you know, low brow and it hurt and, you know, whatever. But sometimes I go overboard. And you know what I say or I've said to you that is overboard. I want to apologize for those things. I thought you was going to come up here and, and use this as an opportunity to, uh, you know, like we can go at it. We can spar. You know what I'm saying? That's nothing. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't do that. And um, when you said that's a plus, I understand. I know what you were saying. So, Kwani, what he was basically trying to say is, see, a lot of people don't, like, really, really, like, tune in and listen. Like, they just listen to me for, like, three minutes, and then they'd be like, oh, I see this. Why well, I don't like Rob. But there are people that sit there and be like, let me see what's up. Like, oh, okay. The vast majority of the people that rock with me, they know that's how I'm going to act. Because I didn't said it before. Before even situations happen, I tell people that, that, that this is how I will handle that situation. And so I want to say um, to the brother ZX, all right, because I, the other two brothers came up here. I chose an elect to not say nothing to them. And I didn't say nothing to you as well. So, okay. What? Huh? Uh, I didn't say shit to what? you as well either. So what? Are, so what are you talking about? He's not about? talking about you, like, Brian. He's not oh. talking about you. He's talking about Beasley oh. and Ken. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. I was like, Rob, what? finish with what okay, you were saying. Yeah, doing. my bad. That just threw me off. I didn't push it aside. I'm fighting some people. <laughs> what yeah, I want to say? Yeah, I was like, what happened? Okay. Anyway, um, so I want to say this. Look. I apologize. I know those things were way out of order. I get way out of order. But I thought I, I when I say I'm gonna leave somebody alone and don't I do. Uh, uh, I, I'm not gonna talk about you. I just you know you get off where you mad at. I'm not gonna think about you when whatever, right? But you came up here. You could have used this opportunity to uh, say. Whatever it is you want to, say, whatever you wanted to say, but you you did. So I just want to apologize to you. All right. And what I wrote on a piece of paper for people who don't know, I was I was gonna be like, peace, I'm out, because I didn't want to interrupt the conversation. So once again, it's my third time, bro. We can still spar. You know what I'm saying? We could we could spar, but I want to apologize for going overboard with saying certain things, you know, about, because, you know, I miss somebody that's not here with me. So I apologize for that. And, but anything other than that, we can go back to sparring. You know what I'm saying? You can say whatever. It's cool. I don't mind that. Um, so thank you, Treasure Lane. If there's anybody else who want to ask me anything about the situation, the vast majority of people understand that I, I'm, I'm really not hateful, but if you play me the wrong way, it's over. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate okay. that, and and I do. Let me let me close out, please. Um, let me close out, and I'm gonna drop down and let you have it. My commentary was to support James. James, he wanna drop his... down because I have something to say that's contrary and to what he brought up I, here. I, I, they done. I don't. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, please. Um, they have uh, been up here for hours. What is this? They Jay done. <laughs> Don't start. They done. Just chill. I'm not starting nothing. I'm go ahead, ZX. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yo, ZX, ZX, ZX. She no, no, no. right there in the back. She fine. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Watch. Watch. No, this is a perfect scenario. Watch. ZX, just stay. Search your lane. Watch. I'm a content creator, too. I'm a mastermind, too. Watch this. Hey, Jay Dunn, remember when Preach was up here last time I was on this channel? Right? And then Preach was over there talking about, uh, can we cut, can I, can I curse a little bit? Just a little bit, Treasure? Yeah, no, I done said every motherfucker that there is. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, Jay Dunn, remember I'm when this, uh, be you. this you, you Yo, yo, me. hey, Jay Dunn, remember when a nigga preach was trying to be, oh, let me make you straight because you a gay bitch. Yeah, I want to stick big dick in you and fuck the shit out you and make mm. you look my dick and do all this. 
and you was like, leave me alone, you violate me, and you was this and that. I'm happy that a man had to speak for me because James decided that my opinion was not not worthy, and he dropped me down. You said I was being disrespectful to you. Hold on, y'all. That I'm being disrespectful. I'm not being disrespectful, Jay But you're not derailing the show tonight, Jay Dunn. You're going to play nice. I didn't derail nothing. The man is telling you. You did the other day. I'm not doing that today, Jay Dunn. We're going to go decent in the order. nothing. We're going to. You didn't even get I'm not fucking arguing with you, Jay Dunn. You're going to do it my way or we're not going to fucking do it. Oh my God. Jay Dunn. Goodbye, Jay Dunn. Bye. Fuck you. I ain't got time for it today. Not be trying, Jay Dunn. I really do. But God damn that bullshit. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Thank you, mother. No, I'm really not sorry. I'm not going to death. But God damn. Like, I really be trying. I be trying not to do that because people do this shit to you. I really be crying. But Jay Dunn, you really just always got to do the most. You have just like, oh, girl, I cannot. Sit there, Jay Dunn. I'll bring you back, but you're not derailing the show. We're not doing it. We're just not doing that, baby. We're not doing it. ZX, I apologize. Go ahead with what you were saying, man. Well, I was going to say to Rob, I appreciate everything that you said. I truly do. I just wanted to come up and compliment uh, uh, Spiller Boy on his commentary and the positions that he had taken because they are valuable in communication. Because as long as there is a divide, there is no communication. And I think you bridged the gap with that commentary that you did yesterday. Man, I and, love black people, ZX, and and get uh, ZX, bro. Guarantee you, <laughs> black people don't hate me. It just be a few people. So that this is, I'm just, you know, like damn. Like, what, what I wanted to do, normal. and I think this is normal. I'm lost. What no, I wanted this to do is normal, bro. I just wanted to thank you for your commentary. It was invaluable in bridging the gap and and seeing you take the position that you did and not exploit it or try to uh, utilize it as a, uh, you know, as a tool of being a victim. I think that is what I I wanted to stress out. And and, uh, and so thank you for, you know, being who you are and taking that position. Thank you so much. I'm going to drop down. I just, you know, like Rob, I'm the I'm on my best behavior. I hope you can appreciate it. But when you're right, you're right. And I stand with what is right. And you were right yesterday with that commentary. So thank you. I actually did a video about your commentary and my positions on it and why I think there was such such um, kickback on it. Some people don't want to bridge the gap. And they and they'll use that. So anyway, thank you very much. Y'all all have a good night. Rob, one day me and you need to talk. Man to man. All right. I'll open it up. We need to all talk. Right, nephew. All, all right. All right. I'm Uncle ZX. Right. Come on. I'm a little bit bigger. I'm a little bit bigger than sure that uncle. Make love. The room is here. We want to make love to each other, honey. Should we not make Say love? What? What is what is, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Kwani? What you want? What you want? You want to have sex with me? You you talking that freaky shit against Kwani? Take it easy, Kwani. Take it easy. Thank you, thank you, Treasure. Y'all have a good night. Well, 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 hold on, hold on, ZX. Why you don't want Kwani, but you want all my old exes? What? Yeah, yeah. He know I get down. He said, somebody said, it was only two women. What? I just came up here to ask you to pin the link, James. Hello, lady. I just came up here to ask you to pin the link. Uh, To pin it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Who is it? Who is it? That's Brianna. This is Brianna. Hi. How are Uh, you? How you doing, uh, Bri? Why you said it like that? I don't, I don't. How you doing, Brianna? How are you? But why did you say it like that? Uh, that's what they say. Everyone, like, I didn't even know who you is, and then I look at people titles, or I look at people videos. Well, you know, I'm subscribed to a lot of people. I'm trying to figure these things out, and they'd be like, "Bree." I'm like, "Who's Bree?" And they'd be like, "Wow, that was Brianna." So, okay. Well, oh, okay. are you? Is that the same, or is there another Bree? If Mm-mm, if a woman a made a title, 
It's only one. It's only one me. Oh, okay. 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 Say the one and only. The one and only. All right. All right. All right. So my bad. All right. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna keep enjoying the show. All right. All right no, 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 no. You want to talk to me? I, no, I don't. You want to talk to me? Thanks. Nah, what you got to say? I, I'm Thank not you. sure how it was assumed that I was here to derail Lena. That was weird. Jay, your behavior was. Can I leave? You were Can I leave? I didn't do this anything. Man. I didn't do anything right. but say Hold thank you. Right. Right. Exactly you were the last one to come in. Brianna just came in after Thank me you. and she just got to speak. Okay, well, can we talk about I got the... you, sis. I'm about to drop down. Let me just ooh, tell you this. Ooh. That nigga was playing all in your fucking face, Jane. Cause he gave he that that same jacket that you were talking about. That mm -hmm. pussy gave gave a B sector that jacket last night. He was yep. that's why he wanted to jump down. He ain't want Jay none to say nothing. Mm. He well, he the big he the nigga. biggest homophobic in all yeah. three well, sectors. Well, you know, James, James thought that I came here to ruin his show. Jay Dunn, can I say something right quick? Because I never because seen him. But, 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 but wait, but wait, Jay Dunn, this gonna be good. Playing with me. But this gonna be good, Jay Dunn, because I never seen a man suck more dick. That nigga suck Uncle James dick better than a woman with a lollipop in a motherfucking Ooh. pill. I never seen Baby, a man do nothing like that. I'm talking what about baby crawfish shaped GX. I'm talking about that little bitty baby bottle pop shaped ass nigga. That nigga. You the biggest homophobic in all three sectors, bitch. I bet you ain't gonna get up here and say that you support the LGBT community like the fuck I do, nigga. I support all of them, even the trans, nigga. You ain't gonna get up here and say that. But you gonna get your dick sucking ass up here and act like you fuck with my uncle and the rest of these women on here, and you know good damn well you don't with your bitch ass. But he also got up here and he talked about somebody uh violating kids and all of that. He also talked about that too, uh ZX. But you know what's so crazy? Didn't your daddy fucked your mama when that bitch was 14 years old? That means he was talking about your daddy, nigga, with his nasty, sick dick ass. Now, have a nice day and stick a plunger in your ass, bitch, and let it come out your mouth, ho. Rob Rack, you sitting up here with a 16-inch T-shirt looking like Queen Latifah with stuffed bell pepper cheeks, nigga. Sit your bitch ass down. You ain't going to do nobody nothing face-to-face, Miss Girl. Y'all have a nice day, Uncle James. I'm sorry for derailing your panel. There you go. So, so, oh, um, but, but I'm okay, still waiting for my you. turn. I'm, I'm well, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian, yeah, I, I couldn't hold I it, Brian. I had to get dropped down. I had to I get had to dropped step down outside. and all this kind of stuff before I even said anything. But what I came up here yeah. to say. I'm going to say, come on and say what you got to say, Jay Dunn. That's how, Thank that's you. how it always ends so up getting to be a problem. Speaking of, it was speaking of predators. This man, I have audio of him. Being a predator towards me, um, um, uh, Buddy Lee's this man, mm -hmm. uh, 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 on it, on it. Yeah, she's, she's talking about ZX. She's talking about ZX. Drop down before I can say anything. ZX, I got the audio. Buddy Lee gave me permission to get the audio from his video. I don't give a fuck Lee. about your audio, Lee. what you got. I don't give a fuck about you about you or this. You or this little dragon motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. You need to have a town meeting about you bastards that drag children, you dumb motherfuckers. Only one person up on this panel has anything about compromising a child. So I can't speak. He got the speak. What's your mama? But your daddy's not my child. Your mama, and you ain't tell that nigga nothing. Your daddy sodomized your mama, and you ain't tell that nigga nothing. So how the fuck you gonna tell me something? Hello, you ain't tell your daddy nothing. And your daddy when they did that to your mama at fourteen years old, you're gonna have enough to tell me something because I say fuck the kids. And you don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. But your daddy still did what he did to your mama, though. You get it? You better get you a B sector mic. You better get you a B sector mic. Because the black sector mic ain't working, Miss Girl. 
Fuck it, she broke it, Miss Girl. You niggas did not. Do you understand that? Hey, fuck you Reed, too, you little mic up, Reed. Bitch, you. You little fucking fucking face, little fucking. You. Yeah, as long as you're on that baby, you can talk about her breasts. You know, you're talking about everybody else. You got a shit on your fucking hot grom. You got a shit on somebody there. You dusty little bitch. You are a bitch. ZX, you bad. You look at these twins, man. And you just both of us try to talk about sodomizing kids. And I just used my words to, to get you out of the You little dumb little bastard. Fuck you. Do you understand that? Come on. Now you mad. Now you mad. You need something in your life. Your mic messing up, sir. You feel me? Me saying you need something. Your mic messed up, prophet. You make me mad. You exactly, Reese. Exactly, Reese. I never, and what's the point? I never said the stuff that he said to Uncle James. I never zoomed in on baby shirts and on shorts and big and shit. I never did none of that weird stuff. You talk about You need to go get you a night a mic. Well, I ain't done with your daddy, did your mama? You talk about fucking You and Jay Oh, go ahead, Jay Dunn. My bad. Go ahead. In the, the, the Ooh, community, I got support Yeah, yeah, yeah. I support the gay support. community. I sure do. One I thing sure I do. don't support is infringing on our children. Do you support the gay community, though? Think the, the gay community yeah, you you should be having an agenda with me. Yeah, I mean, I mean the nerve of this man, the nerve of you. When you got people this on your you then you gonna get on here and talk about Jesus and the Bible going on like gay men and all gay men going to hell, but you sitting on a gay man panel, dick sucking because you need the views because your channel is dead. You little bitty baby pot of pop. Shake, bitch. Your you small crawfish, shake, bitch. Shut your little ass up and go pay your water bill. You can't tell nobody nothing over here. Go pay your water bill because you can't tell nobody a goddamn thing. In that dirt, single, ugly, small ass, in that dirty water. Let's get it. I thought that was dumb, boy, and I thought that was soup you was in with that dirty ass water, nigga. How you gonna talk about somebody with that small crawfish you got, nigga? How you gonna talk about somebody? Miss DX, me, you know, come on, Miss You mad as hell. You mad? I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Thank you, Uncle James, for letting me up here. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, the water was filthy. Oh, I swear to God, it gave me a flashback from Katrina. Mother, Brian, when I seen that water, Brian, I thought about Katrina. It came straight to my head. I thought about Superdome. I thought about nothing but mud. And I mean, the nigga feet came out the water. Looked like he was dead. I mean, go get you a pedicure or something. Get you a pedicure or something. But I'll talk to you later, Mama D. I gotta go, Mama. I gotta go, Mama. All right, all right, T. All right, TT. I don't care about that girl. See you later, TT. You piece of shit, nigga. You to get a fucking job. The job, y'all, my wife. The me sitting the fuck down. Z, yes. You might want to drop down and come back. I was trying to take it the whole time, but somebody said something about some muddy water. Was the water that? No, nobody like gives a shit. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, one hundred seventy-five thousand. Can you buy that, motherfuckers? I don't give a fuck with a little nigga and live with his wife. Got to say about my shit. That nigga ain't got shit. Ain't got shit. Fuck him. Well, we Jay Dunn, Jay Dunn, you trick children, bitch. I'm not talking Fuck to you. you, I'm talking to James. Yeah, don't talk to me or about me, bitch. Ain't nothing you can say about me until you straighten up and get right with God for the things you have said about other people's children. You delinquent. Now, here bitch. you, you, here oh, you go. You, you now, need now some you know in your life. Now, you don't, fuck you. you. Don't know how to let All I'm hearing is static and just commotion. Like, 
can we drop Stop. down and come back? back. And no, Spiller Boy, no. I apologize. Let me say, let me say, I apologize. Necessary, y'all fighting, and you know, yeah, I can't be I came up here to be complimentary, but you fucking retard. You retarded bitches. The fuck. We don't focus. Clacking. I don't. As I didn't like come, up here, come up here fighting with nobody. Well, you didn't get a chance to fight, Jay Dunn. You fighting me. So, I mean, now go ahead, no, baby, no, and tell no. me what is it that you was wanting to say, Jay Dunn? What a bitch so, ass. On Buddy Lee's, this man threatened to violate me. You know what shit. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're I told you you need some dick in your life. You need dick in your life. Period. Okay. You need some dick. And that's my belief. You need some dick. I, I told you I grabbed you by them fucking dreams, get behind you and ride you like a motherfucking stallion, bitch. Now shut the fuck up. That's what you need. Some long stroking. You understand that? Not a rubber dick, but a real dick, bitch. Now shut the fuck up. Without Viagra? Ooh. So is it that predatory, James? Or is it only predatory when this is uh pulling a pipe? Is that the cock eyed lady over there talking to me? Huh? Is that the cock eyed fucking, fucking gecko looking ass motherfucking bitch that was on my dick? Wanted all my dick, wanted me to come to fucking DC to fuck your raggedy ass, you dusty pussy having ass fucking hoe. Shut the fuck up. You wanted this dick. Shut the fuck up until you showed me what you look like. Until you showed me what the fuck you look like, you old dusty ugly. Now shut the fuck up. You just a ZX. Hold up, ZX. ZX, please. So he being a predator to women. Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. 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 Hold I said, isn't that predatory behavior what he said? Because I was coming up here to let you know the the topic was being predators in the sector. I listened to this man be up here saying this stuff, and on Buddy Lee's, he was a predator but towards me. And sector, hold on, I'm not finished. You not even let me finish. And again, he's B not in our sector. He is our sector. And who? big man came up. Big man. Big man big came man up there who? trying to defend. Big man TV. What about him? He came up there trying to defend me from this man, and this man threatened to rape him. And we all know he's special needs. That's a predator. Hey, where did that take place at? At Buddy Lee's. If you would have let me Buddy talk, Lee's I could have said In the, the beef sector, Jay Dunn, that's what I'm talking about. But he's You're still talking about after. We talking about it's predatory behavior. No, but we're talking about. I'm speaking about. I'm speaking about predatory behavior in the beef sector. You telling me about a fucking buddy Lee? I don't even know who that is, Jay. Rob, Rob, Rob was speaking about predatory behavior that happened uh, Rob on Rack, with me. No, I was speaking about it. Rob Rack got violated in our sector. That's why Rob Rack. Rob was, Rack over was here. just talking about the man preach, but. You let him speak and drop me in the back. And I said, oh, so a man could speak for him. You won't let and me. You, what you didn't do was give me the benefit of the doubt for anything that I was coming up here to say. But that's I don't what you didn't you do. To see, that's the part you're not giving. You what think you can you run me. me. You can't run me, Jay Dunn. Where are you? You I'm can't run you me. You can't come up, up here and I'm start over talking and run and me. And then over talk me anybody. What to do with you next? I didn't ever talk to anybody. You approached me wrong. Do you, do you understand want me to that? Get the, do you want me to get do my you talk understand in the that? Do you I understand that? I was on mute. I did not you, over talk you. You did. I you did came not. in. Jay Dunn, I'm sitting there in the private chat. You steady telling me about what I'm doing and how long they've been here. This because is my you shit. You drop me down. This is my you motherfucking me. shit, Jay Dunn. You don't get it. It's don't my don't motherfucking shit. Don't lie. Don't lie, Listen, Jay. Bye, Jay Dunn. Fuck all that. I'm done trying to talk to you. Fuck it. Because you just don't get it. Because you don't want to get it. You's an ignorant bitch. You really are. Just absolutely fucking Ooh. ridiculous. For no fucking reason.
<laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Dallas, not right what the fuck to do. Go to oh, fuck live, Jay Dunn. That's the only place where you'll be able to run your shit. Go to live. Tell me how long a motherfucker on and all that bullshit. And I still love you, but fuck you right now. I ain't got time for that bullshit. Mm. You bringing up people that I don't know nothing about the motherfucking people. Mm. I don't know that motherfucking buddy Lee. He ain't my buddy. <laughs> Telling me about some shit that went on with fat ass, stinking ass big man with his retarded ass. Oh, Who gives a fuck? They go and focus, but now and I, I, and I still don't know what the fuck you talk about, Jay Dunn, because you spent all your time telling me about how long I let everybody else talk. Uh, and she could have been brushing her teeth. She could have been brushing her teeth in that time, and no, maybe somebody no, yelling would have got no, no, don't talk about brushing teeth. Don't talk no. about teeth in this sector. First of all, don't talk about teeth. I'm actually getting here. braces tomorrow. I'm happy. Now Dang that man. makes me happy. I'm don't actually getting me some braces. Around. Can we talk about cool? Can we talk about cool? Yeah, yeah. 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 You don't run that no here. Now yeah. please talk. Yeah. 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 Please talk. Yeah. 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 Please talk. Yeah. 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 Cold damn time. May somebody else make a point. Right. Uh, uh, Mr. Treasure, so I'm gonna drop down. So Let them have it. Let them have it. I cuss them out one at a time. I don't do ambushes. I don't like screaming and hollering. First, but I'll, 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 I'll talk to you because I can hear James, yeah, I don't do ambushes. I don't. No I don't ambush, talk to this man. lady. Okay. It, yeah, I can address each and every uh, treasure if anybody, if at any time. Oh, let me say something to the host. Let me say something to the host, and I'm gonna let y'all be the you know be the animals that you are. What? Um, bring. I just want to know <laughs> how was he gonna fuck Big Man TV? How yeah, I don't know neither. Like, yeah, I have no idea. Well, I was the same. How was he gonna fuck Big Man TV? How was he gonna be like you? What the fuck they gonna do it? You sit your ass. That would be me trying to. How was they gonna do it? I just need to know how they was gonna fuck. Yeah, and the same way, the same way I could do it with you. It just can't happen. It just won't happen, uh, James. I would I wouldn't mind having a conversation with you. I think you're you're reasonable and respectful, and I can interact with a gay man who does that. But these idiots out here, these these ambushers. You got young men out here like uh, the young man that came up there and want to talk about bath water. That's my bath water. This is my house. Like I said. Uh, my wife didn't have to tell me to go get a job after three years. Since I've been here, you've been unemployed, begging people to pay for your Christmas, buy you cell phones. Just shut the fuck up, little boy. Okay. You like to talk and talk shit. I get it, but it doesn't have any value when it comes to me. Mr. Um, Caldwell, I appreciate your time. I truly did appreciate your commentary. And that was my only reason for hitting your link to right. to give some constructive um commentary on your constructive commentary and say i support what you said all of the rest of it is a distraction you got read the philadelphia that got her ass her head so far up vs's ass she got shit on her shoulders that's how far her head is up vs's ass okay, okay. thank I you homophobic Thank you. Goodbye. And and again, and this Thank woman you, here, this woman here who Thank pursued you, me, all of uh, you Thank know what you realize, James. You know what Thank you realize. You, Some of these women Drop over here have Thank been you, very homophobic. attracted to me, Thank and they've been rejected, and they've been rejected, Thank just like Deirdre. Twenty-one days. Twenty-one days. Thank Twenty-one you, days, and been obsessed ever since. Ever since. You Drop are a nut. Down, you're a you nut. You are a crazy woman. Thank you're God crazy. No money, you're disrespectful. No and you're ain't ugly. Ain't no okay. Hair, okay. Got no woman. Drop your poor dumb ass down. You homophobic bitch. Your Why mother. Did, your why mother. Did, now what? Why? This is now not what? the black. Now what? Now what? You don't get no sector. views. Shut Please up! I get more yay. views from your Love sector me. than you do. Shut the fuck up, lady. 
Shut the fuck up. You're nobody in your own sector. Shut up. Get the fuck down, you homophobic, broke ass. Nigga, you don't get to tell nigga. people to get down on your ch- on yes. on your channel. You don't get to tell people to get down because no there's nobody way, there. Nigga. Shut the fuck no up, crazy way, lady. Nigga. You fucking Stop nut. You are not. Your not. Hey, 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 James, get James, let me give you something. Deandra wanted to date me. Views of you wanted to date me. Do you understand the craziness? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bitch. How about that part? How about that part? Bitch, go How about away, that part? See, I'm nigga. all of that because they've been rejected. They've been rejected. All right, Everybody see. put in the chat your grievances because he they're, is homophobic. They're not, they're not telling you to leave my... Bitch. Goodbye, Jesus. bitch. Goodbye. Okay. Did not tell you to leave my girls alone. Now you you, you mentioned their name they again, now. VS ain't got nothing to do with it. Ain't got nothing to do what with it. You but you talk what about Reed got shit man. on her shoulders. Little but man. at the end of the what day, you do, when you were man. sitting on that small what tea you? bag, you had shit in your drawers. We seen you, some shit in you, your drawers. You, you, you talking about do. that girl got shit on her shoulders? Man, you ain't trying to do that. When that woman came to the house, well, you had that BB gun. When that oh, woman came to your house, why you had that BB gun? Oh, you came outside, scared of that motherfucker. Suck that nigga had run that doorbell. That nigga came to that door and said, Hello? Hello? You ain't gonna do that, nigga. 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 You
we we didn't mind our own selves. We didn't mind our own selves. He wasn't bothering me. He was arguing who we told to argue with. Shorty, shut the fuck up. Let me get on here and I'm get off. Goddamn. You're all goddamn. Let me say that. Shut down your ears, girl. What I want to say, yeah. We heard him say all that stuff, James, but we don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck about what he's saying. We don't give a fuck about what the fuck he's doing over there. He came over here to your channel, your platform, thirsty as fuck trying to get a goddamn drink of water. Kwani, don't you know about that? Uh, hey, hold a whole goddamn hey, drink of water in the motherfucker. Uh, I sure do. You want to stay on? You want to stay on? You want to stay on? Okay, wait a minute. I'm not living no car. I'm not living no car like you were, man. You over here? I wasn't living no car. You motherfucking girl. Aren't you living in the car? You fed his ass. Aren't you sitting here and going to your home? Girl, get somewhere in here. We Stop got calling them cumbers and find you somewhere to live. Find you somewhere to live. Sixty year old, man. The B set for you somewhere to live. You sixty year old, you airplane on the goddamn tar pit. Find you somewhere to live. You sixty year old, you can you call your daughter the nice ass bitch? Can you call your goddamn grandkids? That's you. Can you call the goddamn driver? Never you should have one. One thing about my daughter, she doing well. She got, she got a house to come to. 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 She got a mama. You, know, you ain't got no children. Live in the car. Live in the car. Pissy bam, pissy bam, pissy bam. Still pissing on yourself, bro. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> so let me let me go ahead and address this. I think the point was James said he wouldn't give the platform for outsiders to attack y'all. Then ZX came and well. Were you watching the same live that we was watching, Courtney? Were you watching the same live that we were watching? Or did I miss something? Now, I love my people dearly, but the truth of the matter was... <laughs> ZX got attacked and start fighting back. Yeah, and, uh, they, they attacked fight ZX. Back. You fight back. They That's all was fighting. Mean, Everybody always. was cool. They was fighting. Yeah. But uh, no, mm -hmm. I didn't give my platform to nobody to attack back. nobody. Yeah. They attacked him. Yeah, yeah but he they start he, fighting he, him. You need to be. They attacked, done, came up and kicked it off. Wait a minute, dude. No. dude. Mm -hmm. Jay Dunn came up and kicked it off. To attack him. And then you all stole him? What'd you say? Then y'all keep that man back in. They can't, they can't, they attacked then, him, but now I'm saying we're doing something sideways. No, you you motherfuckers are crazy. He was attacking. Crazy. No, <laughs> <not fucking laughs> I came in, wait a minute, I came in and heard him say, Jay doesn't need to be bent over. So that means you walked in on something and you didn't see all of it, Courtney, and then you start judging me. And you're completely wrong. Jay Dunn came mm -hmm. up to turn it out. Jay Dunn didn't come up. Everybody came up about something else. Nobody was even trying to fight. Nobody was trying to fight. Jay Dunn wanted to get it kicked off. So don't put that on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't put that on clothes off. Y'all know it. This is what I'm talking about. This is why the red ball well, stuff is always there. ZX deserves to be attacked every day, all fucking day long. I thought yeah, you were not arguing. I'm just pointing out a, a fact of how this shit actually goes. This is how this shit goes. You pop it. Yeah, you don't see it all. Yeah, the lady with the red wig. I thought that was that was. I thought but I'm he not mad with too. Courtney. I'm just yeah. explaining this. Okay, can, 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 can we can we all attest to this? Because I didn't know. What did he say? What 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 does the act say? This is chaos. I wanna, I wanna. I, 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 I wanna show you my loyalty. loyalty. I wanna show you my loyalty. Oh no! Wasn't what that you? Wasn't that you a couple days? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I wanna show my loyalty. Exactly. I, 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 I want to show you my loyalty. And I'm we don't loyal. get along, but she take a I'll run. Myself, what y'all just fight the other day? Take, okay. take a wrench in my chest. Mm. And you don't get your dicky and yeah. ass the fuck up out of here, ZX. 
But here's the Tell whole it. thing. Jaylon ain't the one that mm. needs the dick. It seems like you the one that wanna be fucked. But did he have his legs popped open and put in that goddamn air, waving like it just don't care? I'm just saying. Okay, so wait a minute. So Regina mm. says that ZX started it. Now, I, I didn't think I got up and walked away from here. He did, ZX he was saying he something to me. Days. He did before he got off. He said these other Indians and da 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 da. He tried to throw one in before he left the panel. That's why I, I started. The first that. time or the last time? When the fight and, and, I, I, and then I never heard what uh Donald Bobby, Gold Bobby made to say it all. Slip by. I don't let that nigga slip with nothing. Okay. I agree with you, uh, lady with the red hair, because he did try to slip Thank that shit in know. there real quick, <laughs> and then people don't even understand it because he tried to be like, "Oh, oh, we gotta be the no, 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 nigga, we here too, right. we see you, we see you." <laughs> okay, so y'all said he did fuck start it with Jay. You looking cute though, lovely love, but still fuck. Now, you, how did y'all gather that? Did y'all y'all felt like that too that he started it with Jay Dunn? Yes. Yes. What did say. Jay Dunn come up for? No, see, he came up and he Jay Dunn went to tell him something that the two of them knew about. And he just them two started going at it. So how is it that he actually started with her? She came up to fucking get him. Jay Dunn came up to get ZX. ZX knew she was coming and they started, he got her. And then his clap back, he included. And if Jay Dunn hadn't started with me, down. she would have been able to go ahead and fight. But Jay Dunn wanted me to shut him up so she could talk. Jay Dunn wants to be Dunn, you fucked it up, Dunn. That's what happened. Said, the tape, we was waiting if for y'all ass, Dunn. Dunn. Or did you, you all not busy. see that? You've been busy, boo. That's why. That's all. James. Yeah. Oh God, Let me tell you something. This is what he did. He came up here, right, and he started that predatory shit with Ken, okay? Now, I know, hey, we, we Ken say some real fucked up shit. ZX put the picture of a little girl up there. He put a picture of a little girl up there and said that that little girl zeroed in on that little girl's undeveloped breast and said that little girl on the show. This is not tonight. But, this but is the, no, the reason why I'm saying that is because he came up here talking all that predatorial and then yesterday the same jacket that you're talking about he had oh, a whole lot I got that. I got that. It's not um, pedos. I got that. I mean I got that. I do. I got all that. Yeah, like all the backgrounds, I done rode the clouds. I yeah. know the backgrounds, so I'm fine with all that. But like, are we being really honest about what really what happened here? Like, y'all just oh, caught him in a space. Y'all caught him in a space. about old shit. On some of the time. And then turn around and make the X. You shut up a view as a view. We say the beast can fight each other. We fight each other, but we roll the motherfuckers. You fat No, you don't tell me to shut up. I'll ask you, can y'all talk about that so I can hear Kwani and I can hear you. You talk too fucking much. Shut up and be quiet. That's what I said. You don't hear something. And you are old ass colorless, frozen, chilly, having ass bitch. That's what you are. Now, bitch, go free some more chili and shut the fuck up. That's what I said, bitch. Go make your chili dog and shut the fuck up and go get you another color. Y'all the first, The fuck y'all talk over each other. I saw what I saw. Oh, when I saw. And I'm being very honest. I'm saying that it's back. What I saw is. Y'all saw, y'all saw, I love y'all dearly, but y'all saw that man in a space where y'all knew y'all could actually get at him and have the actual, and I'm not going to say y'all wanted to just beat him up and he wouldn't be able to do nothing. Y'all saw him in a space where you're like, I could get a fair one on him because James nope. ain't going to let him fuck with my mic. James nope. ain't going to let him do any of them things. And y'all got at him. And y'all just got asked him. That's what mm -hmm. I saw. That's what you That's saw. Done. Every that motherfucker's crazy. He got well, exactly. No, I didn't what even he know, Gigi. I didn't even know when you jumped in. I just yeah. heard your mic. I bang, like, bang. I had, I, on top of his motherfucking head. Okay? But y'all, there was a lot of y'all <laughs> on him. So I'm like, well, wait a minute. So I mean, I just I stepped I, the I fuck out of it. Look, ain't nobody fighting me. Y'all fighting each other. 
I want him to come out the closet. Yeah, so that man home naked with no mm -hmm. shoes on to the closet. That's the hot water I, I see two of you back there. So what is that, yeah. Jay Dunn? What you got going on, Jay water Dunn? Bill. He can't even take a hot shot. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> see, here's the bullshit. <laughs> Let's Hunt. play what, Jay Dunn? Jay Dunn. Come here, Jay Dunn. Come here. Come here. You bring your just your ass. Come here, Jay Dunn. Jay Dunn. I have your video on a second device. Okay, so stop. Can play. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. So when I see the two of you back there, you got a video playing in one and then you in the other. Is that right? Correct. That's how people share videos on here. No, that's not how I share videos. Goodbye, Jay Dunn. Goodbye, Jay Dunn. Again, now I'm going to tell you this one more oh, time, Jay Dunn. Damn. You don't run my motherfucking shit. I don't play what other people's do? videos on my shit. I don't mm -hmm. run other videos on my shit. I don't do shit to get me flagged, Jay Dunn. Yeah, that's I don't exactly. care if it is my last oh. video. I don't do that. I don't come up like that. And you know I don't do that. This is the shit I'm talking about, Jay Dunn. I love you dearly, but you fucking do too much. You do too much. You cannot run my platform. You cannot run how I run shit, Jay Dunn. That's what she try to do all the time. Can we just fight and just be here? What video is this, Jay Dunn? Why do it's out of the Shut up, a view. Yeah. Let him talk. You, you just mad because your motherfucking ass is fucking lame and you fucking getting I'm dragged. Bitch, ass if you don't get your right fire, bitch. I'm just trying to get some understanding with Jay Dunn. I like Jay Dunn. And this is why I'll even go. Because most people, I don't even go there with this. I'll say fuck it and get on. It's not about. Whether or not I could be flagged for my own video, Jay Dunn. It's about you don't run the show, baby. <laughs> you don't run the show. You can't come show me shit. You show me shit when I come to your house. You know, you don't come to my house and decide we have hamburgers, but I done prepared steaks. And then say, well, the steak ain't going to hurt you. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to make you understand, Jay Dunn. You just don't. Girl, it's like it's like decorum. I know it's in there somewhere. Oh. It's in there somewhere. I'm glad you said it. I'm glad you said it. I promise you, James. I'm glad you said that bullshit because that's what she does all the time. But I'm glad you said it, and I'm going on mute. Lena, hey mother. Hi, so baby. I honestly came okay. up because I've been watching the show the whole night, and that's why I, I like Jay Dunn. Oh, you want but me to she get got your video? I love Jay Dunn. Would you say Jay Dunn? Do you want me to get it's your video, James? Can't I don't care, Jay Dunn. I don't want to see it. But this is I don't want to see seat. it now, Jay Dunn. Now I'll let you be up here. You want to move on? We're moving on with the conversation. Well, but we're not doing you know. visual aids and shit. We ain't doing all that. We ain't doing we're not running you no don't PowerPoint. See the truth. I don't give a fuck. So you just cussed me out for no reason. No, I didn't. You heard me. Yes, you you felt me. You know what I was talking about. Jay Dunn. Jay Dunn, this is real easy. This about me. I'm mahogany over here. I That's wasn't it. coming here to make it about me. I was on topic. No, you're trying. You're trying. Because right now, I, was I, got, on topic. I got a whole sector of people come to see me. And I'm taking time out. Going back and forth with you about not a fucking thing, Jay Dunn. What we talk about? We're not talking about nothing. You and I well, ain't talking I came about nothing. Here to speak about ZX, but then you put me in the back. But we weren't even speaking about what you were speaking about. We were talking about predatory behavior. Yes, we were. In the beefing no sector. He not in the beefing sector. We talk about well, Rob Rack in the situation to happen. No, we're talking about Rob Rack and what happened to him in the beefing sector when he was victimized last night. That don't have nothing to do with BX, um, ZX, love this. ZX, it has nothing to do with no goddamn buddy or or any of those people. you just talking about people I ain't never heard of. Once I, I don't know nothing about nobody, Lee. The only play to you something. Once I don't know nothing about James, you not let me speak. I'm, I don't I have to. Again, you're not getting it. Mahogany. 
You're not getting it. So, that sounds crazy. So you, so you you go, I, that's what I came dialogue, up here to though. say. Jadon, look, he let me up first and then he let you back up. And this is what I wanted to say. Look, he you got dropped down four times tonight. And it's not because he don't like you and he keep reiterating that. But when you come up here, you come up here to distract what he's talking but about. So that I mean. But listen, it is. This is what he's trying to tell you. But you keep saying no. Damn, don't and, tell me what he did. He could tell me. I, oh, I, Jesus. Right, and he keeps saying it, but you're not listening. And so this is when I people brought say, video to show that I wasn't distracted. But he keeps telling you he don't want to see it. Correct. This is what so he's he saying. Wanna, he so wanna believe something that's not true. He said it believe. doesn't matter. So just and, and, and and just just use your you. mouth. Use your mouth. Say what you have to say. And that's the thing. When I go to you and I say, okay, Jay Dunn, tell me what you're saying, baby. You go on a diatribe about the shit that happened two hours ago and how you got done wrong. And then we're like, by the time you, you get done with wrong. that, we... That, so, but you were. Guess what you get ready to get? Guess what? I'm going to be wrong again in your eyes. Bye. Have a nice night. Bye. 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 But you're not leaving. Bye. Bye, no, I'm waiting on you. Do and, no uh, Bye. And, Bye. I'm about to say something about you too, and I like you, no shade. But at the end of the day, this is why we say that sometimes we think you're on the games, right? All. And this is why we think that something is wrong with you because you can't accept the fact that somebody is telling you that they're not interested in that conversation that you're having. Now they have to be wrong. No, it's called a matter of our opinion. I'm and just, people, I mean, yeah, I'm not. I'm not the one to disrespect. Yeah. I'm not the one to disrespect. I'm not. I like Jay Dunn. She take it and do whatever she want with it. I kicked her all the way out the studio. It's a period. And again, I still like you. You can be mad at me. You've been mad at me before, but I'm not doing that. That's just ridiculous. And you think you talking shit to me. Now, you know, I don't even allow no motherfucker body to talk shit to me. I've really given you all that I have to give, Jay Dunn. I ain't got no more. And that's I number five shit. that she got dropped down. No shade. And that's what we're saying. And like, I came up here to honestly yeah, say, Jay, Don is a likable person. Oh, but goddamn, God Beasley, let me finish what I'm saying and then yeah. I'm going to drop. Yeah. I also wanted to weigh in on what happened with, oh, okay, I can understand people matter of opinion. Oh, mother, you made it your issue. At the end of the day, predatory is predatory. This is the thing. Even if some people think it was a skit, how I seen it, because I actually watched it in real time, is when he he was trying, he was low-key hitting on Ness. I guess Ness felt uncomfortable. So instead of her saying it on her panel, she decided to go in the chat and be Craig. And now she want to throw advances at him. Him. The bottom line is once she came up there because he honestly didn't know her alter ego was Craig. Once it was let out by the lady, I forgot her name, Tre uh, Treasure, whatever it is, no treasure, disrespect. Uh, treasure, right. Yeah, he yeah. said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. But this is when she Perfect. shut it down because she decided that she's going to curse Craig out. And that's where it went left for me. That ain't no skit. So if anybody like really was watching it, then you'll understand where the predatory behavior came in at. And then this is the thing. And I like Ness. I watch her. No disrespect. I don't know any of y'all for me to honestly say, oh, I don't like them. I might not like y'all behaviors or some of the things y'all do, but I'm going to still watch because it's always a storyline. You got to watch somebody to understand why this person is cursing them out in a beef sector, period. So if you don't watch, you ain't going to understand sometimes. At the end of the day, you write to call it out. Even when and, you know, um, I was listening to Yaya and I understood where Yaya was coming from. But at the end of the day, I feel like if you see a trans uh, person actually trying to catfish another individual, and you know what they are. Like if you have a personal relationship, talk to them in the background. If not, and you could get up there and say, no, don't portray yourself as that. Let them know what you are. This is how the community get hurt because I support the community 100 percent trans gays, lesbians, all that because everybody is still human. But it is right and right and wrong is wrong. So that's all I wanted to come up here to say. I haven't been up on your panel in a long time, especially sober, mother. So thank you for letting me come up and say what I got to say. But Jay Dunn, sometimes you just have to listen to what somebody is saying. It, ain't, it doesn't matter if this is James Royce. If he's saying to you, Jay Dunn, I don't want to hear that. Then respect it. It's not oh, uh, you gotta be wrong this and that and the third. This is when people think that something is wrong with you. But everybody have a good night, and I'm going back in the chat. All right, baby. And, and I, I have a question. I have a, I have a statement yeah. as well. 
Go ahead, the behavior that Jay Dunn just dispute, which she just what she put here tonight, is predatory as well. If you tell her to back the fuck up and she keep bringing her ass here, that's predatory too, guys. Uh huh. You gonna call a thing a thing? You gonna call a thing a thing, James? What Jay Dunn did, she displayed predatory behavior. If I say I don't want you here, get the fuck away from me. I'm done. And you keep bringing your ass to me. What you want? What you want? James? I mean, if I sat now, I sat now, I have no idea what Jay Dunn's even point was. I, I sat here. That's and she wasn't. She, stuck, she came to fight. Jay. She came to fight with. ZX, but she ended up fighting with me. She, it, she literally and took and to accused me of being predatory. James, what, what does this speed mean? And I what does this speed mean? What are you saying? What is that? She said dispute. I never heard that word. I was going to look it up. Dispute. What has she brought here? I don't see it in the dictionary. James, I'm, I'm Google, you threw me off the and told me don't come back. And I keep coming back. What is that? Predator. Can I say, James, I don't think you did anything wrong. And it's not because I don't like mega bus, but for all the, what do you call them? Bleeding hearts in the chat. What about when I wanted to talk the other night and couldn't get in a word edgewise? What about when this psychopath follows me all around YouTube, hitting every link in every back chat? Okay, so I don't want to hear it. I think the point that James was making was when ZX came up, and I get it, people got beef with him, he got beef with some people. I'm not taking that away from anybody. What? Brian, is that your feedback? I, I like Jay Dunn. I think she's entertaining. I'm, I'm all the way on mute. That's the homeless uh, center. Not, on, not only is Jay Dunn entertaining, she's smarter than a lot of you. And she doesn't, she doesn't care. She he doesn't care what the topic her. is. He You're interrupting me. She does, yeah, it's so weird because she does. She's done some things to get some papers on her, and she keeps on going. He's so slow. that's that's the question. You're homophobic and you're I'm slow. I'm not, I'm not homophobic. I'm not homophobic. I'll just do anything for it. Why are you talking to me? Go sweep the floor. Go run around. Why they call you Luke Luke? Because you they call you Luke Luke because they say you're crazy. You're a Go get a woman. woman. Go get a man. Go get a so fucking factor. What's I'm wrong with you? You're an obnoxious, you're an obnoxious crazy woman. You're an obnoxious ass crazy woman. Let me make my point. I'll get off. I don't want to be around you. You've been stalking me for years, crazy lady. You've been stalking me for years. GX didn't want you and you're still hurt. Your you were calling GX your, your baby your daddy. Unemployed. He didn't want to have nothing to do with you. Your and you came and got over with four years later. All you just allowed like of me to say, You broke you just loud and obnoxious like you want to fight. Fat motherfucker. You are not a lady. You know content you are not having, like, like a lady. You know you sex they're having, motherfucker. You oh, no sector. You get you get three people you know, in your chat. Nobody, you have you have no motion. You Nobody ain't had any got motion. Shit no one shit to in, you. motherfucker. Oh God! Okay, you you are down because you in the homeless shelter you're living up for tax dollars. You're I have to pay taxes to feed your fat ass, motherfucker. Y'all got this old argument going on. As them two. This is old. This is something old. Gigi, chill. I'm good. Beasley, chill. I, I just want to make my point and leave. I don't want to talk with this crazy woman. Yeah, um, I like Jay Dunn. Yeah, Jay, Jay, Jay Dunn's interesting. She just doesn't care what the topic is. That's the troll in her. So she comes and controls the narrative and talk about what she wants to talk about. And for the people that and for the people that for the people that harass her, it's really easy to block her. You you know, they shouldn't be complaining. Anything. And I noticed don't what play. you said, Shelly. You said that I'm a Megabus Junior. I know that you call Goodbye. her Meg Megabus. I think part of your problem, Shelly, and I don't know you well. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't care about all right, of right, 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 you. Right, 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 right,
don't want to You tried to get Jay Dunn put in jail on some fucking charges. I don't want to hear it. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that fuck nigga shit. Y'all home is old ho. That's why I said lock the gates about an hour ago because these people have the nerve to think because they can hit a motherfucking link that they got the audacity to sit up here and talk about what they think. Nobody gives a fuck what none of y'all motherfuckers think if you want me to really keep it real with you motherfuckers. Okay. Don't Brian. fucking play with me. I'll be the Wait one to get your ass put out that motherfucking group home. Don't do me. Y'all made a doggy door for these that motherfuckers. Part. That part. Brian, the nerves go ahead, because you, you ain't had chance to say nothing. Y'all don't like. Motherfucker, we don't care. Every time we handle a motherfucking beef sector business, y'all motherfuckers is all up in between it. Motherfuckers come over here and can't even... Can't see even me, see me say see me, treasure. Me on my the fuck out of here. Sick of them. Thank you. Okay, Brian. Yeah. Go. Okay. Well, um, I just want to speak on that Jay Dunn situation. Jay Dunn has only done what a lot of people, I'm not gonna name names, but a lot of people are guilty of, and that's letting her um not what she did to you was wrong tonight let's just face it she, she know what the fuck she was doing she she know you can't even run shit. okay now this is not over at some of the other panels where she uh go to where she can you know use her money and you know but jay dunn knows she was wrong she's an adult jay dunn you got to know jay dunn chill out just chill out man and and, and that's coming from me the psychopath that they like to call me Jay Dunn, come on now. You know you was dead wrong, and then you get, and then you made this man, you know, you know. I ain't never seen this man scream and yell and shit like that. Goddamn, Jay Dunn, you do that to every single. <laughs> the way she got passed out of his skin, <laughs> she got she she done done it to James. Now who else is gonna be next? Where she gonna have these people screaming at the top of their lungs out of frustration? I'm not speaking for him. I'm speaking from what I just saw just now. I'm third. I'm tired as fuck. I'm mentally drained from work and just from life in general. But this was some good entertainment tonight. This was funny. But I hate that uh, you know the shit turned out like that. I wanted to. I wanted to also say, if I you know if I can, that I find it hypocritical. It's a lot of things that are hypocritical to my eyes. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 it's. it's ooh, excuse me, Lord. It's a whole bunch of stuff that's hypocritical to me. And, and I just feel like, you know, they say I'm crying, I whine, so let me shut up about it. I just want to throw that out there that, you know, a person who they say, oh, my God, he went over there, now gets a chance to come on this same panel talking about bridging a fucking gap. What gap are you talking about, nigga? You know your beliefs on Homer say. That's why I wanted to talk to him, but this is your panel. You put me in the back. Maybe I was unruly and could have shut up. So I do appreciate that for getting me back in order. But I missed the chance to ask his ass, how are you bridging a gap? And now we all know what it is, ZX. Please, and James, I paid you to be more smarter than that, but let me be quiet upon myself. You let this man come up over here, use you for your numbers, James. And ain't this man, knowing this man is a homosexual, but talking about you bridging. Been here, uh, didn't you talk about me for an hour yesterday? First of all, I'm wrong. just saying. Ain't that the same thing you Okay, do? <laughs> but you talk, but no, no, uh And you people in the fucking audience sitting up over here, when y'all sit up there and ridiculed me for going to have a conversation, but the man is over here talking to these women. Now, I'm a gay dude. That's not no excuse, but if these women calling men bitches, I'm going to call them one back. But that's supposed to, that's supposed to be a, a, a whole heterosexual, you know, protect our black women. And he, and, and he up over here talking about fake as fuck, hypocritical, talking about bridging the gap when you know what this man be over on his panel talking about. The same way y'all chewed me up for going to have a conversation with him. Y'all sitting up here listening so to this man on James' for? panel. But what you mean? Ain't the shit hypocritical? But I digress. I ain't crying about it. Ain't it all? Just... Ain't it all though? Listen, I digress. Ain't it all? I digress. You literally so were live are. yesterday. Dragging I sure me, did. Brian. So, but you're I here sure today. Did. But you're here today. 
Uh, so, but this is beef me? sector, though. No, this no, is this beef is sector. This is Treasure Lane. No, I'm talking about this is the beef sector. We do that to each other all the time. I know where the fuck I'm at, James. I don't need to be reminded. But I that's know what where I'm saying. I'm at. Aren't you doing the okay, same thing? Okay, we know that if you're only five lane. people here. Congratulations. You here. We get you it. Be here. If there weren't the five people here, you no, wouldn't be here. I'm you came about, because of the numbers. You, set up, you see here, we, we're going to do the same shit again today. This is crazy. Because you're talking to me like crazy. I'm crazy. Like I don't see. I see everything. No, no, and this is crazy. Y'all set up there and call a bitch ass nigga for going to have a conversation. And what about it? You and, learned him. Okay, you like Let's him. move on. I got Brian, what are you talking about? Right. Oh, I just came to say one thing. Brian, where the other You don't like him. Oh, Brian, and you know what? Like you just you hit it on the nose. You they cussed you out, and nobody didn't cuss you out for being over there, especially not mother. But see, this is the thing. How are you mad because he allowed the man on his on the man? I don't even, my god, Brian. Okay, I think enough is enough. I'm gonna protect my James. Uh, okay, tomorrow, if you have another live, can I come up and we could talk about the net situation? How you doing? This ain't no therapy session. You two can't chat, James Caldwell. Girl, shut therapy. up and go color. Not even talk to you. Okay, but why are you oh, running off, go Brian? Color. Because I'm tired. I've been at work because all day, and I, and I had a bad day. I had a real sense. bad day, and I'm mentally it's drained. Like, for real. No, 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 no. Everybody hush. Everybody hush. I'm, I'm Everybody literally hush. mentally drained. I really had a bad you day. You just today. sat here and tried to, to make a point that I'm here. No, I did make my point. I ain't no, trying to do nothing, didn't. James. You're mad because I okay. allow ZX to come over here. I'm not mad about anything. No, because you're mad because you're your little piece of what you was trying to work with for the last few months is gone. Your thing for the last <laughs> few months, Brian, is that I was scared of ZX and I wouldn't approach ZX and you kept okay. telling him next year he's scared of you. Go fight him. Go fight him. Now, okay. you knew all along that I wasn't scared of ZX, but now okay. it's in front of everybody that is all no, some bullshit. <laughs> it's all some bullshit. It done blew up in your face and now you're mad that it I blew up in my here. face. D it didn't? There you go, just creating just those narratives. But oh, you are so good at it. Oh my God! You know what, you nigga, you ought to write you some scripts, up, right? You ought to be a screenwriter. Ask Jay Dunn to get but you on the You ought up. to be a screenwriter. He was you supposed to, to come be... fuck me up, but he came and he sat down. And he acted like he got some sense, and he got what you were trying to get. He got some clout and got people got to see him First and of all, all that good shit. And now you mad? How you mad? <laughs> He was your ace in the hole, wasn't he? I tried to get clout from who? Who so am I trying to get clout from, girl, James? Girl, girl, girl. Okay. Well, There's you know clout, what, but you ain't the one carrying it. Now stop playing. Okay. Stop playing. You literally from who, were James? dragging me yesterday. Yesterday, but, uh, no, I dragged you and just because you, 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 you and all you, you and all Wani. the rest of them pissed me Wani. the fuck Wani. off. Wani That's Wani. why I was bragging you, Wani. nigga. For no fucking clock, get the fuck up out of here. And I think She's the audience knows that. Target. Stop it, just please stop. Yes, I'm here. What was you saying earlier? What was you saying earlier, Kwani? About Brian? I said that I think that um... checkmate. <laughs> Checkmate. Well, Fuck shit. See, everybody got time for that, Kwani. That's why you don't be feel people don't be feeling sorry for him. It's fuck shit. And then he tries to spin it. And you're not smart enough to spend nothing on me. Brian. What you doing? What the Brian? I'm gonna have to agree with you all with this Brian person, but Brian, I don't. Brian blocked me for a, a years ago and stuff like that, but he really has some issues and stuff like that. Like I don't mind people getting on here the issues and come back and forth, we beef and stuff, but something ain't right with him. Some he really he ain't got no issues. Brian's a liar. He's a I liar. Mean, he has some issues, but when it comes to YouTube, Brian is a liar. He sits yeah. and he tells lies. He do that lie roasted shit. He do all that flip flopping ass bullshit. He is that's who he is as a YouTuber. Ain't no real big issue, but you're trying to prove some type of point. Ain't no point to prove. You went to the beef to the black sector to try to get 
a so-called man that you thought could handle what you couldn't handle. And then when it all ended up, the man you went and got end up sitting at my dining room table. That's what the fuck y'all just watched happen. We believe okay, but let me ask a question. Go ahead. What but is? now I have a question. Do you all believe that he just lied here on YouTube? Or do you think he lies off of YouTube as survival? No. Well, and uh, off of YouTube, Brian is an ass kisser. Yeah. Uh, After okay. off of YouTube, Brian is a oh. whole full fledged bitch ass nigga. Like I said the other day, he is bitch ass. Period. He is very much submissive all around, one hundred fucking percent. We've sat here and watched him be have his ass handed to him. At the we gym. watched him and watched the nigga punk him when he had a motherfucking gun in his possession. And the, nigga, you know talked, the nigga talked to him worse. After he had the gun, than he did before he had the gun. Nigga is a punk. Now y'all right. talking about a punk, and that have nothing to do with his sexuality. He is a punk. Okay, he's a punk. Right. How you gonna have a gym, a gun in the goddamn gym and talk shit with some little frail little? But he ain't talk shit. He talked shit to that woman that was in. See, I don't yeah. even really get into that shit. Let's really get down into it, Brian. Brian, he can do Brian it. talk shit to that woman. That was sitting See, in that goddamn corner. I never saw the motherfucking video. I'm not that. telling you about what I heard. I I'm telling you about what I saw. He right. had all this smoke for this female sitting in there, and the male cussed his fuck ass out, mm-hmm. poked him all up in his motherfucking chest. Mm-hmm. He left out of the sauna, got his piece, came back in, and said. Put your hands on me again. Again? What the fuck you mean again? Right, the first time. Again, you the motherfucker should have been laid down. Because you a bad bitch. He nine feet tall. He's a pussy. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, Brian is pussy. And I like that about him. Pussy ass nigga. I ain't got no problem with that. He's pussy. It is what it is. You're not that guy. Even when he talks, he talks sideways out of both sides of his mouth. You don't want to meet up. And I don't mean like, but I mean meet up to like to go have something to eat. The fuck are you talking about? But James, how you going to meet up with a plastic bag in a girl, damn corner girl. with a gun? And like, I'm the same he way. Talked about was I'm not the same way. Who you see hit me, boo? Who the fuck did you see talk shit to me and hit me? When you Nobody. ever seen me violated, bitch? You Nobody. ain't never seen me violated. Period. Period. You ain't never even heard no motherfucker tell you that I was violated, ho. Bitch, my mama had two boys, and I'm the oldest. I ain't got no big brother, bitch. And I ain't been ran home by no motherfucking body, bitch. I'm the motherfucker that held it down, okay? Mm-hmm. I ain't never been no running bitch. Period. Right. About nothing. Yeah. I walk these motherfucking streets with a ten and a half, bitch, like I always have. With my, I do it with my hands. I the love fuck it. is you talking about? Now you can say what you want to say. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. And again, the year of exposure, and we telling the truth, bitch. Ain't nobody ran me home. Ain't nobody ran me home, and ain't nobody ran me the fuck off of here. Everything I do on this motherfucker is calculated and well the fuck thought out. Okay. Because, see, uh, I dropped the link 52 times, and you ain't yeah, hit it. Scary, why, bitch. Why would you really... You story? ain't hit it. You got a lot to type. Your fingers ought to be tired, bitch. Ooh, your fingers ought to be tired. Does he, wanna, does he want to lay in mother's arms and get and get uh, cuddled and kissed? By my, what does he that. want? Like, why is he like that? I really he wants want it to all. He wants it all. He wants really? it all. Really? He want the whole he experience. And, well, I, and I I'm happy. He like, well, Asian. Listen, I ain't got no problem with it. I understand it. I definitely understand it. I understand. I understand Brian wanting to wear my skin. Fuck, if I wasn't me, I want to be me too. The fuck? I only go well, at women. Again, we're doing lies. We're okay. just, you just type in anything. And I'm, I'm basically tired of even dealing with you and reading your They're shit. Go get another page. 
Go get another page because it's just stupidness. Yeah. He wants, you just he, type he and be typing. Go get but another page. Let me block that one too. Go ahead. James, when you put them goddamn sneakers across your goddamn shoulder, I really didn't even know because I know everybody say anybody the beef sector and stuff like that. Y'all know I'm low key. I don't I I'm I'm more of a comment in the t chat and shit like shit like that. I don't really know what the fuck y'all be beefing it. But bitch, when that motherfucker put that goddamn sneakers across his shoulders, and I was like, what the fuck is this about? And everybody what thought that was so know? terrible. Oh, that's so horrible. No, How but I see it? why you did that shit. That motherfucker is mean and motherfucking malicious. And I don't mean to talk about anybody's parents and stuff like that, but now, you saw how he came at me? He blocked me so hard. I couldn't even like let he Brian said, don't do let no me back than everybody else. else. Brian is just as nasty as everybody else down know. here. And people want to feel sorry for him. And I get it. I get it. But Brian is no different than anybody else down here. He's yes. just as nasty. He's just as mean. He just as predatory as some of them other ones, because he's pretty fucking predatory. Brian got more pictures of me than I got of me. Get into it. Oh, so he's your stalker. I think he, he it must be. But 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 you did y'all just see how he went at me like the last like hour or whatever? I don't even entertain that motherfucker. But he had blocked me a couple of years ago because I was talking with Deanna and Deanna and him had a your ass me pick it, y'all. No, we can't hear you, Lena. So he he just went off on me and blocked me and Deanna real hard, but now it's like, well, you know, Lena. All right, can you hear me now? Okay, now I can hear you. Yeah, that was my fault. I'm mad Brian left you, but go ahead, Miss um, View. Finish your sentence. Finish well, your I thought. didn't leave. I dropped Brian. Yeah, yeah. I was oh, just okay. Well, I, I didn't leave. Brian. I dropped Brian. Yeah, Brian, I'm about to come and say a couple of words about um okay. to you and not at you. But see, this is the thing. This is why, and this is where we always go back to. Even like I'm a subscriber, so I watch all of y'all again. I mean, I like everything y'all stands for or what y'all do right but see you just got upset with a person because you didn't get the respect that you wanted from said man that mother guy and see the difference is, is that you went into that man territory so now you want to talk about who he is and what he did when you already knew that so because i'm familiar with that sector yeah the fuck i was in mother chat talking shit when he was up there because i'm like why is he here because yes i have a disdain for him but it's never going to change so i'm never going to go there so for you to get upset about somebody that came to grace Another person panel is the hypocrisy in it and itself. Right. When he right. just when you just cursed him out because you felt like it, right? But he's supposed to be able to accept you still coming around him. See, that's where the blurred lines get twisted. So when that's when we say right, right, and you wonder why people cry and say you're a crybaby. This is why, and we're all grown adults. You don't stand in your shit. You was over there telling him how you don't want to be or live in the lifestyle that you live in instead of being proud about it. So yeah, he could clown you because James ain't never changed his motherfucking stance. And that was the first time that he was ever ever able to get up on a panel and James gave him a chance because he stood in the paint and stood in his shit. But it wasn't about right. ZX. We all know ZX is a piece of shit, especially everybody that's been on these YouTube streets. See, and this is where we get it twisted at. That's why we say you crime rhyme, but we still gonna follow you. Yeah, because we like the entertainment. We like the little interaction and stuff like that. I mean, we all like the train wreck. Shit. We like the train wreck. Like, like, it just gets tiresome after a while. He exactly. talked about Jay. He did all that talking about Jay Dunn, and he right. went right into his bag. His bag ain't no different than Jay Dunn's bag. Exactly. It's tiresome. It's tiresome. Whoever has How many times has Brian apologized to me? A girl. I don't care. And how long? And it, and it even lasts even more than it usually did. Girl, please. See, the problem is, is that he can't accept it. He hates that mother can accept itself. Everybody that's up here, I think we all are well-rounded enough to know who we are and accept 
what, what we are and who we are, who we become. You know, not everybody has a problem with accepting that, all the flaws and all, but he has a right. problem with doing it. And I was um, taking up, he had blocked me at one point in time too. I don't know how I got unblocked. I don't have a dislike for Brian, but the, the thing is, is that we understand what your mother instilled in you, which was wrong because she had more than one gay child. The point is, is that you gotta be able to accept who you are in order for somebody else to embrace who you are. You get mad about the littlest things. You got mad because somebody showed this man respect because that's all it was. It ain't have nothing to do with hypocrisy. Nothing at all. And I, I yeah, agree with that point. Is, he act like he's so, like he was so offended because ZX was disrespecting me and I ain't never even heard the shit. Right. But you went over there to get him to do it. And he came uh, over here exactly. and you let him up. Exactly. And you let him up while he was here. I get that. I get it. Ain't like That's I got why mad he was about dragging that. Me yesterday. He was dragging me yesterday. I got mad because, because he that. over here acting like he respects people. That's why I had to cuss him out on the way out the door. That's what I No, did. Didi, Didi Luke, Luke, we all know that ZX don't respect his, listen, at the end of the day, ZX don't even respect his own self. And that's right. why I say what He's I say. Right. The reason why I say that is because we don't see him flip flop and go back and forth. And guess what? I don't even have a problem with him. him. I just don't like thing. his stance. At the Here's end of the, the day, thing. you know how to separate it. Here's the thing. Part of why Brian got mad too is because ZX has actually come on their platform and he did talk shit to them. He did cuss them out right. and do all those various things. Yeah, he that can't happen over here because I don't get into exactly. that kind of stuff. That's another part of why he was mad. Yeah, that's another why, part of why he's mad because why ain't you treating them like that? Because yeah, nobody treats me like that. No one treats me like that. I would never Not accept that. Mm -mm. No. So it's got to be something. Now you got to spin a narrative. Oh, Especially you're scared. Oh, you're that this. Ain't from our oh, you're that. Oh, you let them get the women. I ain't let nobody get nothing. The exactly. women went and got at him. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? But that's the way. That's beefing sector. You ain't never. It ain't never across the board. It's, hey, it's right. damn if you do, damn if you don't. And I, I'm gonna do. But he flipped on me so fast, James. He flipped on me so fast because I just got tired of listening to his motherfucking said, mouth and shit. And then I just said, you know what? Well, fuck you, because I was tired of it because it's annoying. But he blocked me so hard last time. Then he begged me, please view, let me back, uh, unblock me and stuff like that. I was like, nigga, I ain't block you that hard. Your motherfucking ass block yourself hard for me because I don't give two fucks about you. But I see people over here dragging you and stuff like that. You want to be a tough nigga. You want to be a bitch. You want to be gay. You want to be straight. You want to have babies. You want to be a professional. You working in the gym. You are uh, working out in the gym. You carrying guns. You sweating. You losing weight. He is all over the goddamn place. I cannot watch people that don't even know how to stay fucking focused. Okay, I stay focused. When you work in the county, you got to pay I'm attention to what's really going on. He, he, he's a crazy. He is a vlogger. He shows y'all his life. That is his life every day. That and is he his life. You he too. shows you all of his life. And now I'll give him that. He's showing it, but he don't even realize what that life looks like. He really don't. That life is that is good shit. It's That's a hard just, fucking life. I can drag him every day, but I don't. But he shows you his life. That is Brian's life. life. He don't know what the fuck that shit is. This is a thing, view. Nobody hanging in a gay view. bar by they got themselves. View and this is the thing. All the things you yeah. said that he won, he can obtain. He don't have the confidence in himself to do it. Just because you're gay don't he mean can that you can't it. have kids. You can mm -hmm. have kids because you're gay. But see, this is the thing. You can he keeps saying that he's straight or he don't know. Right. Dick, he's confused. Kids, so that means ready that to get that he on has... no woman. Now let y'all stop that fucking <laughs> line. Y'all need to stop that fucking line. I think he can get well, his dick on his line. Dick this hard without having to have the Okay, okay. I'm Brian ain't laying with no fucking woman. Now, do you understand? Yeah, that? Knock it off. Knock well, he's the one that be saying it. 
He be saying it. He say that That's he attracted to women. That's or he be gathering a sperm in the test tube and then insert it in somebody no. else. He way. definitely can. He can have a surrogate oh, if he really want to be a mother, but he's not stable. And now, Brian has told us that he be unstable. He said subliminally to us, and if you pay attention to him, you will know. Brian, Brian has an alter ego. A lot of people do, but Brian alter ego is a part of him. It's different. Like, yeah, you know what? And, and the only reason why I know is because I deal with mental health myself i just it is it, it's, it's not really complicated if y'all watch people no, and sometimes the real. outlet on youtube for me sometimes calibrate my um anxiety is more on my bipolar side but he has a little bit more going on with him and i'm in counseling it's just you gotta watch people and if you are on medication take it because he you don't go from zero to a hundred just like that because is in you it, it's just not and it really don't have nothing to do with drugs him, mcgee brian does not have a kind soul brian is not a good guy and he does not have a kind soul brian no, is just as mean and nasty as the exactly. fuck everybody else the rest of us he knock it off. he's calculated yep. nothing ever stops him let me go back let me go back to something can somebody turn their tv kind, off first yeah somebody they got tv hear. or something in the background but a kind soul a kind soul would never have fought to do what Brian did to Nubiology. So I don't want to hear nothing about no fucking kind souls. And every time he gets real mad and can't get at something, he threatens Nubiology to re put that video up. He does it all the time. Every few months, he comes back and threatens to terrorize Nubiology with that video. What kind soul is that? No soul I know about. What kind of soul is that? He's not a kind of soul. He's and a he nasty dude. For no like reason. the rest of us. For no I reason. Reason. He he and people. I ain't taking nothing away. He's a nasty bitch like the rest of us. Brian mm. sits around and puts his commentary and visuals together. At what point is the kind soul peeking through while you fucking pictures around of people and putting shit together to come live later? He sets his lives up and then he comes back and right. he does them hours later. Where the fuck is the kind soul in the eight hours that passed before you came live and you set the shit up eight hours ago and put all the shit in place? Right. And then all that shit, all the behind the scenes shit That's that true. Brian do, all the people that Brian's connected with in the back, all the little mm -hmm. sneaking and sliding around here. Brian is not no fucking kind so He's a nasty bitch, just like the rest of us. I never saw that video that he did after Nubiology had her situation. I never saw when she had the situation. Well, don't say and that. I heard about that. Probably I will it. never watch it. When I heard that he did a, a parody or played it over and over and over again, that's why I even I just said, you know and what? I'm that not was... yelling at you, Kim. I'm just speaking with passion, my love. Yeah. I'm speaking I with passion. That. But I it's seen it view. Y'all act like y'all don't see shit. Yeah, like, I or, seen it view, and forget. it was untasteful. It was disgusting. And the main factor is, is he tried to play it like mother did something wrong. At the end of the day, that's a neurological disease. So and when mother minute, decided, listen, hold on, listen with the TV. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How about the fact that he literally took and put out some fake video right. about my brother? He yep. showed y'all a video clip of something else that went I, on in a whole yep. nother, the whole nother goddamn state. State. A and whole different state. It was my fucking brother. I saw that. So mm -hmm. what kind of soul do that slanderous bullshit? There's nothing kind about him. Kind soul, my fucking ass. Brown nothing is just as nasty as everybody else. He's actually nastier than Trump. And then let's not forget the fact that he wasn't gonna take that fucking video down of newbie until mother threatened him, and then he still called his bluff and got struck and act like he was the fucking victim. At the end of the day, we care about our people, and that's just some shit that you don't do. First of all, you wasn't getting that mother. You were showing somebody being vulnerable, and in a time of need, 
on a panel be and you did that because you don't like the individual. This is why I say, do I like people on here and in commentary? Yes. Are you funny to me? Yes. Do I like a lot of the shit you do? No. That's one of the things that I ain't like that he fucking did. But then he wanted to come out here and play victim. See, right and right and wrong is wrong. And this is it's where we bullshit. come to you the whole brass situation. Page right now. Right. You go to Brian's page right now. And yep. as soon as you pull it up, the first thing you see is my baby brother, who ain't even on motherfucking YouTube. So come again. Well, Save so me the bullshit, y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. And yeah. the first thing you see on his page. So okay, and just can somebody again, turn the TV down, please. And thank you. Yeah, turn it off. It. Mute it. It's not mine. But um, and just because some people say that they didn't see it and they didn't know that information, this is what's going on. So people get on here and talk about stuff that they don't even know the whole picture. OK, I saw the little thing you posted about Quan said she didn't know that information. Nobody really cares. You You got to get the whole picture before you get on here and drag people and stuff like that. You got to get the whole picture. Well, no, I, Brian, I, 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 I thought the Brian the was a nice they person. No, they, do, they I don't see know. I got not. it. Yeah, he's not nice at all. I thought no, he was he's nice. Not nice. He's and I'm no, just telling you all the shit he's done to me. There's shit that he does to other people. There's other people that Brian be fucking with. It ain't just me. He be fixated on me. But I mean, even all the little cute little stuff he be doing and all that. There's some really low down, raggedy ass fuck shit that Brian has done that actually has to do with me. And I mean, like I don't get it. Oh, you said something about his mother. Yeah, the bitch is dead. But my mother is very much alive. Brian knows that my mother's alive. Brian knows that my mother be listening. Brian calls my mother a croaker sack of bitches and knows that my mother's listening. So where's the niceness in that? That is horrible. And why and is it? Why is it that his mammy is supposed to get more respect than mine? You think I care more? He care more about his mother than I care about mine? Are you she fucking wanted kidding me? Feeling. She wanted a chicken sandwich or some kind of sandwich. Are you it? fucking kidding me? Yo, the shit that come comes out of his mouth blows me. It really does. And he come on here and play the victim when it comes to the whole mother thing with James and, and him. And we're oh, James and talking him. about my mother and he started yeah. the whole mother he shit. Fucking he brought up James he wasn't even arguing with me. He wasn't even arguing with me. He was arguing with Food Junkie and Deanna. Yeah. And they yeah. was tearing his ass up. So he turned around and talked about my mama. Just like how he let them gas him up, talking about you scared of James, this and that, and the third. James showed him plenty of times in videos. Uh, out his mouth, don't let them do this because I don't have a problem with you. And he turned around and did it anyway. Then he want to play the victim. This is why I say the victim game on here is funny to me. You can't let it be a victim game. Like at the end of the day. Saying, wow, oh my God. Did you not know about some of them things, Kim? Or as you say, wow, oh my God, that I'm yelling. Which one? <laughs> well, it doesn't even matter. You passionate, so we, we and and we don't really get this from you because when we get cleanups and shit like that, and see a lot of people don't even know that you don't know because I don't, know, don't, 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 like, don't even get like this. No, I don't so, sit and whine because that's all they will say. Oh, here you go whining. No, I don't whine. I fight. I fight back. And I fight hard. And I might say some fuck shit to you. But no. And I think maybe some of that is what actually ends up happening because I don't fold. And I don't say, oh, you said you had right. no idea. I got you, baby. But yeah, I mean, there's tons of shit that be done to me down here. I don't sit down here and cry. They don't get some of the, re the, some of the reaction that they want. They want me to be in tears. I'm not that girl. And I'm not that guy. You bring me some shit, hey, let's get, let's get it. Y'all are saying some of the fucked up and shit. I done been accused of being a pedophile. I done been accused of being taken to jail and ain't never been to jail. Y'all accused me of losing my kids and that fucking shit that never happened. They accused me of having HIV and here I had cancer. Motherfucker told y'all I never even had cancer. Y'all sat and watched me have motherfucking uh, chemotherapy. Look, look they and even the motherfucker got told y'all I didn't have it. I Look, they even doxed you before, and they even doxed you before your house got fully um furnished and everything else, and tried to make it seem like you lived in a trap house. At the end of the day, a lot of this should be smoke and mirrors. But when you fight back and the truth is told, then they're the victim. This is why I always say some of us gotta go back and do because you could fall into the trap. Like, oh my god, why is he being so mean? Especially with your numbers, because a lot of times they play off of how how big your channel is and this and that and the and third. But at the end of the day. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. subscriber count. And, yeah. and in the next yeah. breath, you'll tell me that my subscriber count is bought, that I yeah. bought it. Yeah. Um, okay, view, I got you, baby. Um, that my subscriber count, that's the last thing that I was buying subscribers. And the funny thing with that is that came from Sean Bradley. I just laughed. I said, Sean, really, <laughs> you done got that desperate? Because <laughs> if I buy subscribers, who the fuck believe that you and Nika didn't buy some too? Because we was all together. Hello, let's talk and about none it. of us bought no damn subscribers. Yeah, we, we didn't, didn't even get it. down like that. <laughs> we did not get down like that. None of us. Nika ain't bought no subscribers. I ain't yeah. bought no subscribers, and neither did Sean. All of us got our. You know why they do that? Because the they know these weak-minded people will pick it up and run with oh, it. Oh, they, they did. They did. Oh, they oh like, yeah, they yeah, definitely did. Works. That sound good. Especially, um, especially fish cakes, especially before she got no, exposed. She like, oh, I'm high, just, I'm high to tell just a subscriber count. I'm high just a subscriber count. And then when her husband got on head, she ran away. But at the end of the day, I just want to say, keep being you. Everybody that's on this panel, again, subscribers and even content creators, y'all don't have to get along. But it is a, about morals and respect. But when you cross the moral line, why the fuck can't I fight you how I want to? Now, I agree yeah. with the whole child thing and everything. I hate it. I click off when I hear um a lot of derogatory stuff about kids because I'm a mom and, and it hurts my feelings like genuinely and I know I'm an empath so I just leave off. When um somebody was uh saying oh when uh Ken Nola was just up there cursing out ZX and he was saying how ZX mom was certain age this and that and third I clicked yeah. off. I wound up coming yeah. back in because it was just too much for my yeah, spirit. Yeah, At the yeah, end yeah. of the day you know what I'm saying and but this is what I'm saying. Everybody got know something to offer. I do can know I the say, difference. No, no. Can D, I say, I'm not going to call you D.D. Loop. I'm going to call you D.D. No, no, no. I, no, I, I do understand. Can no, I, can no, I, I, I under, no, no. Can I listen to that? me. I understand. No, listen to me. I understand the difference. This is the thing. I can't but uh, I can't exalt have a that. conversation with you. Can okay, I ask go, you a question? Go ahead. My, my, my point is you did exactly what people should do. When you can't cope, you should yeah. click off. Yeah, that's I left all. out. Uh -huh. I left out. That's all I'm saying. And and that's what I'm saying. Like, everybody got something to offer, and everybody done did something on this motherfucker. That's all I'm saying. So the hypocrisy is always going to be there. That's why Brian need to stay out of his motherfucking feelings. You understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you're not doing nothing no better than nobody else. And at the end of the day, you're not going to get the same respect some of these other people on here going to get because a lot of times y'all don't stand in a motherfucking pain. So what we see from other people that do and we see their longevity and see how far they came, we stick with them. But on that note, I am going to say goodnight because I do have a 10 year old. I got to go to school tomorrow and it's 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah, but I love y'all. <laughs> and I'm going to be I'm gonna be a silent watcher now because now I got to make sure everything is copacetic. Y'all have a good night. You too, baby. I'm going to say, yeah, you on mommy time, baby. It's 10, 10 p.m., yeah, honey. Yeah, it, it, yeah, and it's not a safe place. The point is, like Mother said, you get to pick and choose. I don't care what nobody say about me as far as my real life, but on right. the YouTube shit, like you said, Mother, I'm sorry, but a lot of people, they always put their foot in it, and then they say, well, I don't know what's going on. Well, why is your fucking foot in it then? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, we started off with that. I'm just a subscriber. Jesus nope. Christ. Part of the show. And uh, Morgan, uh, you're blocked. Shut the fuck up. Hey, AT2, boo. That's my AT2. Yes. If a motherfucker see, can't have a conversation now, in the beef what sector, story is that? Story you is ain't that? beef sector material, bitch. But wait a minute. What story is that? See how y'all, this is why I all, uh, this is why the cleanup exists. When did that happen? When did that happen? When did that happen? What? I'll let the people in the chat take care of that one. Never. When did that happen? Never. Never. See, it lies. It's the lies. <laughs> I can't take a little it. bit of something. But again, you get down to it. This person may actually believe that because that's part of the story that they might have heard or they might be trolling you never know right but they right, may yeah. that might be the part that that they think me and miss bennett never even ran into each other we have never ran into each other in person other than in court 
Me and Rose ain't been up in each other's face nowhere but in court. Now, what lie? What's the rest of the lies y'all going to tell? Exactly. It's and really how can I have a senior awesome. breakfast? I'm 52. Rose wasn't at the restaurant. It was a phone call. Idiot. It was a phone call. And Rose said she didn't make the phone call. Okay? So that's the story. Right. Rose says she didn't make that phone call. Rose never came out and said she made that phone call. Yep. It's really sad. James never got punked by anybody, period. And again, Rose is a woman. Rose is a woman. She's a woman of a particular age. How's she going to punk me? Because what, 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 what? first, I'm not going to do nothing to hurt her. It wouldn't be a fair fight. <laughs> fight? What Fight? I'm not going to do nothing to her. Right. Like, that's craziness. That's foolishness. <laughs> the most I'm going to do is cuss you the fuck out. What don't do, big pick her up and jack slam her on the car? No, no, what kind no, of dumb shit is that? No, ma'am. People take shit too far. And she she's not even that you person. Know. She done told you. She has said that before. When somebody asked her, I'm, I'm I, here. Been, I know I asked. What would you do if if you ran into me somewhere? She said, "I get the I get the fuck out of there. I would get out of there." Is what she said. Which would be, I mean, what, what are we? We look crazy, rumbling. That what? That's stupid. But I mean, you know, tell the stories however y'all feel y'all need to tell the stories. But that was also stalker behavior. I mean, really. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, child, she we ain't gonna get into all of what okay. she did. She's been that. totally out of order, but you know, it was what it was. But no fear. But be, violated, oh please. I've been violated 900 different ways by 900 different people down there. And it's because of your position, it's because of who you are, it's some because of, of it. your content. Some of it. Some of it's it. because of your channels and your talents. And that ain't got nothing. Am I blowing smoke or am, am I telling the truth? Am I kissing your ass or I'm just stating a fact? Those are facts. No, Kima. That's, they said she was sending money. That was a lie. And she admitted to that being a lie that she actually only sent one super chat. They say that on the screen. That was a lie. I would love for people to send these receipts. I would. I, I want these receipts. It's 2020. No, Kima's, Kima's my girl. She knows. She just. Is she, it, what yeah, year she, is it, Shelly? 2024. That shit happened 2021. Are we okay? What? See, this is the shit I get exhausted with. Thank God I got a real job and a VA benefits. Broke ass niggas. All right, Riot girl. This sexter, I'm this still sexter rocking back so and forth over the damn TV. That's why I'm confused when people come um, and think they have it all figured. Exactly, exactly. That's why the cleanup is what the cleanup is. I goes back into the history because the stories will take legs. When I take some time off and be like, child, let them say whatever they want to say, and I go on. And I have so much cleaning up to do because somebody new is coming all the time and people love to tell the stories. And then you have people who really enjoy telling the story wrong. They like well, to do that. You know, they well, know they they're telling they're lies because anybody sitting around telling anybody anything about me being escorted away from a school in handcuffs, they know damn well they lying. Right. Anybody talking about I got my children taken away at this point knows damn well they're lying. There would be pay. I've been docked so many times that paperwork would have been down here on the street. Everybody, they know that's loud, but it makes for good commentary. It makes for good commentary. Okay, cool. No problem. Well, thank no you problem. for having me. I'm a drop down mother. Absolutely, my love. Always right. a pleasure. Good you night. just screamed. Your, you need you a, a hot tea, oh, a hot baby. tea, and a hot toddy. All of that. <laughs> Mwah. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, baby. Shelly said, then there were I've been two. up here so long, I forgot what the hell I was going to say, but say, I will say this. Don't, don't this feel, feel like old times shall the last it, it, day. It really, does. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. I mean, honestly, I'm not saying this because I don't like certain people, but I really don't feel like you did anything wrong. People don't I have to like ZX or whatever, but I do think he was being um, like 
He was doing what he needed to do. He was doing what he needed to do to be amongst the people and get done what he needed to get done. That was business. Yeah, that was so business. The girls was getting it. I didn't didn't see the girls asking for no help. Um, I think they were fine. They could handle their own. You know, that was trolling. In person, that's all that was. That was y'all were seeing beefing sector trolling right in real time. You're watching one thing, and they're literally telling you you seeing something different. That's beef sector trolling. That's the shit. A lot of that shit goes on on LSA, and people take it and they run. Sitting right yeah, there I looking think, at I the shit, and telling you you're looking at something is, else. Um, it's panel etiquette. Just like I was sitting up here being quiet the, the whole time. Sometimes that's all you need to do is just simmer down, settle down, wait your turn. But you got everybody trying to talk, trying to prove a point, talking about what Tom, Dick, and Harry said here and there. I mean, to be honest, we really can't check anybody when we got. I don't know what they want. Would they want me to take jabs at him or? Y'all want me to fuck with his mic while the people is fighting him? Like y'all want me to play dirty with him? Is that I'm not, that's what I'm like? Is that what start cussing him out? Cussing him out for what? Yeah, I don't know. No. Cussing him out for what? Quanny was quiet. You know, Quanny will go the fuck off. Quanny was quiet. Lovely love handled herself excellent today. Excellent. Lovely love. Dude. I will say, uh, lovely love was being very uh, quiet and and everything. So because you know, lovely flies off the handle. Me. Lovely hand on herself. Lovely today. She did. I'm just gonna say this because I know this has been a long live. I'm hop on down. Just for the record, for anybody outside the sector, y'all don't need to hit the links no more to explain how y'all feel about the community or whatever. I'm getting tired of hearing that. Like, oh, I, I this is how I feel, and we don't care. Go to your own and channel. I think they'll and actually shit. get that too today. I think they'll get that it's not a thing of like you can't, you can come and coexist. You can come and be here. We ain't like sold. Even we know you don't agree with with the the lifestyle, or you don't care for the LGBTQIA thing. You can still coexist. All you have to do is just don't be disrespectful. That's all. The only person that said a few things that was a little disrespectful was Beasley, and he got booted out. Yeah, he Beasley doesn't was hear nice arguing, all the time, and, and he got booted out. But everybody else the sector thinks that somebody wants to hear about their opinions. I don't give a damn what you got. Now I don't know what happened with Donald Goins. Something was going on with Donald's mic. I couldn't hear anything that Donald was saying. And so oh, I didn't he know came what to talk about Brianna. That's what I was hearing from him. Well, that was the earlier part. I told him he can't do yeah. that. You know, but when ZX and them were going at it, he came in. He, oh, he came back up. He came back up, but I couldn't hear him. Something was going on with his mic, so I like took him out because all it was sounding like was like reverb. I didn't hear anything, so I don't know. Donald Goins, wherever you were, I you know I apologize. I don't know. I didn't know where where you were going with that, but I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you at all. Oh, thanks. He thanks for sticking up for ZX. Actually, I actually like him. A stick up for everybody because it was, it was literally just... everybody, every man for themselves. Free space, safe for everybody. Nobody was getting dealt anything that they couldn't handle. And that's what I do on my channel. No, I'll never let you get pulverized. Nobody. I don't care where you came from. ZX was able to handle what was coming at him. And it for it took me a minute to see how many people was actually at him, but he was able to handle himself. So he was fine. Nobody walked away from here or shouldn't have. Well, Jay Dunn's probably pissed, but nobody walked away from here feeling as though they were do, done wrong. Everybody th- that they fought the and fight. And she wasn't done was wrong either. Herself. She came up she here. Wasn't, but you know she wanted she to get be the mega bus show. Um, as she always does, she wants to turn into something different, and that's just what it was. So even the people in chat, she didn't get to talk. Who gives a fuck? Nobody else gets right. to talk when she's on any goddamn panel. She's on every fucking panel where there's a goddamn link. Right. And I don't feel you like I cater to anybody. Tonight. I think I let everybody have their time. I don't feel like I cater to anyone. Not my girls, not my beef sector, not my folks on the outside. I think 
once I was done doing what I was doing, I was like, okay, and y'all went on and did what y'all did. I think everybody had free reign to do what it was that they wanted to do, and I think they did that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop down. Thank you for having me. And um, I do look forward to the next welcome. town hall meeting. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right, you all. Let's see. Okay. So what you say? ZX didn't handle anything. His mic was messed up. It sounded like a t-shirt, Charlie Brown. And I think it's because it was turned up so loud. When there's so many loud, them mics start drowning each other out. Hey JC, Lord, how Am I supposed to red ball four hours? Slowly, slowly. You know how to roll the ball, Sassy. Don't, don't come over here playing. <laughs> Old Sassy Fresh. Okay, y'all, listen. I done been in y'all's face long enough. Long enough. Almost four hours and 45 minutes. Listen. I ain't, I ain't got nothing else to say. Child, I done said everything. I say everything. Kwani, thank you for your time on the panel. Uh, Shelly, thank you. Gigi, thank you. Uh, ZX, thank you. Beasley, Donald Goins, uh, Rob Rack, um, Brian, uh, who else was here? Uh, Ken Nola, uh, who else did we have? Oof. Uh, Lena, oof. Ciao. Blame it, blame it. Listen, you know I'm old, child. <laughs> Everybody, all of the content creators, no matter where you came from, thank you for being here. Those of you um, that got some history, I'm glad to have given it to you. I'm not trying to turn you against anyone, just trying to give you a clear picture of exactly what it is that you're looking at as pertains to me. And, and thank you, Gold too, too. You know, you tried to pull your good one, honey, but no, 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 not my Tracy, honey. Tracy wasn't here to fight, so no, 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 no. Good night, Zylant, my baby. All right, you all, I will see y'all out in these streets. God knows. Hey, newbie, what's up, baby? Good night, y'all.